Good morning, party people. My name is Cameron. Welcome back to Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. How is everybody doing this fine, wonderful morning? I can see Lil Abe out there already. We've got more than now some, AKA the Bradster, as I am now calling him. Um, maybe for the next five minutes. I'm not really sure how long that is gonna last. How's everyone doing? It's a Saturday morning. Things it's nice and it's it's like it's bright-ish outside. It kind of looks like it's bright outside just because of the way that the light shines on my face and stuff. I'm like the orientation of my apartment and my stream setup is I'm right next to like a window. And if it's a good day, it's a great day. The sun shines in and whatnot. If it's dreary, then it sucks. And that's why I have lights. The lights are still on. I need some proper contrasting. <laughs> I see. You have that big, beautiful window. There are, <laughs> there are like three big, beautiful windows here. And they're so big and beautiful that when we first moved in, two of them did not have blinds on them. And when I asked the property manager about it, they were like, yeah, we don't have blinds that are large enough for that. So the blinds are actually, they only take up like three quarters of the window. The other part of it is just like, it's just open and stuff. Little Abe says, my first morning game stream. It has been, I think this is my first morning game stream in like a year or two. It's great. It's wonderful. So where the heck did we last leave ourselves off at this? I was going back through the recordings and stuff, and apparently the last time I played this game was uh, six months ago, and uh, I'm hoping to change that going forward. Life has just been kind of all over the place. There's been a lot of changes recently, especially from the work life and the personal life. So we're slowly getting into this this new this new phase of what the heck is going on. I don't really know. So we're playing a game, and that's just how it's going to be. We last saw Mario kicking ass, I think, and uh, we got this little, little, little blue guy, and his name is Ababuchi. Ababuchi -ba is the name of the little, little dude here. I don't remember where we left off, to be perfectly honest. I can enter this area over here, and, oh, you know, that's what it was. We specifically got to, the, like, the upper area over here. There's a smaller, for those who are unaware of the, how the Paper Mario MMA fighting spree works, Essentially, we start off when we, in the lowest level, and we work our way up to the top until we find the Crystal Star. Spoiler alert. And, uh, essentially, we fight. Welcome to the automated match reservation system. What is your command? I want to fight something. Please. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fixing for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then. Let me just see here. Your next opponent will be... Ranked 11 in the Glitz Pit, the Armored Harriers. Now listen, son, in this battle I want you to let your enemy damage you five times, okay? It's just so dang boring when a match is one side. You hear what I'm saying, yeah? Now, get in there and kick some behind. I'm gonna... I'll, I'll kick behinds. I'll kick back and relax behind a camera. Cause that's... That's what's going on here. Mr. Gonzalez, it's time for the next match. Please come with me. I love how my habit of playing game sessions months apart from each other means that the voices that I use for characters can sometimes drastically change. So, uh, <laughs> if you're watching one episode after the other, you're welcome. For our next great battle, we got the merciless execution of the Greek Gonzales and the Iron Adonis wins. You have a fight to the finish with the Armored Harriers. You think we can take, you can take me and Gonzales? Ha! Yeah, you can. Oh, wait a minute. I already fought these guys. <laughs> we gave you a break the other day, but now it's on. Get yourselves ready to battle. Get them. I thought I fought these guys already. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't finally, like, actually uh, hit them properly. I need to take damage from these guys five times? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? All right. Well, I guess I can just, like, defend for a while. I'll just hang here for a bit. Yeah. Me and my, me and my bro Babuche, just hanging out. Get him. Yeah, that was a pretty good block. Nice job, Cam. No, you're welcome. Okay, that's twice. Do it again. I don't like this, but it's just how it is. Defend. And then I'll do like a sweet treat, just so I can like survive this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright, very good. And now, uh... I have healing items, right? I definitely do not. Let's do... Let's heal some folks. <laughs> Having to take five points of damage in this one of all ones is ridiculous. Especially in this round. No! It's okay, I didn't miss that much health for Mario. It's Mario who I need to survive. There we go. That's what it's all about. That's fine, we're gonna survive. 
we regained just as much health that we had at the beginning. And now, uh, Mario is in Painesville. Ah! Okay, that was actually, defending did nothing. I just noticed defending did not change the damage amount at all. All right, um, pfft, well, we're swapping. We are gonna swap. No, 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 not like that. I meant swap order. I can swap order. That's what I meant to do. Because you're gonna do that thing where we... I need to remember which button is R. There we go. There we go. That's that's what it's all about. And you can't do anything! Mario's not allowed to do jack shit over here. That's okay. You know what we can do? Just do more sweets of treats. I've got some sweet treats this morning, come to think of it. It's, uh, you know, naturally, it being a morning and stuff... Uh, I, uh, I had to eat breakfast. So I had, oh my god, it was awesome. Uh, Little Ed was talking about going to the farmer's market, which is awesome because there's also a farmer's market out here where I'm living on Thursdays. And on Thursday, Anna and I went out to the farmer's market and got a couple of things. It was awesome. We got this big thing of seeded bread. It's like a sourdough or something, and it tastes amazing. And so that was pretty much my breakfast this morning. Delicious. Um, yeah, you need heels. You definitely do. Do the thing where you... Man. Get him! Fine. Duh. We're done. That was great. Uh, anyway, there was seeded bread this morning. I've got myself some tea, and I've got snacks that I got from the farmer's market. We got some cauliflower. We got some cherries. And, uh, I made some rhubarb honey si No, not rhubarb honey. It's rhubarb and rose syrup the other day. That was what I spent last night doing. And, uh, what's left over from it was naturally, uh, some, like bits of fruit and rose petals and stuff. And I put them in the oven for a while and uh, they dried out and it, it tastes great. I defend my rank at 10. Wait, did I not? Was, did I not defend hard enough? Did I not take damage hard enough? Maybe I just need to wait it out. That's what it is. Or maybe I need to go to another room. I'm gonna try this one more time and see what happens. Shame that my star points do not regain themselves. I don't remember what voices I gave all you guys. You're cool though. I like your face. I don't like your face. Actually, I do like your face. What am I saying? Reserve a match. Boy, howdy. Let's see. It will be... Okay, we actually are going up. That's great. The tiny spinies. Now listen, son. This battle of budget. Let your enemy damage you five times. Again? It is so dang boring. You're so damn boring. Grubba. Grubba. -ba 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 -ba. The grubbiest of hubbiests. Let's go. Let's get them. Go fight some. If they're the tiny spiny. Oh, that's bet. Be that's the little buzzy beetles. That's hanging in the room with me, right? Oh yeah, it's totally you and your uh, uh, sibling, maybe wife. I don't know. What is your relation? The merciless executioner. Wow. <laughs> the thorny demons. Yep, a fight to the finish with the tiny spinies. Let me at them. Yeah, bring it. You ready for a beating? Yeah, you are. I don't know what voice you get, but you're gonna get one anyway. Well, it's gonna be fun and poking at you. Get yourselves ready to battle. Get yourselves ready to experience the absolute marvel of beating up children, or who I assume to be children. They just look small. But first... But first... Defense. And then... Defense, because we have to be hit. We just- we have to take the damage. Yeah, do it. Whoa... Dodgy! He's got the wavy attack now. That's damaged once. Cool. Actually, why am I doing this? I should be appealing. How are the... yeah. Should be appealing to the world at large. Nice. All right, so that was... Three times taking damage. Right? And now we just need four and five. Get him! Whoop! And again, one more time. Yes, as he pee pees on himself, pours tea on himself. That is the second time this week that I've made a slip about piecing on myself. That's incredible. Clearly something's going on. <laughs> Internally, in my brain, my brain is focused on nothing more than just urinating on myself. Will that come to fruition? Find out next time. <laughs> oh my god! I thought you were gonna get me whacked into your brother. Nice. That kind of worked. Oh! Now you're wavy and electric. Oh, that's why I went past him, because he was evasive. 
That makes sense. Well, I'm not gonna ground pound you. I'm just gonna whack you with a giant freaking hammer, right? Oh, oh, oh. Do the thing. Oh, it didn't work at all. Why did no work? I guess I'll just do the I'll just do the gold piece. I just do the gold piece. Get him out of here. Evidently, all this guy wants to do is get eaten by my little doodad. Oh no, I'm out of flower points. Okay, well, we have a solution for that. And uh, that is, yet again, another treatist of the sweetest. Sweetest of the treatists. A treatise, I say, as if we're talking politics. It's all about politics. The world's in shambles, but that's okay. So long as I've got my FP, my flower points, or, uh, or something else, I suppose. My f- my foops. My foops, Brian. They're my foops. Don't use your PowerPoints, Brian. One of these characters should get a Stewie voice. Maybe the next area. Get him. We got ourselves a winner. It's the Great Gonzalez. Is that all you got? It is. It is truly all that I've got. It's truly all that they've got. They've got one spine per. That's about it. That's uh, and that's that's that's, that's a lot of it. I'm hoping that at the very least, maybe we'll get some nice coin out of this. I was thinking of like, I was thinking of what game I wanted to play this morning. And the game that I said, I, I was three between three different games. One was this one. One was Chrono Trigger. Because I also haven't played that. Actually, I haven't played that one in even longer. But it's been on my mind. Uh, and one was this game. It's another RPG called Moon. Remixed Adventure. And it's like an ant. I think if I'm correct in saying it's like an anti-RPG. And an anti- it's just like, the premise of the story is essentially, the main character, which is you, like, falls into, I think, like, a dream, and gets transported to this world, where there is a hero going around and killing monsters and stuff, like you would do at any game, like, getting levels and stuff, you know? Five turns or less, that's what I gotta do from this one. I've gotta date with a cute chickadee. The fact that you, a turtle thing, is dating a small chicken, baffles me. But I guess love is love. Um, but so the concept of the game is essentially you're going around and your goal is not to fight or level up or anything. You're trying to save the souls of the monsters that the hero has killed. And I was like, wow, I I've been wanting to play this game for a while because I went through a phase where I was looking at like weird games and stuff and this was one of them. Um, however, I realized that there are at least two RPGs that I also want to play that I haven't completed, completed yet and that it, one of them is this one. So I was like, it, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to hold myself back and do these ones instead. I got to finish, I got to clinch off the things that we've already started. The Great Gonzalez is now going against the ultimate weapons. They'll fight to the finish with a poke of faces. Let me out of Bria! Are you ready for a beating? Ooh, 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 ooh. You're going to be cold fucking and that ain't good. Get yourselves ready to battle. How else but to best give personification to these guys? Oh, I've oh, I've scanned you before. <laughs> Five turns or less or- Oh, That's not cool. That's not very cash money. Fine. I was gonna give you the big old lick, but fine. You don't get it. I'm gonna knock you over instead. No suck for you. At least not the good one. And that's it. Well, my mouse is still on screen. Get my mouse out of here. My mouse can hang over here. That is indeed all that they have. Here's your fight money. Actually, one of the reasons that I really like this game, of the, uh, as I was going through the options of what I wanted to play this morning, though, I settled upon this one because I was like, I remember that this, one of my favorite parts about this game was that there was a cooking mechanic where you can combine items together and make other items. Like, it was the origin of, like, the mixologist in me when I was a young boy. Gonzalez, you hear that? You just got another email. See what it is, man. Okay. Hello. Go to the watering hole. Outside the glitz pit from X. It's our mystery X, dude. It goes to some watering hole. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'd give anything to know who this dude is. Seriously, though, who could it possibly be? Is it, could it be somebody that we know already? Excuse me, I'm gonna go take a tinkle outside. Public urination is not a problem for MMA fighters. Excuse me. 
Excuse me, PP boy coming through. No, just kidding. All right, there's nobody here. Fine. <gasps> I'm famous. I forget. If I switch out to flurry, can I? I think I can blow these things away, right? I can blow them right off the wall. I think. I, was that a thing? Was it? Was it a thing? I thought that was a thing. Maybe that's later. Oh no no no! It's it's totally a thing now. <laughs> Nerd. Oh, but only me? Oh, only me? What? That's ridiculous. I can only blow off my own images? I feel like that's a plot point that I might have forgotten about. Hello, Mouse. Well, well, Mr. Mustache, we've made it to the Ma Major League, have you? I'd keep a whisker to eat, Flo. Something stinks here. It is not a ripe cheese. Call it a thief's intuition. Better safe than sorry, my sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, madam. <laughs> Where's the- the watering hole to me is a bar, so I'm gonna go to the bar. Oh, slight little glitch thing there. Actually, since playing this game last, my computer has had an upgrade. I have a different CPU now entirely, and uh, things seem to be running smoother. Especially with the stream stuff. At least it seems like it. Meet me by the watering hole. This feels like a watering hole. Hello? Do y'all have anything different to say from last time? Nah, nah, you, you're saying the same shit as last time. Where's the watering hole? Is it perhaps behind the watering hole? Is the watering hole, in fact, not a bar? Mm. Shame. I was gonna say Papa could use a drink, but I am not a father. Hot dog shop? No? Souvenir shop? Meet me near the watering hole! Oh, I forgot that there was a star piece back here. Maybe I just answer the phone. Hello! The local time is now. Snack time? Speaking of which, I'm gonna eat a... I got a cherry. I got these nice black cherries from the farmer's market. Mm. And of course they have pits in them. Very delicious. Are you who I'm searching for? Welcome to my souvenir shop! What can I do for you? <laughs> Press A to buy stuff. Okay. Power punch. Feels good. None of this stuff heals. Oh. A feel super mushroom. Alright. Yeah, I could take some of those. 15. I thought it was worth... T oh, no, 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 no. It heals 10. You buy it for 15. What are my points count at? I want points. Give me points. What are my points? Check out my points. How many points? Let's see here. 17 shoppy points. How many points do I need? Points, points, points. Get an ice storm. Oh. Oh. It's the next level. We'll get there. We'll get there. As, as... <laughs> I was gonna say, as I know, I am a purveyor of fine goods all the time, and I am a very, very consistent shopper at certain locations. He says incorrectly, because that's not actually true. I'm gonna go back and talk to everybody here. Somebody's gotta be... This is a watering hole to me. You, Gramps! <laughs> Oh, you're Mr. Gonzalez! Yeah, that's the mustache I've been waiting for. Actually, you're pretty late. Somebody left a package and a note by the door a bit ago. And the letter said, look for a thick-stashed man named Gonzalez. And give him this. The, this, the letter was talking about, <laughs> is this. It's my Arm and Hammer baking soda collection. <laughs> A.K.A. the Super Hammer. Hey, dude. What's up, Toadette? Hey, it's me again, Toadette! So nice to meet see you again, Mario! Ha! <laughs> Congratulations on getting that super hammer! It's way more powerful than the one previously! Plus, you can use a wicked new technique! Wanna learn about it? So that's sure you do. I'm gonna say it anyway, because I don't give a shit about your opinion. It's a little hard, but I'm sure you'll understand. Hold down the B button, rotate until your body twists all up and whatnot, and then release B again to do the super hammer technique. The key is to rotate a lot before releasing the B button. Hold down the buh button and rotate your joystick and then release the buh button. Yeah, yeah, you do it! Yeah, get him, bud! Yeah, give him the good old twisty-wisty! Uh, okay. Oh, excellent, Mario! It's so awesome! You wanna try it again? No, I think I, I think I got it. Well, for lack of echo, we're gonna do it again anyways. I, I, don't, I don't think I wanted to do it again. It's okay, I did it on purpose. It's for comedic effect. Get him. 
Yeah, you got it. All right, cool. <laughs> nice job there. I'm really glad that you didn't hit me in the face with that. Actually, gotta say, a little disappointed. <laughs> okay, great. You mastered the super hammer. Bye bye. Oh, hit this block now. With a super hammer move, you could break even big blocks like this. The yellow ones who look angry. Oh, gee, I almost forgot. You can use the super hammer in battle too. Try it. See you later, Mario. Good luck on your quest. Uh. So far as I could tell, that hammer's a new model. It's the Hammerwack 2005. Uh, yes. Uh, real nice hammer all around. Solid craftsmanship, good grip, high bonkability. The commercial for the, the commercials for this thing say the hammer chooses its user. Kind of like that sword Excalibur. Have you heard of it before? It's a long story dating back to the 12th century. Uh, but anyways, they aren't cheap either, so whoever gave this to you must be an absolute fan of yours. Perhaps even a secret admirer. Uh, but why, why leave it in this juice shop? Isn't that strike you as a bit odd? I mean, why? Uh, this is just a little watering hole. You've heard it referred to as the watering hole before, have you not? I mean, it's not like it's that hard to give a gift to, to a pro fighter. Just hand it to them, really. And I mean, it is a pretty heavy hammer, so I'm kind of the circular logic and stuff there, and in the background I'm continuing to talk and Mario, darling, an email call. Hello? Meanwhile, I keep I keep mumbling in the background. Smash the blockade in the minor league locker room. From Za. The blockade in the minor league locker room? Hmm. What could be behind it? I still can't get over that gift from your fan. I've been talking this entire time, don't you know? You're really on your way now. Getting to Stalker is a big step on the road to fame. Can you imagine what would happen when you finally get to the rank number one? And anyways, I'm old. Fading into the background. We hear from our local hero. Juice Bar Monty. I think I gotta go over on this side. Boop, 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 doo, doo, boo, doo, doo, boo, doo, 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 actually kind of worked out. It does strike me as kind of Wii like. It's a Nintendo game. Or is this in the minor league locker room or the. Uh, I don't remember which locker room it was. Can I come in? Uh, Gonzalez, is it? I got the word that you wanted to move back down to the minor league again. Can't say I understand why. Anyway, go on in. Ah. Aha. Aha ha 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 ha. Hi, everybody! I'm back! Check out this new technique that I learned. I'm gonna break the freaking walls in. Hi, everybody. Oh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna want one of those. Ah! I want one- I want it. I want it. Give me- Ah! Can I, like- Hello? 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 Oh, wait, 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 I recall. I have a party member for this one. Babuchi! Come here, Babuchi. I need to get to, to the other side. C come here, buddy. Yeah! Doobie's paper. A letter that looks like it has lots of important stuff in it. Hmm. Oh, but but available. Well, Gonzalez, that's some kind of scientific paper on the crystal stars. Who'd be investigating those things behind us? They even took pictures! Now, who'd leave something like this laying around? This just reeks of funny business! And it also reeks of Sharpie marker. You again. Mr. Gonzalez, what are you doing here? Uh, uh, this is the minor league locker room. Major league athletes are forbidden. Even if they weren't, it's hardly appropriate to bash down our walls. Now... Isn't it? Come hither, you. I also forgot you wear glasses. I'll just be confiscating this. Thank you very much. I'm proud of it. Anybody see that new Nintendo Direct that came out? My mind has been flooded with thoughts of Elephant Mario, personally. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, what's with her? We busted our heads getting that information. Some people just gotta rain on parades. Well, at least we know the Crystal Star's here. It is. And who might it be with? 
Didn't, did we see the champion's belt already? I don't remember if we saw the champion's belt already or not. Um, spoiler alert. It's the champion's belt. That's just what it is. Lil Lev says, Elephant Mario seems awesome. I'm looking forward to the new Persona game. Oh, I didn't see... Oh, excuse me. I didn't see the new Persona game. Occupied. Okay. I didn't see that. Actually, I only saw, like, the major, like, Nintendo stuff. I saw the Princess Peach game that's supposed to come out. I saw... Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon getting a remake, Super Mario Wonder, uh, Pikmin 4. I want to get that. I like Pikmin games so much. I'll play that at some point. Oh yeah, New Persona Tactics. Also, SM- Oh yeah, 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 yeah! Super Mario RPG remake and Star Ocean 2. I'm also super excited about Super Mario RPG. That was a game that, like, conceptually I loved when I was younger, but I never really got to play it, and I don't exactly know why. Like, there were, there were a good number of games that I just like, I just didn't, I, I loved when I was younger, but I didn't actually play them. And Super Mario RPG was one of them. I, it's because I watched my younger brother play them. So I watched him, I love Luigi's Mansion. I didn't really play it much myself. I watched my brother play it. Super Mario RPG, same exact thing. Persona 3, he also played, and I love that game too, but I never actually played it. And when I, when I <laughs> before I started streaming, I was like, would anybody really want to watch people play video games on the internet? And I was like, oh, I've been doing it for years. So yeah, absolutely. All right, the next Gonzalez, the Turtles of the Hurdle, fight to the finish with the Shell Shockers. You think we can take me and Gonzalez? Ha! Not gonna do it. So cold, Grand Gonzalez. Don't think I'm gonna take it easy on you, baby. Battle, y'all. Get him. But yeah, the entire redesign for uh, Super Mario RPG looks really, really cool. Do not jump. I will try my best. How? Actually, you know what I can do? If I if I sweet it up, I can use Earth Tremor. And then I can get the guy that's up in the air and knock him to the ground. Right? Was that enough? Is that enough goo? It's enough goo. I'm gonna I'm gonna just do that. Knock everybody over. Oh, nice. And everyone's dead, right? Right? What? How have you not ceased existing? I don't understand. Dodge yourself. Wow, that's unfortunate. All right, well, I can't use my jump, but can you use your ground pound? I can't jump, but you can certainly ground pound, right? Yeah, now you're on the ground, and now I, I didn't... Yeah, what else can I do? I can do... Oh, I can super hammer now, right? Strike an enemy, knocking into the enemy behind it, which replaces the need to have Babuchi with me all the time. Slightly damage all ground enemies. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, I did it bad. But at least I'm style. <laughs> wow, you suck. But at least I feel good. Oh, goodness. That's not good. I had forgotten about this completely. Oh, God. I forgot that these guys did this. No. Please stop. Cease it. Cease it. Uh, <laughs> that's not very good. Uh, I can't use my jump. I can use this, right? Attacks all ground bound enemies. It's my last resort. This reminds me a bit of inside ba the the inside Bowser Mario and Luigi game, dude. This is a, well, uh, mm, yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. Those <laughs> narrowly survived. That was uh, Mario and Luigi RPG Bowser's Inside Story. Also, the Mario and Luigi RPG games I liked watching my brother play, but never actually played them myself, including Super Superstar Saga, Bowser's Inside. Story. Actually, I played Bowser's Inside Story, I think. Yeah. How that floor taste? Dumbass! We're, we're gonna be a little nicer, actually. Gonzales! Oh, no, why? No, don't do it. Wait. Whoa, nail it. I don't believe my eyes, folks. The Iron Adonis twins are in a rage. You made us look like suckers the other day, and now you're gonna pay for it. Oh, a little tired from your match, great stink wad? Well, too bad. Prepare for pain. I want nothing more ten than to s slap these guys with a cold slice of pizza. 
Nothing more than that. All right. Well, here we go. No, it doesn't work. That's impossible. Yep, that's not good. Oh my god. I don't have any healing items. This is incredible. I don't have any heals to bring you back to life. I can bring me back to life. I can bring me. I, I can give my health back up, but I don't think I can damage them at all. I need the power of Babuche. And I do not have the power of Babuche upon me. I do not. Oh, this is so unfortunate. I can't bring you back to life. I have to. Oh, wow. That is so unfortunate. Um, all right, well, that's fine. I, I literally can't do it without Baboche, so I just got to be more careful about him next time. I'll stock up on items. Yeah, now who's laughing? Oh, that's who. <laughs> Whoa, talk about carnage. Great, great Gonzalez is down. An unsanctioned match like this won't affect his ranking, but hooey, what a beating. The gauntlet's been thrown down. What'll happen next? Who knows? But it's going to be wild. Until next time, everyone. So we'll see you later. Bye bye. What a double ironclad Adonis dick move. Now, if you'll excuse me, yeah, I know. I'm gonna go take a gonna go take a rest. Maybe get some. I guess I should get some. Oh, hello, Gonzales. What's up? Uh, I don't know who this is supposed to be. Nah, actually, I feel like I know who it is. You keep on sticking your nose where it don't belong. And you are D-E-A-D-M-E-A-T. Man, that dude sounds really peeved and has a large vocabulary. What was he saying? Is it dead meat? Who do you think would say something like that? And what, what does it mean for meat to be dead? What is the real meaning of meat? Mario, I'm young. I need you to explain it to me. What does it mean to be a carnivore? I've tasted flesh before, Mario. I want another taste. All right, so if I can prevent you from dying, we'll be pretty good. I don't have that earthquake guy anymore. That would be useful. I want to go back and get an earthquake. That's a good item to have against those guys. If I do more damage on them to begin with, I feel like it'll be easier. So I'll go get myself an earthquake and then come on back. Maybe get a couple of earthquakes. Cash is meant to be spent. When you have money, you must spend all of it. That's the goal. To live paycheck to paycheck, obviously. At least when you're mm, yeah, Mario. And when you're a Super Mario, it's all about just, just spending money. Spending all of your coins. On a hot dog! I don't actually, that was a lie. Actually, I could go for a hot dog. My buddy Lycos Lore, who also streams, has been uh, this inside joke now that's been continuing where he's got a brand of hot dogs. Like, if I have my bar brand, he's got his food brand, and he's got Lycos Lore brand hot dogs, which in universe, in canon, are like, they're L-shaped. Don't know how you make a hot dog to be shaped like an L without snapping it. But they're also made from meats? I guess? The lore behind Lycos Lore brand hot dogs extends deeply beyond what's visible on the surface. I'm sure one day we'll have a whole deep dive into it, but not, not today. Eventually we will. Alright, back in here. Alright. And now, um, hopefully we have enough to kick these guys' butts. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Are you fixing for a fight? Just like every single time I see you go the lights. I say. The fu- oh. Oh. Oh, interesting. I'm not... I want you to stand pat. In this battle, I want you to stand pat. Do not attack at all. Ah, I see. My boochies are gonna get to the front limelight stage. I don't know, Mario. That kind of sounded weird. <laughs> the fuzzballs. The epic fuzzballs of destiny. All right, these are like the sp uh, these are the little uh, sp yeah the shadow is bright guys. I feel like this is gonna be tough to do with Babucha just alone. The bottomless the bottomless vacuums. Yep, a fight to the finish with the fuzz, aka the popo, aka yeah, <laughs> donut lovers. <laughs> it's uh, just kidding. These little puffballs over here. Anyways, 
That's how I imagine these guys speaking. Get him! Here comes the Green Gonzales! When I was a child, I pronounced it Gonzales because I had no idea how to speak. I still don't know how to speak. I'm just kind of pretending the entire way. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat you, and I'm gonna kill you, and I'm gonna eat you and kill you, and then. I... All right, wow, bye. <laughs> Alrighty then. Mario over here just looking absolutely fly. Uh, no, nope, wasn't able to dodge that one. That's okay. Come here, buddy. No, 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 don't sap my. You sap my fire points, don't you? I dislike you considerably, but that's fine. Because I, I don't have anything to replenish my flower points. No! Oh, thank goodness you're dead. Awesome! I thank goodness you have suffered. What? I forgot you could do that. Huh. Forgot that you could do shit like that. Pop. Are you dead now? Hey! We've killed little harmless creatures! <laughs> Finally! I can finally satisfy my carnal desire to kill! I'm just kidding. They're still alive. That all you got? I say... I say, like, heaving. Here's your fight money. Go get him. And now I can fund my gambling career! Thank you! Because there was a... there was a, um... Hmm. What did you call it? It was a casino outside of Glitzville. Hey, you, Gonzales. Jolene brought you a piece of cake from a fan, I guess. I recall that this thing knocks me out completely. Instead of eating the cake, instead I'm going to look at the cake, smash my face into it, make sure it gets all up in my Mario mustache, and then eat it. Okay, now I'm gonna eat it. That's how Mario would do it. Yeah, let's chat out. Let's do it. You've fully recovered. I just took the sleepies. I'm gonna drop dead in the middle of the fight. Right? Is that how that works? I vaguely recall. Like, there's so much de there's so much detail to this game that I just forget about because it's been so long since I played it. So, in the meantime, as I'm waiting for myself to pass out, I'm going to uh, play around with the lockers. Hello. Uh, 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 hello. A uh, hello! 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 Hello! Anyways, nothing's happening. No matter how high that pitch gets, it's just not doing anything. Next, we're gonna fight rank five. It's the Magic Koopa Masters. Now, listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using any of them special moves. You understand what I mean by special, boy. You're a special kind of boy, so I have to make sure that I explain it to you specifically. I think the crowd's craving a nice long battle, the simplest and finest. You hear me, boy? Simple, fine. No attacky wackies with your fancy special movies. You understand? Now go get out there. I can't help thinking that I was just condescended. Gonzals, simple man, come with me. Follow. <laughs> Gonzals, follow. It's still not my name. I still am not the code of the Gonzales. For our next battle, the merciless executioner and the underworld servants. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Magic Koopa Masters. Yeah, bring it! You ready for a beating? I'm gonna get you! <laughs> you fool would do well to fear our dark magic! Battle! <laughs> do not use special moves. What is considered special? Well, I guess it depends on who you ask. I'm gonna do... Jumpies! Jumpy on the G-Magi-Koopies. That was, that was kind of sucky, but you know what? We got it. Ground pound. There we go. If I just keep clicking the button, more things happen. Uh, I was not able to avoid that. Stop that. What are you doing? No. Ah, uh, uh, I don't like that. No, that's not fun. Electrified. 
Some would say that it is indeed electric boogie woogie woogie. Not me, though. There we go. Very fun stuff. And now you're out of the picture. Give me flowers! My headphones do not want to stay on this morning. My f my fat points are full. That one was not a Freudian slip. I definitely said that on purpose. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Get him. Okay, well, that's fine. So long as nobody's, like, actually hurt, then I think we'll be okay. Style! Damn it! No style! I'm only just nice in the eyes of the audience. You're gonna get electrified, but it's gonna be okay. Pal, it's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. I know it's gonna be fine. Just just trust me, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. You're not actually fine, but you did do one damage. Kill him! Nice dodge. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Can you not throw rocks? Get out of here. You can throw, like, rock candy so I can catch it in my mouth like I do at the hibachi restaurants, but not, not, not like this. Not like this. I can't take that. E oh, tapping my R button. The R stands for right. As opposed to the L standing for left. It's time to establish a great level up. Um, I don't know what I did last time. I want more BP points. Do I want haps, faps, or baps? I want baps. Bap! I'm gonna bap the microphone and see what happens. I don't know if it's gonna make a weird sound. Bap. Anyways. <laughs> yeah! Cinnamon is the winnerman! What'd you say? <laughs> Cinnamon? Mario! Oh, it's Bowser. Oh, God. Mario! Whoa, another fighter storming and screaming his full head off about something. Gonzalez has lots of foes, folks. Some don't even know his name. Will he live? Word on the street was that some mustached doofus was in Glutzville, and looky here. Talk about perfect timing, and now all these folks get to watch me murderize you. Murderize? What is a murderize? <laughs> I'm gonna destroy you, and I have witnesses. Look at the audience. Look at the audience. I see no one. All right, come here, buddy. I'm gonna super hammer you because it just feels appropriate. Whoppa! Get him out of here! Bye bye. Oh, welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna vor Bowser. Gulp. Incredible. How's it feel? Nice. Very good. How's it feel? How's it freaking feel, Bowser? I don't feel so good. Can I shrink bounce you? Uh, I don't... Mm, I don't have proper shoes on for that, I don't think. I don't recall. Power hammer's pretty awesome. It makes me do that flippy-do. Flippy-do, flippy-do, flippy-do. Oh! I missed the last flippy-do. And that's what I get. That's called karma. It's time for four attack! Aja! A classic. Just a classic. Alf! Well, I'd expect nothing less from you, Mario. Figures you'd get some licks in. And some... And some... Disembowelments, too? It's kind of disgusting. I feel a little moist. Om nom nom. <laughs> oh, Bowser. You don't know when to quit. No, I don't want to do... Actually, how much is gulping ability? That doesn't do that much damage, anyways. I'll go with... I'll go with Super. Power smash! Oh no! I wasn't very skillful! But we have a chance at bingo! No. Uh, I'll take that. Yeah. It's a Bowser Fright Mask! Um... Mm, where's my partners? There's not much I can do here. I'll, I'll, like, I'll scam Goombella. I've never actually scanned Bowser before. Nice! It's, it's, t it's high time we do that. Let's do that. Uh, nope. Not about that. Take your can and put it in the can! That's that's what we say. Tattletail. I'm gonna learn your deepest, darkest secrets. That's Bowser, but what he's doing? What's he doing here? My mind just blew a fuse. 
Max HP is 30, attack is 3, and defense is 1. He's uglier than I expected. He's got a poisonous bite, so watch out. It'll make your HP decrease gradually. Also, if he ground pounds you, you won't be able to use one of your commands. Just focus on your attention on beating him down, Mario. I will try my damnedest. It's time for the treatest of the sweetest, because I need some fat points. All right, get the point. Okay, well, we're off to a wonderful start here. It's okay, I'm focusing only on faps. I need only faps. Bring me the faps. That's a, that's a considerable number of faps, I, I'd say. All things considered, this is a good amount of fap. This is fine. I can, I can deal with that amount of fap. That's good. Do, do, do. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I, I'm good. I got distracted for a hot moment. Uh, yeah, uh, and now you can switch yourself out because I don't need that anymore. I'm going to have somebody like Koops who can actually do something about it. Come get my power smash, Bowser. Skill, skill. Oh, uh, skill. Oh, uh, the audience is gone. Uh-oh. You can't use me... I just noticed there was a little yellow piece of nectar or something that came off of Koops. I'd never seen that before. I wonder if that, that just happens for like when an ability gets erased. And now you're dead, boy! Get him out of here. <laughs> so long, gay Bowser! Wahoo! Oh. Whoo, that's all Gonzalez. He don't even bat an eye when some nut ambushes him. Tough! You're tough too, son. You're too tough, son, and you're only gonna get tougher. Stay tuned, folks, for the next episode of Gonzalez and Friends, aka the show where Gonzalez beats up his friends. <laughs> and until next time, y'all. <laughs> Bye. I say. Do I get any bonus? Can I get some bonus? Jolene? Is that your name? Are you Jolene? You received 13 coins. I don't remember what your name was. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be getting out. If it was Jolene. I remember when I was, uh, oh, wait, wait, um, was that King Bowser? What was he doing here? That kind of freaks me out. Yeah, I understand that. The, uh, if it was, if their name is Jolene, then there's, like, this song by, uh, Dolly Pratt, right? Dolly? Dolly Parton. Dolly Pratt? No. Dolly Parton. It's Jolene. It's the Jolene song. But we were up in, uh, uh, Vermont visiting my brother, and we were in a restaurant, and I swear that the Jolene song played at least four or five times in a row. It was like a whole, like, what's new pussycat, um, uh, situation. But it was in a, an American diner restaurant in Vermont, and it was Jolene, or whatever the name of the song, Jolene, by, uh, um, it might actually be called Jolene by Dolly Parton. Actually, I'm gonna figure that out now. What song is this? Uh, hold it for a moment. Da Jolene, 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 please don't take my man away from me. Sounds like one of these. It's literally just called Jolene by Dolly Parton. All right, I now know that. Alrighty then, rank number four is Crawl Daddy, aka Jolene in an exoskeleton. That's what they like to be called on the inside. Now listen, son, it's all about the inside that counts. And so because of that, I want you to stay inside, do nothing. People just want to get a little of your partner. So you got to switch out your partners, do whatever you need to do, but make sure that shell gets the line of day. The light of day. You know what I'm talking about? That's straight on spotlight. Now get on in there. Fight time. Mr. Gonzales. I mean, I mean, Mr. Coops and Gonzales. Your partner. Your mere partner. That's all you are. This bodes well. Uh, this is fine. Uh, for our next battle, we got the merciless execution, uh, the great Gonzalez, and the dark gatekeeper. Yet a fight. Yep, a fight to the finish with Crow Daddy. I'll try not to get in your way, Mario. <laughs> I love this guy's mentality. Foolish mortals, I will drag you through the gates of the netherworld. Get yourselves ready to battle. This guy's a little overdramatic, but we like him for that now, don't we, folks? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. All right, fine. You get the front stage. Let's get him. Power shell. Nice. Three Damagi and stylish. Great. And you are going to appeal to the audience. Do not attack. 
Ow! That's that's mighty painful there. Let's hope that enough shell tosses to actually accomplish the goal that I'm hoping for. Nice. Nice. And now, you know what to do. Uh, actually, I guess you can just defend, because you're just going to get stabbed with a little thing again. Ow! Laugh about it. You silly beaked gatekeeper to the underworld. What's the name of the um the boat dri uh the boat driver the boat driver Karen Karen Charon is like the boat driver in like the river sticks I think I think that's the name Hey what are you doing I don't like that attack I mean I guess I do because it kind of goes to the other guys but uh actually that worked fine I thought there was a way to like maximize damage for that particular attack hmm. Oh no 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 I wanted to keep that I am thinking of Karen. Oh man. I beat up the little shooting star. Actually, I have I have heals. What am I doing? I shouldn't worry about this. It was Charon. Or Charon. Charon what? <laughs> I don't know. Oh man, I've been doing really shittily at uh, defending this guy. Well, you need to stay alive, so... Mario is going to use a little... You oh, I only have one... Huh. I have one super shroom. Interesting. All right, well, hopefully this is enough. Oh, I'm running out of flower points. I'm going to have to sweet treat now anyways. Unless it's enough. Nope, it is not enough. Oh, come on now. Um, Or I just use regular attack. I can just use regular attack. Nice. All right. Um, Still not enough yet. So Mario is going to do the only thing that he's good at and appeal to the crowd at large, and uh, just remind everybody how beautiful he is. Okay, that was fine. I haven't been able to dodge a single one of those attacks. That's unfortunate. Um, if this doesn't kill you, maybe it do? Oh, yes! It worked right at the same time. I wonder if any ne'er-do-wells are going to pop on stage and try to bump my ugly... I, I don't know. We got ourselves a winner! It's the Gritty Gonzalez, just as usual. We, we won? Oh, cool. Excellent. I love a winning. Winning battles are great. <laughs> I'm exhausted, Mario. I need to sleep. Can we sleep together? 14 coins. Come to think of it, have I been getting coins for the battles themselves? I don't remember if I have or have not been. I do not recall. Next level up in the fighting arena. <gasps> it's email! I forgot fan mail! Uh, Mario, your pocket's beeping. It's mail time. Uh, go to the telephone booth, out of the pavilion. Okay. Oh, it's from X again, huh? Telephone booth? Pavilion? Does he mean outside? You remember seeing a phone booth? Well, we better go look around. Okie dokie. I need to go to call my mother anyway. <laughs> Hello, a mother. Hello, a phone call. Ring, ring, ring. Mama, Daddy. Oh, hello. <laughs> Gonzalez. Good time in your pudgy little punk. Uncle Rockhawk's got some advice for you. If you keep stealing the spotlight from me, you're gonna enter a world of hurt. Quit making such a splash if you value your puny life. <laughs> Squawk, 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 squawk. Hey, who does that guy think he is threatening us? But, but wait, threatening us? Maybe that hate mail came from the Rock Hawk himself. Well, one way or another, we need to be really careful from now on. I don't identify that guy as a threat. <laughs> Little do you know, in this world of gender non-binaries, I identify as your worst nightmare. I love this concept. I like the concept of Rockhawk being like an incredibly like, like, humilitous and like really understanding and like liberal individual. But he's got that like, angry persona of making people want to get angry. Like, like, I imagine like, those stereotypical like, like, um, like, ralliers, like American ralliers. Except he's on the complete other side of the political spectrum and probably steers a little queer. I wouldn't be surprised, and honestly, I want to see it that way. That's how I imagine Rockhawk being. <gasps> Ooh, a key! 
A key that opens the storage room door in the Glitz Pit. Oh, hello! You've reached Mario! Go to the storage room next to the Grubba's office. Okie dokie! Now we have to go to some storage room? Man, this seems like a lot of legwork. This is a guy just playing with us? I'm gonna get more Babuche out of here. Babuche doesn't usually see the light of day. Come on out! Whoop! Actually, I'm also gonna buy some healing items. Excuse me. Also, I need my points. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, hey there. Look at all those pop shop points you got. So how about I set you up with an ice storm? Sure. Can I? Can I have an ice storm? Can I? Can I? Can, can I do the? Can I? Oh, did you did you give me the ice storm already? Oh, you totally did. Thank you so much, sir. Appreciate your business greatly. Now a lot more. I also really gotta stop spending so many items, to be honest. Spending so many items. Yeah, you heard me. Mostly because I know that there- I, I remember there are areas beneath, like, uh, Rougeport. Where, um, I can buy, like, good stuff. And also because, like, I want- I want to do the recipe thing. I think you get a recipe in this book eventually. I need to- I need to confirm that. What do we got over here? Jump! Ju nope, can't jump over that. I am not tall enough to jump over the velvet ropes. Let's see, what do we got here? Paper Mario Thousand Year Door Recipe Book. And if I find that there's an actual physical recipe book for this game that somebody made, I'm gonna be ecstatic and eventually want it someday. Not that I'm much of a cook, but eventually. List of zesty recipes? No, 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 it's a cookbook, right? You get a cookbook. Yes, okay. The cookbook is a special item. It gives the chef the ability. It is first seen uh, in Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. It's hidden in the creepy steeple. Okay, so I can't get that until the next- I think that's the next chapter. That's when we meet Vivian. Uh, am I ready to reserve a match? Uh, I wanna see my health, please. I wanna see my health, please. I wanna see my health, please. Can I gotta see my health, please? Yeah, we're good, right? Yeah, I know how to read. At least a little bit. I know- I need to- I- I, I can read at least proficiently. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I didn't even read that. Did X do this too? They've ruined my Game Boy Advance! I want to play my Game Boy! I want to reserve a match. Match reservation privileges are for the Great Gonzales. Are for the Great Gonzales are currently suspended. What's this crazy cock, huh? He totally did this! I want to play my Pokemon! <laughs> Alright, so, uh, it was the storeroom. I'm going to the storeroom. That's what I'm doing. Uh, somebody's gonna find me! Don't, don't look at me. Oh wait, where's my glasses? <laughs> so you're telling me that you have no idea who got inside? What do we pay you for? I'm awfully sorry, Miss Jolene. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene! I heard a noise in there, but I couldn't find nothing. Hmm, fine. Well, leave the rest of this matter to me. Go back to your post. And please, for the love of God, stop singing that song. And listen to me carefully. Do not tell anyone of this. Or I will have your job, and your head, and your testicles. They'll be mine. Uh, you didn't hear any of that, did you? Gonzalez, this is highly inappropriate. Never, never eavesdrop on a woman when she's talking about some man's testicles. What business do you have here? Please, I must ask you to stay out of places where you have no business being. Mario, what's a testicle? You're gonna learn when you're older. Onwards to adventure. <gasps> oh dear lord! Oh! <laughs> we meet again, you husky mustache hunk you! Are you a friend of Gonzales? I didn't know who we know he hung with crooks, and you look like one. So security was talking about noises in here. Did you make noise while you stole stuff? Oh, please. No one heard me. I'm the best mouse burglar of all time. I'm silent. It's quite obvious that someone else must have been monkeying around in here. Well, whatever, lady. But you are a thief, right? I mean, you got to look for it. 
I mean, I haven't yet... I've only been on this earth for a few hours or stuff now, and I really haven't learned to not judge people by the cover that they present themselves in. It's all about prejudice, right, Mario? Hush now, all you need to know is I've taken what I needed, and now I'll be on my way. As for the rest, help yourself to whatever you like. <laughs> and now we must part again, my sweet mustache man. Ah! Is that what's called a kiss? I heard about those things while I was in the egg womb. I'm jealous. Only you get it? Why can't I get one of those? Or something more? Is there something more? Mario, tell me that there's something more beyond just a kiss. When you're older. I almost forgot, my sweet. This area holds many secrets, you know. You should be very careful lest you end up like those poor souls upstairs. And with that, goodbye, my delectable hunk of cheese. We shall meet again. Bing! Bye. Well, she took off, huh? That was, what, was that, what was that kiss like? Man, I gotta get me one of those. Hey, but what do you think she meant about somebody being upstairs, huh? Like, I don't get it. Is it like heaven or people dead? What, what happens after death, Mario? These are important questions that I must have answered. Uh, hello, it's Mario. Find the staircase switch to reach the attic. Okie dokie. The staircase switch, huh? How the heck could there be a staircase in here? It's not like this is a really large storage room. Room, room. Room, room, room. Room, room, fight the power. Well, evidently, I gotta get up on these things. It said in the storage room, there's an elevator here in the storage room. How do? I think what I need to do is get into the vent system. I forget, can I go up on top of these? Nope. Can I come in? Hello? This is a champion's room. Only the champions can enter. All right. Well, what if I save a little bit? Because I don't know if I trust that. Uh, the emulator got an up uh, an update today, so I don't know whether that's going to make things risky of deletion. Can I come inside? Mr. Grubba's office. You may only enter when called by the Grubster. I thought there was a way to get... Hmm. Maybe I blow things around. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have that spinny hammer. Maybe I can spinny hammer. Nah. Maybe I have spinny hammer? Spinny hammer, spinny hammer? Uh, no piece? I'm pretty sure what I need to do is I gotta get on top of... I gotta get into the vent and then come on down. So I'm pretty sure what happens is if I'm gonna try to reserve a match, I'm gonna talk to Grubba, I'm gonna be able to go to his room, I can go into the vent and then yada yada whatever. Get it? Got it? Break. Okay, time to fight people. Welcome. Can I reserve my match now? Yeah, they're suspended. The crazy talk. Yeah. What do I do? Bathroom occupado? Damn it! Let me in! Let me in! I wanna go to the pee pee room! Just a little bit. Alright, so it wasn't that. Where be? I gotta talk to somebody about it. If I talk to... Can't talk to Grubba. I gotta talk to somebody else. I'll just walk around. Let's see what else there is to find here in this beautiful arena. Can I go inside? Hello? Can I come in? Hello? Major League room. You can only enter designated locker room. Makes me sad. Can I go inside? No one goes in here unless they're ready for an official match. I know I can't go in here yet. Oh, I can go in here. Hey, look at that. I found a badge. Nice. Minor League. I can't. Can't do it. Can't do it, Cotton. I don't have the power. Do not have the power to be not so famous. I need to talk about somebody upstairs, so for, for chance, for chance, I may go upstairs. Hello! A freelance cameraman here, you know, Rock Hawk spends like days in the bathroom. I don't know what he does in there, but I do know this. I need a scoop like that. Yes, I do. Maybe he's just powdering his beak. Seems like the most obvious choice. Hello! 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 Can I- can I help? Hello! Grubby Boo! When I'm a little older, I'm definitely gonna be a pro fighter and make the loot. I'll be wearing that belt in five years max, I know it. Puts hands on shoulder. I believe in you. Pursue your dreams. Just like I will. And then it cuts to like the scene of Mario turning into an elephant. I love it. 
All right, so apparently there was nothing upstairs. Anybody talk to down here? Hello? Go inside. Hello, can I say hi to the champion? It's fine. I'm just, it's not like I'm famous or anything. Well-known Super Mario? You don't, you don't know him? You don't know him? I don't know him. I don't know anybody, really. I read at a fifth grade reading level. Wahoo! Alright, something, something's amiss. Maybe I could find Jolene somewhere? I'll walk it outside. Uh, hmm. Actually, come to think of it, I didn't try, uh, flurrying in there. I didn't try my other partner ability, so I'll go back and check that in a little bit. I know, I'm pretty sure I get the super jump ability around here somewhere, because that's how I get this shine sprite. And I think that, well, actually, maybe I get that elsewhere. I don't remember where that is. Talk to my buddy over at the bar. Anything else, bud? Hello? Hello? Oh, hello. Maybe Jillian. Gonzalez, it seems that no fighter can stop your momentum. Your run reminds me of the glory days of Prince Mush, the first Glitzbit champion. Gonzalez, oh, oh, we know, I know about Prince Mush. Mush and versus mushroom, you know? Uh, hey, welcome! Our doors are always open for thirsty fine fans. This will sound crazy, but I really wouldn't mind being the strongest guy alive. I mean, sure, every guy dreams that once in a while, but the thing is, I once... No. No, wait, never mind. Good luck out there. I don't want to share my my quandaries with you. You're just going to leave me. Just like, just like my husband. He left me. For a woman of all things. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for your loss. Customer, I think you used to be my runaway egg, I think. Yes, that has from my naughty egg. I guess it's good I didn't cook it. Now have a huggy hot dog. There's still only 10 coins for one. You will buy one, will you not? Thank you, customer. I have a hot dog now? Cool. I have a hot dog now. Great. I'm gonna go back inside. There was nothing beneficial for me out here, I don't think. Let's see. Let's let's switch to Goombella, right? What was it you were saying? What do I gotta do? Yep, this is Glitzville. It's so exciting. It feels like we're in another country. This is like an entertainment hub that attracts visitors from all over the world. The Glitz Pit is obviously the main attraction. That's where fighters duke it out. To the right, the fresh juice shop, the hot dog stand to the left. Where to, for, where to first? I love your spunky energy, Goombella. All right, back in here. I just need, I think I need a little guidance. Goomba Lee, Goomba Low. What lies down below? Hello? No. And there wasn't something else in here. Maybe I talked to the, the fighters. I haven't talked to my fellow fight mates yet about why the system might be down. You, Gonzalez, you are now rival worthy of my skills. Alright. Nice. Spikes and mustaches are both bristly, I guess, but that's the odd, that's the only similarity. We're not at all like. By the way, my mother gave me this helmet, but told me not to tell my father. Yeah, I left my whole family behind to come make me a name for myself. They cheer me. I have to make it to the top for them, man. I've got to. You're pretty strong. Your partners are strong too, baby. Maybe I should get new partners, huh? Maybe. Maybe not. Occupied. Maybe that's supposed to be the raucest of hawkists in the bathroom. He spends all the time in there. Not like he's got his own bathroom to hang out. Alright, back into the room. There must be something. There must be something here. That or I'm gonna just figure it out eventually. Alright. Hitting rocks. Hitting rocks. Hitting rocks. Tell me something. This is the Glitz Pit storeroom. They must keep props or something in here. There's a second floor, too. If you see any odd, don't forget your partners. Don't forget my partners. My partners. Like, for example, Flurry, who can blow things away, potentially. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that was it. That was, that was it. Whackity, whackity, thwackity, thwackity, whack, whack, 
Hackensack, lacky do wacky wacky. New Jersey and and Delaware maybe. Yeah. What's a town in Delaware? Providence, Rhode Island, Delaware. Oh, Austin, Texas, Delaware. And just like that, the invisible becomes visible. Oh, I'm still wearing glasses. I don't need to do that. Although the glasses do indeed enhance my vision, I don't need them. <gasps> gibby, gibby, gibby. Rock. 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 Rock, rock, rock. Oh, okay. I need my I need my dude. I gotta get Babucci. Come out of here, Babucci. I need your help. Oh dear. I thought I could support. I thought I could have your no, get get on the get on the Yeah, dude. Okay, alright, nice, 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 nice. And then nope, nope. And then we Wiggity wiggity wiggity. Ooh, I see that. 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 I'm gonna need koopy doopies for this guy. Oh, I remember! I, uh, with my last level up was, uh, badge points. That means I should be able to equip some badges. Yeah, dude, I got six points! Awesome! Power plus boot your, boost your partner's attack. Power plus for me, boost Mario's jump and hammer attacks. That's pretty good. That's really good. I don't really think I liked Quake Hammer that much. Let me see what else I can do. It decreases damage by one with a guard action command. I could be very... That could be good. Go down health and otherwise. Wear this to add charge to your partner's tactic menu. What else do we got here? Super appeal! Super berry! I feel like all I want to do is just add more and more, like, batch points. Like, that's... I, I love just power-ups and stuff. Alright, so I don't want that one. Mumble, 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 mumble. It's Grubby Dub's room. So you didn't f f find or hide our hair. So you didn't find hide or hair of nobody in the storage room. That's what you're saying. Yes, Mr. Grubba, it appeared to be secured. Don't worry about it, sir. I've taken the necessary precautions. It was most likely just a rat or something. Well, no big deal either way. Nothing in there. You would miss too much anyways. Thanks for staying on top of this, Jolene. Hey, and by the way, any word on King K? I'm afraid we still don't know the whereabouts of King K, Mr. Grubba. And so I deleted his spot on our roster, per regulations. The Glitzpit no longer has any official connection to KP Pete, a.k.a. King K. I have, of course, taken the same steps with all fighters who have gone missing. Whew, fighters have sure been going missing a lot lately. That's the fifth this year. Well, what in tarnation's going on? I even heard security agents saying that Pitt's been cursed. I doubt that, sir, but I certainly don't understand the disappearances. Well, for the time being, tell you the other fellas that King K headed on home for a spell. If word gets out about missing fighters, it sure ain't gonna be good for business. No siree. Nasty rumors have a way of sending folks running to the hills, know what I mean? I understand completely, sir, Mr. Grubba. I'll take care of everything. Glasses. You know, Jolene, you're a dang fine manager. But you just plumb disappear sometimes. I gotta know, where in the world do you go, darling? Um, that's... Mr. Grubba, I know you're my boss, but I don't believe that's any of your business. Easy, 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 easy. I didn't mean to pry now. Uh, how about this, then? Have you heard of the Crystal Star? <gasps> uh, no. Uh, I, I, I've never heard of such a thing, Mr. Grubba. Well, okie dokie. Well, I appreciate your time, Miss Jolene. You go ahead and run along now, you hear? I'm out of here. Well, if this ain't a fine, how do you do? Seems like good fighters are a dying breed. That wild child Gonzalez is just about the only draw I still got around here. I feel pretty good about myself now. Mario, did you get all that? Fighters are going missing. Talk about scary. I figured King K just took on early retirement and headed home. Hmm. <laughs> what in the hey? A dang sail has spoken me. Hey, hey, hey. Is somebody up there? Uh. Oh, Nelly! Just a little burping beetle. <laughs> Here I am thinking somebody's up there peeping. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta relax. I gotta take some yoga classes or something. Maybe I'll grab some of the whiskey I got under my desk. Yep, well, back to the ring. 
Water, 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 door close. <laughs> wow, that was too close. It's a good thing that I can burp on command. So, Mario, you heard about the part about the Crystal Star, right? Miss Jolita acted pretty weird, though, I thought. C kind of s suspicious. Uh, we could look into it later, I guess, but for now, we better clear out before they find us. How about this tactic, where I flatten myself back in the storeroom? Nice. Well... Hopefully I can, like, you know, uh, fight people now. I am inching for a pinching. That's an attacking tactic. Pinching people. I'm inching for a pinching. That's what it's all about. Welcome. Can I do it now? Yes! More howdy, Gonzalez. Are you fixing for a fight, my friend? Well, alrighty then. Let me just see here. Uh, your next opponent is gonna be ranked three in the Glitz Pit. Hammer, Bama, and Flair. <laughs> Excuse me. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to use at least one special move, okay? The crowd needs something flashy. You catch my drift? Give them a good show. Now get in there and blow the roof off, son. Incredibly enough, I know I just read that out loud, but I did not catch what he just said. Something about flair. So that's either special moves or appealing to the crowd, so I'm gonna do that. One of the two. As I, as I move my headphones up, like getting down on my ears. I will say, I've kind of been losing faith in Corsair headphones. I'm just not a fan of them anymore. Just, like, not as comfy as they used to be. And they're kind of bulky. The big bad brute bros. Yep, a fight to the finish for Hammer, Bama, and Flair. Um, okay. We can do this. My, gra my grandpappy's hammer is gonna strike you down, man. Here it comes. Weren't you British before? I'm gonna make Turtle Stew out of you. Use a special move at least once. What is considered a special move? I don't exactly know anymore. This, I think, is special. That feels special. And now I'm gonna do this other one that's also kind of special. Nice! Nice. Trying my best. Ooh, that was perfect! Alright, that was not that perfect. All right, special move. If this is the other special move. Tremoring of the earth. Let the ground crack beneath thee as we summon the volcanic quakes of the mantle below us. And also cardboard, because I'm pretty sure this stage is made out of cardboard. Or something like that. Oh no! It's okay, it was pretty good nonetheless. I consider those moves pretty special. And everyone's dead! I love it. It's my favorite part. I feel like I get, overall, I feel like I get way too excited about the concept of people just straight up dying in video games. I sh I, maybe I need to be less aggressive on that. Or perhaps even more aggressive. Perhaps I need to start describing exactly how I want to see them killed as if it were in real life. We did it, Mario. Wow. Here we go! Money, 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 I got money and money. Nice. Mario's ranking was the three. Now let's get going. Oh! I'm gonna get to the telephone call! Hello, Mario's Pizzeria speaking. This is your last warning. Stop snooping around about the Crystal Star. I don't think we serve for that. If you don't, I'll, you'll suffer the same fate as the others who have gone missing. You hear? Must have been a wrong number. Oh goody, this guy again. He really seems to know a whole lot of stuff. Those missing fighters, the Crystal Star. Uh, you know, if we find this guy, we'll have all the answers. But who could it be? Maybe... It's you. You got my phone number. You've been calling me. You've been calling Mario's Pizzeria. Shouldn't be doing that. Anyways. What's the next match going to be? Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Are you fixing for a fight? No, I want pizza. Can I order a pizza? My ovens are broken. Your next opponent is going to be... I'm going to kill this fly while it's sitting here at my desk. This little fly. Oh, it's hanging around. Here, here we go. Come here, buddy. Come here. 
Come here. I got you. I did get you. Nice. I need to go to the store and get more apple cider vinegar. I've been running low on it, and therefore I don't have all my traps set up. It's because I finally have a plant. The basil plant? Bermuda the basil plant is actually growing. I mean, it actually, Bermuda looks kind of limp in the window, but alas, you know, uh, one-sided. Um, I need, I think it was the partner. Oh, no, 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 I need to not do anything. That's what I think. I'm very, I'm ve like very glad. At the very least, the Bermuda's leaves are still green. And that's a good thing. I will not eat the cake. I don't want to eat the cake. I don't want to eat the cake. I'm not going to eat the cake. When I need more health, I will come back and eat the cake. But as of now, I do not need the cake. No keiku this time. No keiku for me. Instead, what I'll do is I'll eat another snack. With the remainder of the rhubarb and rose syrup that I made last night, I had some of the extra, like, you know, plant matter and stuff. And although it looks kind of disgusting, just a little bit, actually, this is, this is like some rhubarb and rose leather that I made last night. It's actually really, really sweet. It's kind of, it's kind of tasty. It's got, it's got a really weird texture because essentially I'm just eating rose petals. But it's, it's, it's really, really good. It's got a nice taste to it. It's very floral. It is sweet. And it's also just the slightest bit tangy. And I say tangy because it reminds me of like that, um... Arf, arf, arf. It reminds me of dogs, actually. No. It reminds me of, like, the sweet and sour sauce. Or, like, the duck sauce that you get at a Chinese restaurant. Like, that kind of tanginess to it. It's kind of like, it's sour, but it's also sweet. But it's not like a sour sour. And it's not tart, either. It's not like a biting kind of sour. Very good. I like it. Um, I think only my partner, partner is supposed to do stuff. And you will be swapped. Gulpy times. Right? There we go. Nope, I did not avoid that one. In a way, excuse me, it does kind of taste like candy. I gotta get a, get a handkerchief. Oh, I thought I had a handkerchief on this. Well, I thought I did. I have tissues around here somewhere. Where's my, there we go. Sorry, nose got itchy. I have a habit of scratching the inside of my nose. Not picking it, just scratching the inside of it. I promise that. <laughs> and sometimes I do it without thinking. Yo, want a hot dog? I forgot I had a hot dog in my inventory. <laughs> what does that do? Does it actually like... Oh, cool, you're dead. I guess I'll have to check next time, or the next time that I remember it, that is. I'll admit, the pieces of rhubarb kind of get stuck in my teeth. That all you got, you! And no cursor words. No cussing. I learned it from one of the other fighters. Nice. Hey, bud, you doing all right over there? Pal? Pal, buddy old, buddy old chump? Chum pal? Little dark looking Koopa? By the way, Gonzalez, you see the dude bomb a floor back there? <coughs> Body what numb, stupid cake. I hate cake. I never eat cake again. Was that cake poisoned? Yeah, it must have been. If we'd eaten it, we'd have been all banged up like that guy. Well, damn. Who could have possibly seen this coming? Want to take a rest? Shall we sleep together? Oh. Um, um. Alright, let's get him. Boy, howdy. Let's fight. Let me get it. We got Chomp Country. Now listen, I want you to keep that partner of yours from attacking. Don't let him do anything. Keep that little firebrand of yours out of it. Alright? Now get in there. Show him who's boss. I am the boss. It is I who is the boss. Mr. Gonzalez. Get him, dude. Oh, wait a minute. Did I not do it right the last time? Interesting. Alright, so I guess I did it wrong the last time. Or something like that. Arfity, arf, arf, arfity, arf. I can probably kill these guys. Right? Probably. All on my own. Just using my attackies. That's easy. It's gotta be easy. Don't ever let your partner attack again. Got it. 
Let's try these. And if I can do the proper... Yes! I'm gonna get some Earth Tremor attacks going. If I just appeal. Okay, that didn't work. That didn't work either. Trying. Actually, can I just use an item? Can I just, like... I'm gonna just screw these guys up. I don't really want to deal with it. That's why we utilize the money we have! Attack! One of them's dead, right? Yeah, that was fine. Oh no! Sorry, Babuche! Can I dodge this time? Nope. I'm just having a really hard time with this. That's okay. Nope, not that one. This one. I'm gonna take this thing and I'm gonna whack you. There we go. I gotta wonder. I wonder if those chain chomps are like red because like there's some sort of red type of metal, like a like a bronze or something, or whether they've painted themselves for the sake of glamour, the glitz and the glimmer of the stage. <laughs> How's the floor taste? Bark, bark, bark. Arf, for the arf, 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 arf. Nice. Rank you up? Rank you up? His defense is rank at rank two. Oh, excuse me, I must be going. Okie dokie. Rank number two. Second to the best. Second to the bestest. Take another rest and see what comes on next. I feel like this is the is this the part where things get cool and crazy and wonderful? I don't know. Kind of running out of tea back here. I think I'm gonna get myself some more tea at some point. Let's see, what is the next match? Reserve, let's do it. I've got some really awesome tea that I bought from a convention I went to a while ago. I don't know where I put it. It's behind me. I'll grab that in a second. It's like an Earl Grey tea, but it's D&D themed. It's awesome. Let me just see here. Next opponent will be rank number one, the Kubernator. Now listen, son of this battle, I want you to let your enemy damage you five times. Oh, come on. I hate that one, but it's okay. It is going to be fine. In the meantime, I'm going to go put some tea on. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going back here. That's why I have my little... I'm a little thing about put some uh, function tea kettle. Let me get some hot water going. I can have it do it behind me. I realize I planned on streaming for the morning, so I can just put on hot water behind me. Oh wait, wait this is actually this is the tea that I'm drinking because I feel like sharing. So I like to share with people. This is the tea that I've got is by a company called D and T, like D ampersand T. And I got it when we were at the board game convention, Gen Con, last year. And this is their Underdark and Chill Advantage. It's, it provides advantage on dexterity checks, which obviously I need while I'm playing video games. It's cool because the back of these guys have, like, a little description that actually shows, like, like um, a little, like, stat block and stuff. And it is, like, super duper cool. I love it very much. It says on the back of here, Under Dark and Chill, Bold and Deep, Lawful Evil, Tea per serving, 1 to 2 teaspoons, Temperature 212 degrees Fahrenheit, Steep Time 3 to 5 minutes, Type Black Tea, and the description says, Cold. Ooh, actually, this is like a this is like a narration thing. Cold, damp air fills the Underdark. There's a chill that seems to sink right to the bone. You defeated the Beholder, but at what cost? You should take a short rest to sip on this restorative brew and regain some hit points. You're going to need them. Our take on an Earl Grey. It's really tasty. I'm just like a sucker for Earl Grey tea, so as soon as I saw that they were doing an Earl Grey option, I was like, I need, I need to get some of this. Evidently, I filled out a survey and I get like a little, like the next time I buy tea from them, I get like a free bag, so I'm curious. If anybody have, has recommendations on tea. I'm a big fan of Earl Grey and I like Lapsang Suchong. Smoky teas and I guess lavender teas seem to be my favorite so far. It's time to go up against the Razor Blade Brigadier. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Copenator. You think you can take me and Gonzalez on? Ha! You, finally, I get a piece of you. Finally, we'll see who's truly stronger. I'm gonna keep my ear open for the tea. And it was... Let the opponent damage me five times. So let's see. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna try to plan this out carefully. So we'll grab a uh, goom, uh, and then you're gonna tattle, so we can see exactly how much health you have, so I can figure things out. Nice. 
That's a dark coup patrol. These guys just totally ooze toughness, don't you think? Max HP is 25, attack is 5, defense is 2. After it charges up power, its next attack will be devastating. Try to survive it. It's almost like those red eyes are there to warn you just how tough it is. Or maybe it just doesn't get much sleep. There we go. I have to let this hit me five times. So if there's 25 health that we have here, I'll go in with the smash abilities and then just kind of wait it out. All right. So if I do that three times, then that'll just be the attacks that I get. In the meantime, you can... I'll swap for Koops so I can do some of defensive maneuvers. Yeah, that's, that's really bad. <laughs> that is a really bad thing. I can do a little sweep treat and then do that. So that's damage. I don't know if it's once per partner. Maybe it's once to me. Uh, okay, so that's at least damage one time. I don't recall if it counts the partners and stuff. Let's see, we can do... I don't want to get hit by like that again. So we'll do Earth Tremor. Let's see. Because that next that next hit would hit me again and kill me. But I'll be defending the next time, so I think it'll be okay. So I'll do... I'll wait on Sweet Treat until I run out of Flower Points. And I'll just hit him one more time with the, uh, the Super. Oh, hold up. T's on. For the points! For the points! Oh, hush up, you. Hush up, you. Hush up, you now. This is the first time that I real I realized this is the first time that I realized that I can just like use this induction cooker just to like have an endless supply of tea or coffee if I want to. And it's wonderful. Oh, there we go. Cheers, y'all. Earl Grey teas in my cup. And you've been dizzified. That's okay, honestly. You're, you're okay. What can I do in the meantime? You you aren't charged up yet. So that's alright. So I'm not actually worried about you. So instead, you'll just like... What was a cold wind at the enemies? Nah. Hot dog refills 5 HP and FP. I now know about that. I didn't even remember that was there. I just looked at it because I was just... I just was. Shell shield. Tech Mario. Um, we'll just like... You just say hey. Nah, you just say hey. You just say hey. Hey. Hey, what's up? Okay, so that was five Damagi. Now what I can do... This feels time for a sweet treat. Because then we can heal up a little bit. Which is good. That's it, Lamb. At least damage two times. Oh, no! That's okay. I missed a little bit of heals there. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, oh, not that guy. There we go. That's all right. That at least has saved me from one attack. And then Koops can use... Koops can use the Super Shroom on Mario for the next one. That'll work. I'm feeling all hearty now. Ugh, man, I'm having a really hard time dodging that. That's three times at least. It's not as bad as an attack as previously. All right, so you can now Power Smash you. So now it's three hits on both sides. Stylish, man. Strike a pose. Strike a pose there, Mario. Absolutely delightful. I guess, like, if you're just going to keep on attacking like that, then I'm just going to shell shield, right? Did it work? It's okay. A little crack. Oh, come on. Yeah, I don't like that. That's okay. That was all right. So that's damaged four times. And so long as we wait it out just a little bit longer, I think we'll be alright. That's not too bad. Alright, and then, again, whatever, just like... Uh, actually, how much was it for the hammer? I don't- I think it was like 3 FP. Um, I'll just have you defend, actually. You can defend, because you're on lower health anyways. Yeah, no, I'm not doing well with that. But at least you defended, that was good. You're in danger, but that's alright. Because I got hit five times, which means we can take this guy out. I think. I was. I hope I was counting correctly. Oh, wow. That was unfortunate. <laughs> Distracted Cameron does bad. No way. No way. That's unfortunate. That's okay. It all works out in the end. Hopefully normal hammer attack actually does damage. There we go. It all works out. It all works out in the end. Unless somebody tries to, to, to bump us afterwards, in which case that might be a little down. But... 
I've got earthquake abilities. I think we'll be okay. We've got ourselves a winner. It's the Great Gonzalez. We did it, Mario. Wow. Indeed. We've done it. With the power of friendship and togetherness, we will con conquer all. 15 coins. Money go in the bank. So now are we at rank one now? Did we do it? Did we do it? Oh, it's time! Like us, Lord Brand Hot Dogs, how may I help you? Remove the Great Gonzalez posters from the lobby. No idea who that was. Oh, okay. It's that X guy again. His messages still freak me out. But this is our only clue. The Great Gonzalez posters in the lobby, huh? We'll have to peel them off. Well, let's give it a shot. Which means I'm gonna need my gal Flurry with me as we go out and meander amongst the crowd. Trying to remove the posters of ourselves. Savey time. Lest we lose all the progress. Do not touch. Please don't touch. Where them posters at? Posters at. Oh, all the posters. Blow. Blowy. Blowy away. I'm ripping off all the images of myself. You'd think that the guy who was like the newscaster upstairs would want this as like a, a, a hot scoop. Great Gonzalez pushing off his own posters and stuff. Right? I don't know. Feels, a, feels like a hot scoop to me. At the very least. Did I do it? No more Gonzales? No more Gonzales. Oh, there's some more Gonzales. Oh, here, here, check it out. Check it, check out what I'm doing, dude. Check it out, check it out. I, I'm defacing myself. Removing myself from the wall. Hey, look, a key. Storage key. Now, whatever could that key be for? Please stop calling me. Go to the second floor of the storage room. Fine. I'm a sick and tired of these stupid people, the spam calls. I don't want health insurance. I'm an MMA, I'm the best MMA fighter in the world. Why do I need health insurance? Everyone stares down Mario. Damn scam calls. That's what they all are. Alright, bud. Where are you at? Second floor. Second floor. Locked on door. Storage key. You're a... No, just kidding. The, the, the rhyme does not continue. Anybody home? A uh, hello? Oh, I gotta get my... Gotta get Babuche out. Come out here, Babuche. Ride like the wind, Babuche! Oh, actually, we're done. That was short-lived. But what's in the corner? Nope, I wanna do my thing. There's something back there. You gotta be kidding me! Bandy Andy and King K! Oh. Oh. Gah. Gah. Gonzales. Gonzales. Listen to me. Uh, man. D don't get near the ring when no one's around. Oh. Uh. Come on, shake it off, buddy! What do you mean, don't go near the ring? Mm. Mm. Well, I'm gonna go near the ring when no one's looking. Oh! Gonzales, you see that? That was Jolene! This is craziness! What is going on here? Jolene, Jolene, Jolene? Please don't say that song. Jolene, 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 please don't take Gonzalez away from me. Give me the crystal star. You see, I'm the main character of a video game. Hello. I want to go to the fight. Oh. Ooh, excuse me. Maybe if I go around the corner somewhere. May I enter the pit? Pit time? Pit time with our friend? Let me in! Let me in. Let me in. No one goes in unless they're signed up for our official match. Well... 
I am going to suppose that I'm going to sign myself up for an official match and then go do the matchy thing. That's what I'll do. I'll just tell Mr. Mr. Grubba what I need to do. Uh. How are we doing on health? We are. We are. Not that good. So let's, uh, let's pop that in. Maybe it will allow me to, uh, just, like, enter the match. It'll just let me in. This is done. Actually, one, one more thing I'll check is to try to... Maybe if I go outside and try to enter in from there. I haven't tried that yet. Or enter from this side. Nope! Okay, fine. None of that, then. No fighty fights for the Gonzales. So I'll just pop around this other side and see what happens. Is there anybody home? Uh, hello! Anybody here? Yes, there's most certainly somebody here. That's alright. I'll go back the other way. I'll go sign up for a match or something. And then a matchbox, and then a propane torch, and then a tiki torch. Yeah, that's the logical progression of things when you sign up for matches, and then uh, to other things that set on fire, like buildings. This just in! The glitz pit has burned down! Who knew that somebody with fire abilities... Well, uh... Well, they did bad things. Somebody with fire abilities burned the place down. Match time! The Great Gonzalez! Boy, howdy! Fix it for a fight? Well, guess what? Your next match is the title match! Hooey! Dog Tootin, you're up against the champ! It's Rock Hulk! Now, I want to see a fair and exciting match, so don't you let me down, you hear? <laughs> Get on out there! Now, listen, son. In this battle, I want you to use at least one special move. You got that? The crowd needs something flashy, and you catch my turn now. Now, go out in there and give them a good show there. Now, get in there and blow the roof off, son! Oh, man. Excitement. It's time. The title match with our very sensitive Rocketh Hawketh. The rockest of hawkest. The hawkest of rockists. Down and down. Hop, dude, where are you headed? That ain't the way to the arena. Yeah, uh, you go this way this time because it's a, it's a special match. Here we go. It's the walk to victory. Here we go. Slowly but surely. Hey, hold it, meathead! This doesn't seem right. Come along there, pal. Follow me. You're taking your walk to victory. Along came the king. King Gonzales. Uh, wait, but we're walking right past things. Where, where, where are we going? Um, oh. Oh. You two wait here. Spooky. The ring? It's a minor league locker room! And it's empty! The guy said to wait, but dude, we're missing our title belt! This stinks! Meanwhile. Now for today's main event, the top dog of the Major League, the Great Gonzalez, is finally going to throw down with the champ. The one, the only, Rock Hawk! Now, first to enter the ring, the feral nuclear reactor, Rock Hawk! <laughs> you go get him, champ! Rock him! Eee! You rock, dude! The crowds yells go wild. Who dog is, champ? How are you feeling, son? Your challenge is a handful. He don't want a handful of this! <gasps> uh, uh. There is only one champ, and it's me! I'm the champ, Rock Hawk, even if this Gonzales wuss ever shows up, what's he's gonna do, huh? Nothing. Nothing at all! But the great Gonzales made it to the top of the majors faster than anybody ever! He even got up there faster than you did, champ! You got- what do you got to say about that? Come on! What do I have to say? Pfft, that's what I gotta say. I spit on the Mario. I spit on the Gonzales. I spit on the Italian plumbers. Who cares what this guy did to a bunch of chumps? Cause now he's gonna get rocked. Meanwhile. Okay, that's it. Nobody's coming for us. You hear me? Let's go kick some tail. Ah, oh, weak! Some punks locked us in! We're trapped in here! Oh! 
Oh no. <laughs> Mario's like, ah! And now for our challenger, the merciless executioner, the great Gonzalez! Uh, now, now, hold, hold the phone, folks. Uh, uh, what the heck is going on? What's happened to the great Gonzalez? <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. He fears the rock. <laughs> now, what a stupid fine development, folks. Did the great Gonzalez really turn yellow and head for the hills like a dog? I, I tell you what, folks. If he don't show soon, he's a gonna forfeit the match. What will happen now? Plot. I assure you it's plot. Man, this is the worst! We're gonna forfeit our match if we don't show! We gotta break out of here, man! Like, right now! Uh, I gotta... I gotta... I gotta get out of here! By using the power of the locker. Nope. How about locker number two? Nope. How about springboards? No. Locker number... Locker number three. I will leave no locker unopened for the sake of badges and items and otherwise. There might be something. Although that picture of Peach on the wall does seem a little dubious. Her colors are all wrong. Her, yet, her hair is never that orange. Her dress never that hot pink. It's just not right. And there's also nothing in there, so... Coming out of here, Flurry, darling. Blow, blow, blow your house down. Bring back Babuche. Babuche's my man for this chapter. Oh, hello. Somebody has been hiding. Hiding in the bathroom. Right? Because this is the other league room, right? It's the... Oh! There it is. That was the weird locker I was thinking of. It was this one. Now... Open up, open up. I, I'm just like, I feel like there's a badge in here somewhere and like, I will never know unless I try it. That's just the, that's the kind of exploratory thing. Actually, you know what? I, I was thinking of this uh, the other day because I was trying to think of games that I enjoy and like, if there's a common theme among games that I like, I enjoy for just, just because. And I'm a sucker for games with leveling systems. Like, I think I love like games like Pokemon. Oh, here we go. Classic, get down to the toilet. Games like Pokemon, games like, um, let's see, like, uh, I guess, start, like, I like a resource collection games and games with leveling systems. Oh, my tea was too hot. I mean, Mario is a plumber, after all. I completely forgot that happened to this. Dude, I have so much respect for plumbers right now. Now let's go get Rock Hawk! Uh, hello, everyone. It was I. In the bathroom the entire time. I know it's a little weird, and I kind of smell a little weird, but uh, it's gonna be all right, right? Uh, yeah, it's gonna be fine. All right, in we go. It's time to fight the Rock, the moment you've been waiting for, folks. Look, you look over there. The Great Gonzalez is just. To the arena! <laughs> Looks like we made it, dude, and the crowd is loving us! We are stars, baby! Come on, let's go lay the smack down on that big freaking chicken! Yeah, you rock, man! Yeah, you're the plumber! You're late, dude! You're totally late! Jump in, jump! Go get her, dude! Now, just listen to this crowd hooting and hollering for the challenger, Great Gonzalez. Will his hammer of hurt and harm be enough to rock Rock Hawk's socks right off? Now, at long last, the battle to end all battles is here. Let's keep it clean, boys. Now go on and get him. It's time to beat the rockest of hawkists. I probably should have uh, equipped a goon. Actually, I don't, I don't need goon. All right, Gonzalez, we're fighting the champ. I'm so fired up! <laughs> you win should have stayed locked up safe and sound. What kind of trash talking are you doing now? Wait, 
Did you get that security guard to lock us in the locker room? <laughs> You're darn right I did. I also send you that poison cake, you suckers. That's what happens when you mess with me, baby. You meet the pain and the train and whatever lies in between. So you're the coward who's been sending us nasty emails about the Crystal Star. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I have no idea what you're mad about right now. What's a Crystal Star? I don't know about crystals. I don't know about stars. I just know about what's here on this earth, uh, which is crystals, I guess, and rocks and stones, uh, but mostly of rocks. Speaking of rocks, the rock. Uh, but anyways, I don't care. I may not play exactly fair. I but I got skills, punks. And now, you're about to meet them all, baby. Prepare to be rocked. I still don't know what determines a special move. Here's one move that feels pretty special. Whacking you in the face with my hammer, which does quite a number of damage. And of course, for down from the rafters. That's pretty special. Uh, this is pretty special. Vor, I find, is a very, very special activity for everybody involved. Not that I have any experience, but... Oh, stop. Oh, stop. All right, well, that's pretty good. Now we'll use a secret special attack. It's a tool that we'll use later. It's the Earth Tremor. All right, get him. I don't remember how much health he has, but I'm definitely, definitely probably going to use a sweet treat later because it just, just feels right, you know? I like to snack on stage. Oh, man. Oh, well. I was too busy thinking of snacking. That's what distracted me. But at least he used the special move, and that's good. You are gonna do, uh... No, actually, you're gonna defend this time around. Um... Actually, who else did I think would be better? Nah, nah. Yeah. Nah, Babuchi's gonna be the one helping me here. <laughs> Not too shabby! You're better than I thought! This may actually be fun! Don't get your head swelled, though, because you got a ways to go. Now, check this out! Yeah! Time to rock! Oh, pow. Nice. That was pretty cool. They did like the old, uh, you know, like the... What do you call that move in boxing or wrestling? I, I, don't, I don't know. Still hunkering down. Nice job, dude. All right, let's get on the... Uh, I got a sweet treat afterwards, but let's get some power uh, style points on that power smash. Get a little bit of piece of that. Oh, nice. Dizzy? Oh, that's incredible! You loser! I love it! Oh my goodness. Oh, I was supposed to repeatedly tap. Oh my god, I didn't repeatedly tap! Shoot! It's okay. It's gonna be alright. <laughs> you big dummy! Rock looks across and is like, how'd you do my voice? How how'd you do my voice? Nobody does the rock voice. Except the, the, the rock! I'm gonna wait on Sweet Treat a little bit. I don't think I need to use it now. There we go. The stylish maneuver. There we go. Now we get the stylish pounding. <laughs> a stylish pounding. There we go. Oh, I can use the flower point. Yeah! All right! That's perfect! Nice. And the crowd goes wild. Man, you're kind of annoying. How dare you turn the rock back on the hawk? I should have just taken care of you before the battle. I'm getting lazy, I guess. Well, since it's come down to this, I guess I've just got no choice but to... Wapow! Bring in the rafters! And try to dodge as best as possible. I'm gonna break the stage on you, you little... <laughs> I can't focus from up here. Mama? Is that you? I'm gonna try to get up there. I can't do that. And I can't do that. So you're hanging from the rafters. But I can use something like... I can use, like, Ice Storm to freeze him. Mr. Freezy Breeze! Also, I definitely... Um, actually, what I should be doing is get somebody who can... Can I do anything to him up there? Uh, that is a good thing. I will take that. HP drain. Oh, pff. yeah, I'm gonna use that one. That's perfect. We'll just do that thing, right? What does that do, actually? Let's see what that item does first. And I'll switch, actually, because we'll do you first, then I'll do Sweet Treat. HP drain simultaneously attacks foes and replenishes your own HP. Perfect. Use some of that. 
I used the power of the red bat. Oh, that's perfect. And it knocked him down. No! Ah, Rock Hawk, the, the champ, the undefeated master. I've lost such losers. Oh, that was it. Taking the L. Get him out of here. Just a stupid piece of overgrown chicken. And we have leveled up. Wow, this is exciting. Psst, folks. It's not the final boss. Not of this chapter. This ain't it. I've seen bosses, but this ain't it. I'm gonna up my badge points. I just wanna, like... <laughs> I wanna see how far I can go with just putting most of my points into, like, badge points after badge points just to, like, equip the badges. I'll be super badge master. Mario became a B-list star. Next battle, Mario's crowd and stage will get bigger. Nice. Oh. Folks, I feel like my eyes just popped right out of my head. We got ourselves a miracle. Technique versus technique. Raw power versus raw power. A class of superhumans. Folks, this was truly, honestly, without question, no doubt, absolutely the most legendary, amazing, improbable history-making bout of all time. And the victor in this match for the ages was the Great Gonzalez! Congratulations, Gonzalez. You're a champion, son. Give him a hand, folks. Give him a big old hand. The new Glitz Pit champ, the Grand Gonzalez! <laughs> Where's my noisemakers? I don't know where my noisemaker. I found one! <laughs> it was too late. We'll get him on the next one. <laughs> well, you finally did it, son. Today's your first day as the new champ, so here's your belt. Got the champion's belt. The champ's belt you earned when you beat Rock Hawk. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and get you set up in the champ's room right away. Miss Jolene, uh, be a peach and show Gonzalez here the champ's room, okay? Absolutely, sir. Well then, Mr. Champion, would you follow me, please? Onwards and upwards. We're finally a B-list star. What does it takes to be number? What does it take? What does it takes to be number one? A lot more glitz and glamour, I assume. Most likely. This kind of feels like a walk of shame, not gonna lie. Are we actually walking to the- We are actually going to the, the thing. We are. Hello, Annie. Hello! I just beat up a bird. Feels pretty good. Congratula congratulations again, Mr. Champion. From now on, this is where you'll stay. It's your room now, so please make yourself at home. You will use the terminal as you always have, of course, but now it is golden to match your standard. Or it might be made of wood. I'm not exactly sure. I don't see paper very well. Of course, will there be anything else? Well then, have a nice day, Mr. Champion. You have earned it. Glasses. Cam says, can you check your text, please? Ooh, checks? Checks text messages? Oh my god, look at this! I see bitters in there. Do I see bitters? Oh my god, look at this! Cocktail mixes. Ooh, this is cool. They're cocktails. Just add just add the spirit. I see magic missile mocha. Oh my god, these are D&D &D themed? Oh my god, this is so cool. Hold up a second. This is so cool. We got these options. These are the options we had. I don't know if we can actually see them very well. Do I want one? Magic missile mojito, blackberry mint and lime, Gaia's gimlet, dragon's breath margarita, mage tower mule, health potion, rejuvenation potion, elixir. Oh my god. One of them has lapsang tea in it. I want the elixir. They're magic fantasy, th they're magic fantasy themed. I love them. Oh my God. That looks so cool. The elixir is catching my eye because it's got Lapsang CT and I was just talking how much I love that earlier. And yeah, yeah, I'm going to go with the elixir. Can I get the elixir? I will pay you guys back. I really will. That and actually Firekeeper's flask would be super cool. They're cocktail mixers. I love that because I like their, the, the elixir is Lapsang tea, ginger and lemon, which sounds awesome. And the last one is orange, coffee, cacao, and f spices. And I just kind of like, I just like, I want to see that one because I just like coffee. That is awesome. Oh my God. Thank you guys so much. This is so cool. We'll be visiting you guys soon, I promise, so we can properly exchange gifts and whatnot. Awesome. Do you know like what add, what you're supposed to add to it? Oh, I guess you just add any sort of spirit to it. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Oh, and this is so cute too. 
Wait a minute. Hold on. That was the wrong button. Hold up a second. <laughs> that was the wrong button. They've got these little... They've got these little potions. This is so cute. They've got little, like, thingies. That is so cute. I love them so much. That is so awesome. Their recommendation... Oh, there's recommendations on the tags for mixers. Oh, yo! That is so cool. That is super duper cool. This was by... Dread Pirates Dr Oh, they have a Dread Pirates Dram. Oh, that's the that's another option there. That's cool. What were these guys called? Something textures, it looks like? That looks super awesome. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah! We finally made it, Gonzales! But, you know, Rockhawk really sounded clueless about the Crystal Star. We still don't have any leads on that thing. I mean, where the heck could it be? I don't know. Hang on, Gonzalez. You hear that? A voice I hear from somewhere. Oh, ho, ooh, oh, ooh, ooh, ah! Hello in there. Somebody's saying something around there. We're gonna keep on shopping, says Anna. Annie, have a good scene. Is there... oh, I can't even read today. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate you greatly. Please enjoy that fair that you're at. That looks awesome. You think... You think it's a ghost? I think it's a ghost. Oh, hey, oh, hello! That scared me, silly! What do you want? Find the ghost in the champ's room. Well, alrighty then. I guess we will. There's actually a ghost in here? Okay! That is not cool! Not cool! Ghosts are scary! I don't like it. I don't like it at all! Oh, this really cool looking mask. Nope, gotta get up there. <laughs> I gotta get up there! Gotta get up there. Come here now. Gotta go across. Use the power of the gonzals. Yeah, dude. Power of the gonzals. Power of the gonzals. Gonzales. Or maybe I can just like... Oh, what if I do this thing? Whack it. There we go. Of course there was a special technique that we have to use. We're in the air duct, right? Where does it lead? And also, I want to sleep in the bed first real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Oh, I can't. Yes, I can. I want to sleep in the bed real quick. Gotta get myself healed up, just in case the battle happens after this. Which I don't think it does, but it eventually will. And I think later on you can come back here for a, um, a special shroom every once in a while. I'm corrected. Oh, that didn't work out. Dude, uh, I, can't, I have no idea how to ride Yoshis. Evidently, I know not how to ride the Yoshi. Dude, I don't know how to ride. Riding Das Yashis. There we go. Get on in there. And they are for the wildest of rides. Hmm. Oh. Ooh <laughs> well, that's in perfect condition as usual. <laughs> yep. Long as I got that baby working for me, this old bot ain't never gonna get weak. But I'm gonna have to watch my tootsies here for a little bit. First, I let that King J walk in and me when I was with that? Ugh. And now I can't shake the feeling that Jolene and Gonzalez are on to me. Well, I guess I'll burn that bridge when the time comes. I'll just disappear him. Just like I usually do. Just like I did to the others. Like I did to Prince Mush, the first champ. That voice. It's Grubba. So he's behind all the missing fighters. I better lock this room up tighter in a peanut butter jar at a squirrel convention. And I'll just go ahead and hide the paper relating to that in the desk drawer over here. And there we go. You know what, though? Since I'm thinking aloud here, good fighters ain't nothing to mess with. Even Rock Hawk lost to Gonzalez. This new champ might have to disappear party soon, for my sake. Uh, hello! Can I come in? I want to come in. Uh, hello! Uh, housekeeping! Housekeeping! I think he's gone. Let's check out that desk drawer of his. Housekeeping? Housekeeping? Hello? Just looking for a little bit of paper. Wow, bingo! I bet that paper old grub a hit. Paper old grub a hit. Check it out, Mario. Weird. Oh! Wow! A machine under the ring using a crystal star? These are the blueprints. I don't know what the rest of this nerd talk says, but I think the crystal stars powers it. 
If this powered paper's right, then the paper can suck the power out of people. Yuck. Oh, crud. You think that King K and Bandy Andy got all drained or something? Oh. Great galloping gold pits. How a tarnation did you get in here, son? Well, slap me and call me Sassafras. You're staring at my secret paper, too. Shut up! You make me sick! Why'd you drain King K and Bandy Andy, huh? Whoa, Nelly! No, man, no, this ain't good at all! <laughs> I'm out of here! After him, Gonzales! And onward we go. Now this... is gonna be quite the match, I say. Where is he? Down that way? Let's save first. Let's save. Let's pop ourselves in this little location over here. It's gonna be, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be all right. We'll save ourselves the trouble. And you'll just let me right in? Sure, dude. Somebody's in on it. Somebody's definitely in on it. Uh, hello! Housekeeping! <clears throat> I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna do that anymore. Now, I gotta say, y'all are a couple of slack-jawed idiots sniffing around my business. Now you know my big secrets, and I'm afraid you're gonna have to take a little old dirt nap. Observe the power of my stand! Crystal something. The power of my stand. Crystal Pokemon. Pokemon Crystal. That's the name of my stand. That's what I call it now. Uh, name really in the works. I've been at this. I haven't been at this for really quite a while. Gonzalez, if you look up there, that's the Crystal Star, right? <laughs> How do you like my machine? It's pretty dang nice, huh? Well, yep. Cause I've been sucking power from fighters with this baby. <laughs> Just like that. You darn tootin' I have. And you know why? Because it keeps my body young forever, young son. Keeps it young forever. You're such a scumbag! You're gonna pay for the, such using a crystal star like that. Oh, just shut your traps now. I'll use my crystal star however I dang please. Check this out. <laughs> Muscle up! Oh, do the little... Macho Grubba! Yow! Grubba kind of beast himself up over there now, didn't he? Hooey! I'm gonna smush you guys into guacamole and snack on your energy, too! Here we go! Macho! I'm a powerhouse now, you pestering little pieces of prairie piffle. So long if I have this here machine, my body will be rough, tough, and ultra buff. Let's rock, Gonzalez. I'm gonna chew this dude and spit him back out. I can't escape from this guy. Not that I'd want to. I mean, look at the, those orange muscles, I guess. All right. How best to take care of a big old orange papa? You kind of look like fire mixed with one of those, like, uh, like a little Koopa dudes. Might as well start ourselves from the beginning. Get him with a big ol' hammer hip. A stylish hammer hip. The stylist. Maybe not the most stylist. But pretty damn close. And then let's see, I feel like... Who do I want to take me out with this? Can I gulp you? Is this even possible? Are you too big to gulp? Oh my god! Totally worked. Alright, what are you gonna do? Ooh, you powered up. More chances to attack are now, but... More chances to attack? I need a defender for this one. I gotta bring my boy Koops out. I feel that per chance, we should shell. We should shell on up. Oh, perfect. Nice. Powering up! And, yep, the, the attack went up. Defense is boosted. There we go. That's, that's probably good to use. And there he goes. There we go. Perfect. That was exactly necessary. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, hmm... Hmm. Let's go with this guy. Oreo says, Yo, what's up? How's it going, my man? Our bro Ori out here. I think I last saw him playing. Oh, it was like a Street Fighter game, right? How is that going for you, my friend? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can bounce this guy. Because if I can bounce this guy, it wouldn't be it'd be it'd be great. It'd be great. If I can shrink him, I feel like that would be beneficial. I hope this guy like doesn't spike me. Nope. Oh, but it totally worked! Yes! 
I haven't seen your face in forever, says Oreo. Got the Street Fighter 6 tournament today. Dude, that's dope. I'm glad you're popping in. I got, uh, this is the first, like, Saturday game stream that I've done in a while. I just feel like I really, I want to play more video games. So here we are. So hopefully this continues for a little while longer. This is great. Best of, are you participating in the tournament? That's super cool. Ooh, I need more flower points. Um, but I can do power shell for now and that'll be beneficial. I'll do sweet treat next time. So great. There we go. Go get him. That didn't work at all. That's okay. I need my power thing for that, evidently. Powering up! Also, I just realized how much the sun is in my face. Let me see if I can turn the window down a little bit. I'll put the blinds down. Oh no! Oh, you popped that guy. But well, your power is lower, therefore it's not as much a problem. Let me see if I can bring my blinds down a little bit. Oh, somebody threw a rock at me. That's what I get for not paying attention. Eh, marginally, but it works. I'm gonna play Final Fantasy. Oh, I'm gonna get my butt kicked, says Oreo, probably, but I'm playing Final Fantasy 16. I'm a Ken main. Ooh, very cool. Either way, even if you're going in there and getting your butt kicked, at least you got your butt kicked, right? Maybe if it even leaves a scar, you can look back on that scar and your tookus and be like, man, I did that tournament. That's something that nobody can take away from you. I wish you the best of luck with it. That sounds awesome. Are you streaming that? Or is that like completely separate from that stuff? Because that sounds like a lot of fun. I'd totally be down to watch that. First ever tournament too. It is even cooler. I think the thing... Oh, I got to do my sweet treat. I got to do the sweetest of treatists. Otherwise, I'm, a, I'm out of flower points. So I got to get some of those. That's super cool. I've never been much of a competitive person. So I don't do a lot of like tournament based things. But I have been entering cocktail competitions recently. Not really something that I can like stream i guess but that's been fun most of them is just like you submit something to a little form online and like you don't hear from people for a while you put it on instagram so it's not as exciting as like a fighting tournament stuff but uh you know some folks have the glitz and the glamour thanks buddy yeah it's at an otaku cafe out here and i don't think they're streaming it that's cool there's an otaku cafe for you that's so cool i know of a there's um it's not an otaku cafe it's a maid cafe over in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania that's relatively close to me uh, that I really want to visit at some point in time. I saw them at a festival and it looked like it was really cool. So at some point, we will visit them. Um, Let's see. I don't have anything that replenish replenishes. Oh, I do. I have a hot dog that replenishes. So I'll wait until my health goes down a little bit and then, and then we'll do that and re repair the thing. I'll conserve our um, flower points for the other guy. Excuse me. Powering up! And, and then double attack, right? Nope, here he goes, here he goes. Nice, excellent. Is that all? Oh, you're also probably gonna get big again because you're tiny only for a little bit. So we'll use this opportunity to hit him with a power smash because that'll be good. And then I can just shrink him again. Stylish, stylish, super stylish. The most possible stylish. Incredible. Oh, we missed that one, but it's all right. And then I'll save my... I will save my flower points for another stomp bump. Stylish. Nice. Very good. Very good. Get him up there. Oh, yeah. Keep him spicy. You know, I love a good tussle there, Gonzalez. Keep on scrapping, son. Because it ain't gonna do much good in the end. What are you gonna do? More power. More chances to attack yet again. That's okay. Oh, the audience around the daisy has passed out. I don't know if I much like that. So you've got double chances for attack. I still have the shield on. It feels like it's time to go up and try to do that shrink stomp again. There we go. Yes. I think that has a chance to fail. So I'm actually feeling kind of lucky for that. And then in the meantime, we'll pop in a hot dog and see if that'll help things out. I know I don't actually can, I can't actually see how much health he's got, but I assume we're making some good progress. As the, as the cutscenes and stuff move forward, as the dialogue and stuff moves forward. Not too shabby, Gonzalez. You got so much ship, and that's gold in these beers. But this here battle is just about getting started. It's time I showed you some real moves. Back in the day, I had so many rip kicking moves, they had to make some of them illegal. Like this one. Where he gets even bigger, I guess. What was that? You got any? You got anything more than just fancy fancies to uh, to show for that? Go ahead, do it. Come on, Adam. Where are you? Do Whoa! Six. All right, six. That's good. And it took damage to only the power shell. So this is actually wonderful. I'm gonna utilize 
the shell shield again, because that seems advantageous. Like, extremely advantageous. Oh, it was close. A little cracked. It's going to be okay. Ooh, health would be nice. All right. A little bit more for Koops. You could use some of that. Nice job, dude. Great job, everybody. Thank you. And it feels that power hammer does really, really good. Unless I have anything... I have items to use, too. I don't really think any of my uh, um, star abilities really matter too much right now. We'll use this. Because it does damagi. It doesn't need to be stylish, but I want it to be stylish. Also, I think that had more damage than last time. That's awesome. Very good. Did you see Cam about the the, the Super Mario RPG make, remake? I did. I'm so hyped about that. Super Mario RPG, I was talking before about it. Like, it was one of those games that I think I watched my brother play when I was younger. I don't think I ever actually played through it, but I've always wanted to do a complete playthrough of it, and I just, I've never had the opportunity to. Um, but with that, I plan to do so, because I think it's going to be awesome. Uh, I think now's the time for some sweet treat. That way I can get some more stuff up. That'll be good. Never got to play the game, and I'm hyped along with the Buddy Star Ocean 2 our remake. It's the best in the series. I actually, I'm not super familiar with, I saw that mentioned, but I'm not too so familiar with Star Ocean. Could you, like, summarize that for me? I know nothing about it. It sounds cool. Is it, like, another, like, RPG or something? Oh, man. Right at the last moment, too. I got some power points, though. And Oreo's showing some love it deserves with the graphics and a new battle system. The fact that I, I'm really proud that we saw a couple of different titles that they are they are titles that we're familiar with, but the fact that they're not just like like re-releasing them or like emulating them like, but they're they're actually remaking them. Like that's why I was super happy of seeing the Mario RPG because I could see I'm so hyped about getting to see all the details that I thought I could see on the original system, but now I can see in like full quality. Like, uh, it's so cool. I've always wanted to see a full poly, like, a uh, Milo, and a full, like, a full poly, like, Gino. And also, like, with the redesign that they did for... It looks like the same sprites between Super Mario Wonder and Super Mario RPG Remake. So, that's gonna be really cool to watch. Get shrunk. Well, it works. Tiny powers drop, but it's fine. It's fine, dog. Oh, this doesn't do any damage. Oh, yes, it does. It totally does. This is gonna be great. I feel like, so I actually have a Switch now too, which is incredible. And I, I'm not quite prepared to stream on it, but I know how to set it up. And at some point in the near future, I will probably be streaming stream, uh, streaming Switch games because I actually have one now, which is great. It was a donation from a friend of mine and I'm very happy that he did so. All right, coming with the Power Smash. Coming up here now with the Power Smash is the Super Mario, bro. Just one, bro. Star Ocean is another RPG where characters either go or end up on another planet where the people are supposed to follow the underdeveloped planet pack and not get involved in the affairs that happen. So it, it is an RPG. That's cool. I've never played... I don't think I've ever... Try to think about it. But I don't think I've ever played an RPG that was set in space. Now, off the top of my head, I can't quite think of any RPGs that are in space. So, uh. Yeah, like I ain't finished yet, Gonzalez. It ain't over till it's over. And that's the way it goes in combat sports, son. And let me tell you something. Fortune's gonna smile on me in the end, punk. Powering up! Yeah. Nice. Defense has been boosted. At least you can try. In the end... Oh, goodness. Wasn't expecting that one. In the end, Oreo says, doing so, uh, the story just gets more intense because the bad guys are always the other humans that are causing chaos. Sneaky, sneaky. It feels like some dramatic irony. We're always down for a little bit of that. Get some sweet treep up in here. Gotta get some myself some more health and flower points. Oh my god. It's so tough to see the sweet treats from above. The fact that you can hit the things in the rafters is super annoying. Alright, that was good. Great. No! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, in any case, it's like Final Fantasy, each Star Ocean game doesn't link up together, but the lore does. Like, the current Star Ocean game mentioned characters from the old games and what it is that they did. I like to see interconnected lore, too. That is, that is a plus to see. I like that. That sounds very fun. I need... Oh, I can't do my shell thing, but I can shrink you because I don't like you when you're not so strong. Nice. Like, the guy, the guy full name dropped the character for the first game in a cutscene. I straight up lost my stuff. Oh, my God. Oh, he's dodgy? I don't like that. I should use one of my items here. Oof. That's ouchy. 
Achi Bobauchi. I feel like now might be good for Earth Tremor because that's technically multiple attacks. I think I'm probably going to do that. I'm going to do some Earth Tremor in that. That's kind of cool. And I guess the, my next question would be like, do you need to know? Like, is it spoil? If, I guess if you play the second games, the subsequent games, it's kind of spoiler to the first game, right? Because they mention the characters by name and what they do. So I guess that's kind of spoilery. So you kind of have to play the games in order if you want like the full authentic like plot experience. I missed that one. That's what it seems like. That seems kind of fun, though. It gets you playing the rest of the series, and it gets you more familiar with the entirety of the universe. That didn't really do too much, but it worked. More chances to attack. Great. But you're still tiny, and I'm okay with that. But you're not dodgy anymore, which is great. Um, let's see. I have the most... I need to conserve ability for the... For the, um... What do you call it? Sweet treat, because I need more flower points. So I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to... Ice Storm him and see if I can freeze him while he's still got double attack ability. Maybe? Oh, okay. Oh, that's it! Oh, he's done! Oh, sweet! Yeah! Yeah! There he goes. He's done. Grub is out of here. Absolutely out of here. Go get him. Oreo says, full lore, yes, but each Star Ocean 2, you have to beat more than just one time to get the different endings with the characters because of the recruit system. Oh! That's clever. Always leave them wanting more. Ooh. Oh, great. Oh, great, Gonzalez. Great. Great fight. May have some. Great. Oh, great fight. Ah. Ish. Ooh. Mr. Champion. Aw. No. I mean, Mario. Please allow me to offer my earnest thanks for finally defeating that foul grubber. Glasses. Mr. Lane! I really have to apologize. I'm so sorry that I had to get you involved. But you must understand, I had to learn the truth about this arena by any means necessary. Let me tell you everything. I had a little brother once, by the name of Mush. He'd have done anything for me. Our family was always poor. So he became a fighter here to support all of us. But he suddenly went missing one day. Our family was inconsolable. Suspected foul play, so I got hired on as the manager and investigated in secret. As I looked for clues about my brother, I accidentally saw Mr. Grubba transform. Seeing what I was up against, I almost gave up hope. And then, you appeared. So I decided to secretly guide you. Oh, so our mysterious ex. Correct. It was me. Once I saw you fight, I knew you were the only one who could challenge Grubba. Hoppity hoppity hop. <laughs> you foul, I hate you. Now, sir. No, not sir. Grubba. I want answers. Right now. What did you do with my precious little brother? You know exactly what I'm talking about. The first champion, Prince Mush. Where is he? Ah, <sighs> Prince Mush. He... He discovered the secret of my power-sucking machine. I had him uh, disappear. Anyway, which way you look at it, oof. He ain't around these parts no more. No! I suspected as much. Oh, poor sweet mush. Gee, see, she's seemed kind of aloof. And she really just loved her brother. Oh, hey! Mario! Look up there! It's the crystal star! Its power is glowing! Mine, now how special is that? Whoa! Is this... Am I back in the glitz pit? Oh, mush! Mush, I say! Wow! Is that really you, sis? What are you doing here? I... I was just... Uh, I was fighting, you know? There, there, mush. It's okay. It's all over, finally. So the crystal star brought him back. Spooky powers at a distance. Now, Mario, the crystal star is yours. Here you go. Take it. You've earned it. You've earned that star. Um, you sure you don't mind us taking it? It's better that you have it, so that nothing like this will ever happen again. I guess it's okay then, Mario. Let's take it. Oh, yeah. I'll take it. 
Yoink! Another crystal star! Excellent. Very excellent indeed. Oreo is also saying before about uh, Star Ocean. It gives an example about recording with one character, and if you can't, that you can't recruit the other character in Star Ocean 1 and 2 if you have them. 16 characters total. So you have to play the game again and again to get all the characters in the self. For the Divine Force to get true ending, Divine Force, you say? You have to defeat the final boss 16 times, I guess, with each character, right? And beat the game two times. Wow. That's ex that's very extensive for the Star Ocean game, but for a dedicated player, like, what stands in between you and the end, really? This is very fun. It sounds fun about it. I think you, you mentioned that, I, I, I forgot, maybe you said that you had or had not played it yet. Have you played it? Or have you watched somebody else play it? If you ever play that, let me know. I would definitely want to sit around and watch for that. It feels like quite the journey it would be. Star Ocean 2 has two 86 endings. Wow. That's a lot of endings. I don't think I could be able to sit around in a journey for that long. And now, oh, I've missed the one line. It's okay. With the help of the lovely Miss Jolene, Mario revealed Grubba's true identity and acquired the third crystal star by defeating the monstrous Macho Grubba. Grubba had used the power of the crystal star to run his power draining machine. What other hidden powers might these strange and mystical items possess? The world may never know. One never knows. Oreo says he's defeating Star Ocean Divine Force, but not 100%. I respect it. I respect it. Can't stick around for that long, honestly. I would not be able to do so. I'm getting a little peckish, y'all. I'm gonna have a little snack, if you don't mind. Eat some cauliflower. Also from that farmer's market I went to the other day. Oh, shoot. It's cutscene time. It's snack time. Everybody grab yourself some snacks. I love cauliflower. Fresh, fresh cauliflower. Mm, and Oreo says there's secret boss fights, too. That was one of the things I liked about um, Super Mario RPG, the fact that there were secret boss fights. And there's also secret boss fights in this game, too. That's great. This is great. Um, I don't remember what your... I don't remember what your voice is. I'm gonna guess you're a computer. No, 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 you're definitely not a computer because there's another computer. Beldum. Tell me. What good are you? You still haven't taken care of that Mario character. <laughs> well, yes, sorry. Only because he's tougher than we thought at first. You do understand that we x nuts must open the door first, do you not? <laughs> well, rest assured that I will definitely nail him next time. We have prepared a weapon that will bring him to a quick and certain end. I trust your words, though I rapidly lose my patience. Just leave it to us, Sai. <laughs> Let's away, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian. Whoop. <laughs> chuckle, chuckle. Oh, Oreo's got some Chick-fil-A coming home. Very good. From the partner. Anna, want some cauliflower? No, she's not into the cauliflower right now. Are you going downstairs for the exam? Are you gonna be alright? Take it downstairs. I can try to I can try to lower my volume a little bit. Be okay. Okay, does. Yeah. All right. Well, take a load off. You've got your work center downstairs. Would you like to say hello to the crowd? She's about to go under for take a practice exam for her uh, PT test. So she's gonna be down there for a number of hours. So eight hours, is the eight hours is the amount of time that she has allotted to her. So I wish you the very best of luck, dear. Oreo says good luck. Much good luck from the crowd. Alright. Hmm. No doubt about it. I'm officially bored. Those awful X things haven't been back to ask about the map. I wonder, is it safe? Time for the door. Oh my. That must be tech again. The big computer who loves, maybe? I don't know. Honor words. I got a piece of cauliflower stuck in my throat. Those are those are rough little pieces. The rough little pieces of cauliflower. Hello, Princess Peach. You always call me in without warning, Tech. What is it this time? 
I apologize. I would like you to go to where Sir Crotus is and ask him something. What? What, what do you mean? Go ask. I recently obtained specific information that brought an... issue to my attention. You are the main computer here, right? Why is there anything you don't know? I don't understand. I am unable to know things that are not entered in my CPU or otherwise recorded. That is why I want to know what Sir Grotus is thinking about the issue. But even if I try to go see him, they'll catch me and send me back to the room. That is true, but you will find a soldier's room one floor up. Take the elevator. Once there, please obtain a soldier's uniform and change into it, avoiding detection. You will go see Sir Grotus looking like a soldier. Hmm, you mean I'll be disguised? Hmm. I imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? Hmm. You imagine correctly. Affirmative. Alright, fine, I guess. So, so, what do you want me to go ask this Grotus? I will tell you. Eep bop, bibbidi boopity bop. <laughs> what in the world is Tech Tall thinking? I mean, honestly, he sure is a weird computer. Alright, kind of weird. Or are you saying that loves Princess Peach? If Bowser saw this, he would probably destroy that damn computer. Indeed. Oh! Is that the elevator you wanted me to go in? Well, would you look at that? Up away that we go! Please wait a moment. There are currently soldiers in the vicinity. Squibble, squabble, wibble, wobble, wibble. And then he waddled away. Wobble, wobble. Now, Princess Peach, it's the room with the green lamp very near where you would disembark the elevator. Okay. Green room, you say? It seems pretty green room to me. Please change here quickly. The uniform should be in a locker. Locker? I hardly know her! Locker? I hardly... Only joke I'm making this- only time I'm making that joke this stream. Hmm. Oh, is this the uniform? I, am I supposed to wear this ugly thing? Yes, that is correct. Put it on. Arrange yourself in the clothing. Oh my. <laughs> Ugh, oof. I don't know about this. It's awfully tight. It kind of smells a little bit. Oh my. Whew. Who knows how, but I got into it. I can barely breathe, though. Nice. I bet I look perfect. She's the queen, is she not? She is always perfect, princess, but come on. Hey, bud. Hey, slacker! What part of do not leave your post don't you understand, hmm? Hmm. What? Come again? Oh, are you on break? Eh, that's fine. Carry on. Peace. I'm gonna go talk to Big Computer Man. Hello, Computer Man. I wonder if I can do something that's kind of like combined, like computer regular voicey. This might be a little. This might be weird. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh excuse me, Sir Sir Grotus. Yes. What is it? No. Yes. What is it? No. I don't like that. Something computery. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Something computery. No, that's very gravelly. I might have to workshop that a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, whatever. What is it? What is... Hmm. What is it? Speak. <laughs> Me trying to figure myself out over here. All right, well, well. Uh, it's about Princess Peach. Uh, what do you plan to do with her going forward? Hmm. Hmm. Something is wrong with your voice, Ack and Snot. Perhaps... Perhaps I have a throat lodgings. No. Well, never mind about... Oh, about Princess Peach. I have no interest in what that woman has to say. Just keep her locked in the room. But don't ever, ever treat her roughly. You understand? Tell the others well. Uh, but... 
Um, why? Why in the world are we keeping her here then? That's none of your business. Don't forget your place, you impudent worm. Concentrate on getting the legendary treasure. That is all I require of you. We Exnauts need that treasure to conquer the world. And don't you forget it. Conquer the world? Uh, legendary treasure? What are you blathering about now? Hmm. Something is odd about you. No, 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 nothing's odd. Uh, so, Roger, or whatever, uh, please excuse me. That was a train wreck, oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was unnerving. All that stuff about conquering the world. Talk about creepy. I wonder if that has anything to do with collecting those crystal stars. I love how, like, while we're dressed up as an x naught our shoes make that sound. Off with this thing. I will strip down and get get back into my normal clothes. This is the, because this shit sucks. Not the cauliflower though. Oh, is that it? Oh. Phew. Good old pink dress. My favorite. Why would I ever want to wear anything different, really? I better get back quickly. Wasn't she supposed to ask the question? LMAO, what was the question Tech wanted? What we're gonna do with Princess Peach? I bet computer who loves but doesn't love because love does not compute the princess probably wants to know what he's going to do with the princess after she he is done with her. That way he would knows what to expect to prepare himself to mourn, I guess. Tech, you terrible machine, so your goal is to conquer the world? That's what you got from the conversation? Of course, after all, I was built for that purpose. Oh, that was the question. Conquering the world? H how could you? How unoriginal, if I'm being completely honest. Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world that you live in? There are many problems in the world, many sorrows. Do you like such a world? Well, of course I do. Nobody likes everything about the world, but I love the good parts. There's a lot of good parts, like cherries and rhubarb rose fruit leather and, and, and cauliflower. Tech, have you ever seen a cauliflower? It's like little white broccoli. And it tastes like happiness. There's a bunch of other sorrows too, sure. Like broccoli, but there's also joy. Broccoli, you say? Cauliflower. Hmm. Noted. Tell me, will the crystal stars help you conquer the world? Like, what's with the treasure? What is it? I'm afraid I cannot answer. Answering the used questions is prohibited by Sir Grotus. Well, but... Oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mario about this awful plan for world domination. Tech... Let me use your communicator. Ellipses, 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 ellipses. Well, I suppose I can allow that. Please use the communicator. Send it this instant. Wibbity wobbity boobity bop. The message has been sent. Well then, Princess Peach, you have had a busy, busy day. Please go back to the room, please. Oh, okay. Good night, Princess Peach. Oh, by the way, can everyone hear me, by the way? I just noticed on OBS, I don't see my microphone showing up for some reason, so I hope everyone can hear me. I'll test it in a hot second. Do not touch the memory card. Touch not this memory card or I will end you. What do we got? Nope. Click the play button. There we go. Yes. Oh, it totally works. All right, cool. No, nope, please shut up. Please shut up me. There we go. <laughs> Progress saved. I still have my little surface down here, my touch screen for like actually observing what's happening on stream.
um, but it doesn't work super well because the the battery the battery of this thing has began to expand. So the touch screen sometimes works and sometimes it doesn't. It's very jarring. And I used to have a, a keyboard to it too before I spilled absence all over it. So <clears throat> oh, I gotta get rid of myself for this. Hmm. <coughs> <clears throat> Stupid cheating Mario! Who would have thought that fool would be in Glitzville? Oh, it's Bowser. <laughs> Whoops. Dad, did you say something to your rudeness? Uh, no! Nothing at all! As far as you know. Hey, did you see those little bite-sized shrimps? What the heck were those things? Those were some puties, Lord. One of them should know about the Crystal Star. They fear you, so they're all hiding! Let's find them all and get the info that we need. I'm going on a hunt. I'm going on a hunt. Eek, flee away, get away. Here's another one. What's in bush number two? Yikes, this guy is big and bad. He looks large and in charge. What a what a fine example of a, who I assume to be a man. Don't worry, Patootie, your big brother is here. We'll, we'll get through this. Everyone's hanging behind the things. Where's the Elder? Come here, Elder. What was your voice? I don't really recall anymore. Hello? I'm being on! You're one of them, aren't you? One of those evil doers! You want our crystal star? Ah, <laughs> yes, see? I know it! This ugly thing knows where the crystal star is! Tell us! How rude! Ugly thing! How dare you, wretched crow! I'm the great puny Elder! Eep, my heart! Don't start me like that! I'm too old for this stuff! <clears throat> You're both too old! Ahem. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, Lord Bowser? You look as if you're about dying to say something. Uh, no. Nothing. Nothing at all. Let's move on, shall we? You, Elder Hag thing, where's the crystal star? And don't try pulling rank again. Your answer not your age will determine your fate. Hem, <laughs> hag thing. Honestly, in any case, you're too late. The crystal star is gone. <laughs> what? That's right, you rude thing. We gave it to a mustachioed man named Mario. He said he was collecting the legendary treasures to rescue some princesses. What did he call her? Pinch? Yeah, yeah, Pinch. That's what it was. Eh, it was off to save that lucky lass. It's Mario, not Mario. And it's not Princess Pinch. Her name is Princess Peach. Uh, but your senility, seniality, senile, you're senile, that's what you are. It's beside the point. The princes and treasures must be connected. Mario's trying to get it all, treasures and princesses. Does his greed never end, an insufferable plumber? That jackal! Both Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars belong to me! Me! I wrote my name on both of them. Uh, maybe one of them wrote, washed off the, the one, but they're definitely on there, I promise. If I find them, I'm gonna finish them off once and for all, I swear it! And so that chapter ends. I'd love to save... So that was a nice fine Bowser moment, him crying like a little baby. I kind of like the fact that like, I feel like Nintendo's kind of designed like Bowser's character now, like when we really get into it, it'd be kind of like this, like, kind of like, I don't know. I don't know. He's, he's got, he's got things off about him. He's a little off, but he's like, does it almost childish. He's kind of like childish and like whimpery. It's funny. So now you must leave. Oh, yeah. I understand. If you must, you must. We won't delay you. I hope you succeed in finding the rest of the crystal stars. Good luck. Gonzales, I want to tell you, a rock hawk ain't gonna fight dirty anymore. I'm gonna hit the weights, I'm gonna take some vitamins, and win the title fair and square. Because previously, evidently, I was on steroids. But I'm ever, and I'm never, ever gonna lose again. Remember, when life rocks you, rock back. 
Yo, listen, G Money. Thanks for everything, man. Like, you're the nicest dude I ever met. And if you ever need it, I got your back, dude. I got you. I Me, mean, I think I'm probably gonna chill here and improve my skills. King K's back, baby. And uh, it's all thanks to you, dog. <laughs> you're my boy, bro. You're my boy, Mario. Now that Grubba's out of the picture, I'm going to take over running the Glitzpit. If you ever decide to return to the ring, just come back. I'll keep your spot open. You have tons of fans, and they'd absolutely love it if you made a comeback. Anyway, think it over, okay? And travel safely. Oh! -ho! Wait, but I want to go back for that big old mushroom. Alright, that makes three crystal stars. We'd better get back to Rogueport, Mario. Rogueport. Rogue or Rouge? Not without my free... Bre my free continental breakfast. <laughs> Not without my continental breakfast. Because <laughs> I think that's what happens. You're welcome anytime, bug. You're welcome anytime. Yeah, that's... I was I was hoping that anytime would be now. Yes? For chance? Am, am I welcome now? Hmm. Guess not. I'm gonna want munch on a bit more cauliflower for a little while. It's tasty stuff. Alright. I don't think I was missing anything here. I'm not super big on keeping all the items that I have. Uh, actually, I'm gonna use them... Do I sell them? What kind of... What kind of... Um, what's my gear? What do I got? What do I got? I really don't have much at all. I'm gonna buy one more Super Shroom. Hmm. Yeah, I'll buy some reagents while I'm up here because I want to do some cooking when I get back. Take some power punch because I think I can only do one item right now. So, and whatever, I'll get a point swap. Let's see if I can cook that up into something. Um, I know if I get thunderbolt, I can combine it with a mushroom to get a um to get a thunder shroom. I'm pretty sure. Just ha like having that recipe, or maybe maybe I shouldn't focus on the recipes until like after I get the cookbook. Oh, the music's gone. Back to Rogueport. I just say the cauliflower isn't very filling, but really satisfying. I've got like a whole gamut of sweets and stuff, or not sweets, like snacks and stuff. But I like never eat them. There's like cookies, granola. Evidently fruit leather, cherries, cauliflower. It's pretty awesome. It's time to go talk to Franklin. Or frankly, or whatever, you know? <laughs> oh! Uh, hello! Is it the princess? Uh, hello? Hello, you've reached uh, Mario. Uh, how can I help you? Dearest Mario, I have uncovered something terrible. These things, the x knots they're planning to take control of the world. It's to that end that they're searching for the Crystal Stars. I still don't know what the Crystal Stars do, but you must try to get them all. I will gather what information I can. Peach. Oh, how, how sweet of her. I love it. They want, they want to rule the world. Um... I don't really like the sound of that. That sounds pretty grandiose. Nobody's ever gonna get that. Seriously, though. I kinda... Kinda wanna play at the casino for a little bit. Oh, I gotta get Piantas. Oh, Shadogi. Shadogi Badogi. I guess while I'm at it, too. We're moving on to the next chapter, so let me uh, let me change the change the stream thing. Let me do that. Actually, I'm not gonna do it here. Not on my surface. That's really annoying to do. Let me just open up another tab in the background. Twitch. A moment, please, while we change things around and make it a little more accessible to everybody else who might be watching elsewhere. Let's do that. All right. What are we doing now? So now, 
It is. Actually, what's the next chapter after this? I don't really know what the next chapter is. It's between chapters. We're between chapters. I have so many cables all over my keyboard. Oh my goodness gracious. No, please don't click the buttons on screen. Nope. Nope. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dicking around? I can't put dicking around on my title, can I? I definitely can't put dicking around. Um, um, fooling around. Fooling around between chapters. Very cool. There we go. Trying to be more on top of that, you know? More on top of stuff like that. Alright. Back to it. Um, I'll just get like 10 piantas. Maybe I strike it rich. That'll be cool. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I didn't want to do more. Oh, shoot. I didn't want to do that. I've succumbed to my gambling habits. Oh my god, we did it! Holy shiitake, I love it. Oh, mushrooms, I love gambling. This is great. I'm gonna gamble like this more often. Nice. Rapid, rapid, rapid slots. Yes! <laughs> this is incredible! I made back for like the spins that I had been doing. Can I also play games too? Is that a thing? Hi, hello there, Mario. Welcome to the parlor. Rescuing the princess is important, but it can wait. What can I show you? I can only trade in my winnings. I thought... But I thought that I could play games. I think I have to do something first. That's too bad. What about you? Psst. This place is run by Don Pianta. You can play fun games in here and win fun Pianta tokens to redeem for prizes. Yeah, play to win. Get those prizes. I'm gonna get those prizes. What does this machine do again? Scoreboard. Nah, that's fine. How do I play the games, though? I love checking my scores on the machine after playing games. I'm here all day. <laughs> I've got a problem. What? My, my family's worried about me? Oh, don't be silly. They don't mind. <laughs> Everyone in my family has their own personal lifestyles. And mine most certainly ain't gambling. Hey, how you doing? What? Me? Nah, no, I'm top of the world, baby. Yeah, yeah. What was that now? Yeah, you want to know how to get a member's card? Yeah, well, well, let's see. Maybe if you help someone in trouble, they'll give it to you. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. What are you doing? Oh, oh I'll hold the piantas. Maybe I'll go talk to the pals in the back. Help somebody in trouble. Wait, 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 wait. Helping somebody in trouble. That was the job board, right? Oh, I can't get back there, Nat, because I need to go to Keel Hall Key first. Um, you... I can go talk to the Pianta dudes. I don't know if I gain anything from that at this point, but... We're gonna pal around. We're just gonna pal around and see what we can find along the way. Uh, uh, you're Donness. Hello! Hey, it's this guy again. It's good to see your face. Well, why a... Uh, well, good to see you. But, uh, why the lemon sucking face? You gotta be positive. Uh, I ain't rescuing your dame, pal. Show a little enthusiasm. Uh, thanks for insulting my face, I guess. Oh, you- well, your face is a- a- a-, a yellow. Now, don't say that, boy. We don't talk- we don't talk like that around these parts. Oh, that was Grubba's voice. Alright, let me see. Uh, it probably- it live streams are spancy. And I spent all my money at the casino. Wow. I think all I'll do is I'll go along yonder. And then I'm gonna do a little- I'm gonna do some job stuff. I think it'll be fun. Oh, we can talk to Luigi! He's got a new thing! Alright, gotta go eat and get ready to leave. Oreo, you have a wonderful rest of your day, man. And best of luck on your tournament, dude! Good luck! Well, I got a second piece of the Marvelous Compass at Plump Valley Village recently! Oh boy, I really got my hands dirty on that one. I'll tell you what. Oh, it was pretty wild, bro. You wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story do you want to hear, bro? Plump Belly Village. We haven't been there yet. But like I said, it really long, it's a really long story. But here it goes. Uh, once we made landfall on this little continent, uh, we made for Plump Belly Village. Oh, once we got there, though, we immediately noticed that something was wrong. We learned from the mayor that the town was ruled by a giant snake named Hitsa. He said his own daughter was going to be offered up as a sacrifice to the beast, too. So, of course, being heroic, I offered myself up to go in her stead. Brave, huh? Now, the custom was sa for sacrifices to be dressed as brides, so when well, I got all dolled up, I, I was one hot sacrifice, bro. I looked so good. I, I fooled our fools, and I got in his lair. 
It was kind of rough fighting in that gown, but I managed Shifo. I managed Shifo really shapes, bro. <laughs> I finally found Hiza, and the snake had a second head on its tail. Talk about scary. I fainted really quick, but when it came to, I managed to distract both heads. I reared up. Fangs bared to attack, and at that moment, I, def I definitely lunged left. His gaping mouths smashed into one another, and he vanished in a cloud of smoke. A shining plate fell down on the spot where Hiza's body had been coiled. <laughs> yeah. Another cup is peace. I said it. I pointed east to Circuit Break Island. Just as I was about to leave the town, the mayor asked me to stay and marry his daughter. I thought about it. She was sort of cute. Uh, but we ended up sneaking off the next morning. <laughs> I mean, I still have to save Princess Eclair from the Chestnut King. And uh, when the marvelous cup was activated this time, I heard somebody's voice. It was so beautiful, bro. I'm, I'm certain it was Princess Eclair's voice. Ah, my head rega heart began to race. <laughs> That's when I realized it. Princess Eclair, I think... I think... No, oh, uh, anyways, I, I, I kind of zoned out there, um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, we set sail again after ditching town, and, uh, and somehow we managed to get back here to Rogueport, and here I am! <laughs> if you want to hear more about what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. <sighs> I love that bro, I love that bro 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 of mine. Let's see what we can cook up in the kitchen. Hello, what's up? Ooh, there's thunder and lightning outside. That's pretty cool. Good thing I'm not planning to go out today. <laughs> Excuse me. What do we want to cook with? I want to cook with... Power Punch. Yeah, let's do Power Punch. I think- I, I know I can only do one thing at a time, so... Oh, that didn't work very well. Okie dokie. But what isn't a mistake? Is a super mushroom mistake? Feels like it wouldn't be. If it heals more than 10 HP, it is not a mistake. Here we go. What do we got? Eh, it's okay. What if I clean up? Can I cook a mistake into something else? <laughs> I don't know if that makes it better or not. My mistake turned into a mother and another mistake. I love him. Can I cook up the shroom thing again? Honestly, I'm just curious of how far I can push some of these things. Let's cook up a shroom fry to make it even more shroom. Actually, I feel like, yeah, I don't know. Even if I come out of this with all mistakes, it's fine. I'll just sell it, get some of my money back. That's how I deal with my uh, my troubles with gambling. When I lose my money to gambling, I cook things and I sell them to other people. None of my cooking is good. However. If it's all about the story that you weave for your product, and then you can sell it to people for whatever. Cool. I'm gonna also waste these other items too, because money is not a problem, as could be seen by my gambling addiction, evidently. Cook up the point swap! Swap it up! It doesn't seem like food. One never really knows. That didn't work at all. I was I was hoping that would happen. I want to see my entire inventory turn into mistakes. Except for the super shroom. I like the super shroom. Can a fright mask be cooked in anything? Can I cook up a fright mask? I feel like I tried this one of the last times. But I'm unsure. Oh, click the button. Nope. How about one of these? The quake of the earth. Cook up some cauliflower. It never goes. It's I've never cooked cauliflower badly. 
I'm just gonna imagine this earthquake is just the cauliflower. And then I'm eating a rock, metaphorically speaking. Yep, I failed. Hmm. Huh. Well then, I'm gonna go sell my wonderful wares to somebody else. Hey, what are you selling? Hey, hey, ho! I've got all the hottest new products here. Look no further. You've got the fever look of a man with a mind for goods and want to buy something? I would. Oh. Oh. I'm broke. Can I sell something too? Hey, dude, what's going on? This is my brother's shop. Someday I'd like to have my own shop. That'd be nice. Very nice. Very nice. Aspirations can take you far, you know, someday. Hmm? Can I sell some things? Hey there, welcome! Can I sell things? What do you want to sell? Yeah! Absolutely! Selling my mistakes on the black market. Maybe they're doing cool stuff with it. I don't really know. And I guess I'll stock up on like actual items. Maybe I got a little bit of change left. Anything else that I want to sell? Not particularly. Just my soul. Ever, ever so slightly. Can I cook up? I want a tasty tonic. Give me some of that. I want honey syrup. Yep. I have, I have honey syrup in my fridge. And I want a fire flower. Because I want to cook all these things up too. Eventually. I'll go I'll go talk to uh, What's-His-Face first. Or I can get a quest first, right? This is, Where's the quest? No, quest board is in the other location. I'll go around there. Still can't open that chest yet. We'll get there one day. Alright. You, I don't know if I have enough shine sprites for... Let's see. What do we got? Welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magician I foresaw your arrival. So, which partner would you like me to power up? Um. Babuche! You can use mini egg to make your enemies tiny. I love that. Yeah. Shall I power up your partner? Yes. Nice. Shazivi! Sha! Zobi! Oh, rubbly, rubbly. Care to power up more? That's it. That's all there is. Yeah, I got another partner. Uh, you can... You can use Lip Lock to hurt foes and replenish HP. Okay, what about you? Multibonk to attack a foe multiple times. Hmm. I'm not ready yet. I don't want to do it. Not yet. I'm not ready. I love love my gals, but not just not quite ready to see them. See them, you know. Yo. Nice. What's up, Gramps? I can tell by the look on your face that you got the next crystal star. What was that? Something outrageous was written in Peaches Peaches' email. Well, clearly there isn't much to talk about, but only after you go to the Thousand Year Door. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Do door. Door. Thousand. Thousand. Door of a thousand years. Yeah, that's right. Come here, you. Come here. Come here, buddy. I'm gonna hit that little, little thingy. Anyways. That's what it's all about. I forgot the door. Door that's been there for a thousand years. Door that holds specifically crystal stars. Yeah. Ah, the door. The door for the crystal star. The thousand year door. The door that's been there for a thousand years. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't go that way yet. Is there anything else in this shop? I forget. Oh, that's so I can get a blessing, right? Welcome. Will I see something for me? Star piece, next path. Nah, that's fine. That's fine. I'm okay. You have a good one. You you be well now. I talk to you later. Eventually. I feel like maybe if I was on the other side of town, I would have been able to get there faster. I'd, I'd just forgotten. That's not the direction either. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I, I've forgotten. No, it's not over there. I've forgotten of all where I'm going. If I go down, though, we'll be okay. I think. That, that feels like a pretty good rule. When it comes to endless pits, just keep going down. It must go somewhere, right? Right? I think that's the way to go. Bryce says, a Saturday stream. It's true. What is up? What are you doing, my friend? Don't you do Saturday streams, too? I think I recall seeing you chess, I think, the last time. Things are going well over here. I think I, uh, my, uh, my schedule is all wackadoo, so... Doing Saturday. I want to play games for longer. 
So that's how we're at, uh, that's how I'm adjusting my- I'm choosing to spend my time differently. We're dynamic human beings. Oh, that totally worked. Oh, I remember how this is useful. Very fun, very fun. Now where- these takes me- where do these take me again? That's it, it takes me back to Petalburg, so that's a quick way to get back here. You... I have nothing to do here. I don't want to be here. And then the other one, I'm sure, probably takes me back to the Punis, so... This is just shortcut area. That's all it is. Shortcuts. But, but Thousand Year Door is also... No, I can't do that yet, because I need a heavier hammer. So I went in the wrong direction. It's chill. We gonna be all right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to go down here. That's where I need to go, right? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, there's a rock that I can break now. Rock break. Yeah, and a star piece. Excellent. Oh, hi. You didn't quite catch me up, Gar, but watch these sick moves. There we go. <laughs> You're dead. That was pretty easy. Fun stuff. Slowly but surely, we leveling up. Killing all the little smalls you around the... At a time like this, really? Oh! Oh, Bryce! Bang, bang! The effect of my curse increased my coins! Very good! Here, get in this battle. Yeah, he struck first, all right. Thank you, sir! I feel like I'm on top of the world! That's lovely! Bang, bang into the room. I let you have it. Bang, bang, all over you. I know you want it. Wait a minute, let me take you there. Wait a minute, will you? Ah. That's the game I play. I love Nicki Minaj. And and the other two. <laughs> I don't remember the other two with that song. Oh my god. Actually, I, I can't say that I love Nicki Minaj. I can't. My heart is betrothed to another. And her name is Anna, and I like her very much. Oh, I forgot, if I just keep bouncing around, I can find secret blocks every once in a while. This is the thing that I learned from Super Mario RPG, so I gotta, I gotta keep on going with it. Jumpy jump, 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 jump. Crystal star time. Here we go. Onward, reveal to me the path that lies ahead. It's beautiful. Hmm. I'm gonna make more tea. The tea is running low. Let me set up in the background. Got some Earl Grey. Been drinking that for the day so far. I'm definitely gonna have to go take a break in a moment because the tea. I can feel the tea. The tea is in my body. There we go. Yes, we are going to, uh, um, what is it? Twilight Forest, I think it's called? Not Twilight Forest. Maybe Twilight Forest? Times of Twilight Town? Maybe it's Twilight Town. I really don't know. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magic map. Why, thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see. This is, this is in Twilight, Twilight something or other. Delving into the shadows of the twilight. Spooky! And I know I can get my zesty book down there. So that's what that's what we'll do for that one. Alright. Hey, that shows where the Force Crystal Star is! Can't that Frankly guy read it? That'd be cool, but first we better tell him what Princess Peach's email said, right? I already told him. At least I thought. Didn't I? Oh, no, 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 I guess I just I forgot to tell him. I forget in my old age. What? The group that kidnapped Princess Peach is bent on world, total world conquest. Aha, uh -huh. you got that right. That's why these jerks need that legendary treasure. Hmm, this doesn't bode well. The situation has gotten far more serious than I thought. 
Let me bring you up to speed. I've been researching just what this treasure could be. One book I came across held to, held to what I thought was a preposterous theory. This book claimed that the treasure was in actuality the Great Cataclysm. The very cataclysm that a thousand years ago sank that town underground. So these jerks that think the power of that cataclysm will help them rule the world? I can't say for sure about what they will do, what they will do or why, but we must consider the possibility. Now that things have come to this, we mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. That's all that matters, because if they do get it, then once again, this town, no, the entire world could be destroyed. Then out with it, Professor. We gotta find that next crystal star super quick. Hmm. Well, according to it, according to the map, it appears the next crystal star is in Twilight Town. Twilight Town? To tell you the truth, I don't know how much of that place myself. Only rumors, and my tea is boiling. Excuse me for a moment as I fill up my tea and continue reading with the dialogue. Absolutely. To tell you the truth, I do Oh, I read that. I have heard that, as the name implies, it's perpetually dim and eerie there. Wait just a moment. Rummage, 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 rummage. Oh, aha! There appears to be a pipe to Twilight Town somewhere here in Rogueport. I do believe it's somewhere underneath the west part of town. Yes, definitely! If you get stuck for any reason, just come back and see me again, okay? Under the ground in the west part of town? Check! Gotcha, Professor! Come on, Gonzales, let's go! Time to break out! And I'm aware that I need to know my name backwards. Uh -huh. Hello! <laughs> it's me! Oh, I have to check the email. No, I'm done with that. Turn off. Um, do, 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 do. Mailbox. My mailbox XP. Koopy Q. Dear Mario and Koops, I hope you two are doing okay. I have to admit, with Koops gone, I haven't been doing very well. I get lonely, and I go into Koops' houses and smell that Koops smell. I guess it's your cologne or whatever, but it makes me sad. I got used to your smell, Coops. Oh, and that thing is your dad, Coopley, has his own smell, and it's weird, and I think it's time to smell a ho It's the smell of Hooktail's gut. That's disgusting. Now I gross myself out. Oh, and since he's gonna be my dad, too, because we're definitely gonna get married someday, I better get used to the smell, huh? Oh, wait, what am I writing? I'm so embarrassed, but I'm sending it anyway. Hey, look at me on my body. Don't you want me? Girl! <coughs> <coughs> Don't overdo it there, Kim. My God. <coughs> too much franklying. Too much cauliflowering. Too much. It's too much, I say. I'm at my wit's end. All right. If I go to the west side of town, there should be a pipe down there somewhere. Where do pipe? Where do pipes at? Pipes at? Pipes at? Where do pipes at? Pipes at. Onward and downward. There we go. Oh, excuse me. All right, so if I... Oh, I can go across this thing now, because I have Yosh butt. Right? Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Excelente! Uh, hey, look, there it is. Found you! But... But... Denied. The pipe rejected you! Just like MIT. Twilight Town. But then... Twilight Town. Yep. No, I didn't want to go jump into it again. I wanted to observe the pipe. Yes, I am aware it rejected me. You don't have to make me wallow in that. Rejection's hard enough. Let alone when an inanimate object is the one that rejects you. Jeez. Hello? Oh, jumpies. Jump no! Uh. Nice. What lies beyond the other side of the chasm? Oh, star piece. Cool. I'm done with that. I like that. Star pieces and star not so pieces. Oh, I got you. Oh, I got you. Yes. Do I have to jump all the way back? For the flavor of it all. It's for the flavor. And more cauliflower. There we go. 
Easy does it there, Mario. Easy does it. Oh, I gotta go back up. Oh. 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 Into the pipe, we say. Into the pipe, indeed. Oh, look at that! Philadelphia's got a flash flood warning. Excellent. Time to go back and talk to Franklin. Oh, wait, I forgot. I can move faster with you, my boy. Come along, my witch, eh? Let's go talk to the dude. Let us go talk to Franklin. Quite frankly, I want to talk to Franklin. <laughs> oh. not, not a good joke. I say rambling on my own. Frankly. Frankly. Oh, frankly. Oh, well, there's also... I also want to check the message board, the uh, mission board. Uh, hello! Yo, Professor, we found your pipe and that thing's all stopped up! We tried and tried, but we can't break through it! Got any drain cleaner? What? You can't get through the pipe, you say? How odd! Hmm, I'm afraid I have the foggiest idea of what you should do. Unless... Oh, of course! I've heard that a fellow from Twilight Town lives here in Rogueport. If anybody knows how to get through the pipe, it'll be him. His name was, uh, uh, oh dang, what was it? Um, ah, uh, yes! The lover of dark places, Darkly! I've seen him loitering right here in this part of town in the past. Look for Darkly, look for him, find Darkly. You, you'll recognize him by being, by... And let's go! I know where Darkly is. Hey, Darkly, what's up, dude? How's it going? What's up, dude? Uh, uh, hi there. My name's Darkly. You guys need something? Huh? You wanna know how to get through the pipe to Twilight Town? It couldn't be easier. You just need to have something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that, that has your name written on it? But come on, everybody does. No? Oh, really? Okay, hang on. I'll write it for you. What's your name? Mario, huh? Okay, I'll write it here on the seat of your overalls. M. A. R. I. O. Right? Scribble, scrabble, scribble, scribble. There. Perfecto mundo. While I'm at it, I'll write your partner's name, too. Hmm. What a lovely couple. What's your name? Babuche, baby! Scribble, scrabble, scribble, scrabble. I read it on your diaper. Hey, watch where you're drawn, buddy! I don't know what errand is uh, taking you to Twilight Town, but I hope it goes well. I'll be rooting for you. Thanks, Darkly. Very cool dude. Very cool dude indeed. All right, well, that settles that matter. On to the message board. Message board? I want to talk to the... Nope, it's locked from the inside. Message board, message board. Hey, bud. I'm hungry. Emergency shroom? Where am I needed? I'm getting up there in years. So I want some insurance. A life shroom. No. Oh my God, it's so expensive. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it. Nope, that's too much money. No, 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 no. I don't want to do it. Order me an item. Plenty. Plenty. Okay. Our shop inventory is low. I need something to help some help and restock. Please come to the shop in Rogueport Square. Want to take on Plenty's trouble? Sure. Do it and do it right. Damn it, do it right, I say. Sorry, that was abrupt. Ooh, alas, here we go. Joey. I just want to unlock this member thing so I can gamble more. That's all I really want. I just want to satisfy my carnal desire for risk. Uh, it's not you, right? You're not plenty. Oh, T is in Toadstool, right? I hope I'm not making a bad assumption. Welcome, welcome, yes, to the Toad Bros Bazaar. Yes, you've accepted my trouble, huh, fella? Well, we're having a really hard time finding courage shells. Uh, I need you to bring us five from anywhere you can find them, okay? That's five courage shells. I'm counting on you. Are you kidding me? Bro, I don't have the money for this. Oh my goodness gracious. I guess I can go to... Actually, how much does a courage cell even cost, right? I'm gonna just... Let's see, how much money do I have? I'm gonna just Google it for now and see if I even have enough coins for it. I don't think that I do. Courage cell. Courage shell cost. Paper Mario. Thousand year door. Let's see. A courage shell can be purchased for... For... Does it say? Does it say? Does it say? 
Oh, it can be bought in Petalburg. It can also be purchased. But how much does it cost? The shop, I say. The shop. Items, 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 items. It does not tell me. That makes me sad. Oh, well. Oh, um, I guess I can sell my belongings first. Hmm. Or just get more coin. Oh, what a decision to make. It's okay. I'll just ex I'll just have that perpetually leaming over my head of something I need to do one day. Oh well. Peace out. I'm going to Twilight Town. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. I am gonna take a brief break before entering into this pipe. So I will be back in the hottest of moments. Uh, it's been a while. Been a while since a break has actually been taken on this stream, so please, while I am gone, enjoy the parrots. They've missed you.
welcome back, everybody. Grab myself a snack. Some really good bread that we purchased at the farmer's market the other day. There's like a little bit left of it. So I figured I would make my claim. It's like a seeded sourdough. Very tasty. There's one of the seeds from the sourdough. For pigs, the bell tolls. Chapter four. What a porky slew of events. Hello, everyone. I'll admit, when this, when I first got to this place, when playing the game originally, I was terrified of this place. Obviously terrified that I was going to turn into a pig. Wild. Oh, this place gives me the creeps. Is this Twilight Town? Sure seems like it would be. Hey. It's been a long time since anyone's come from outside. You've come from far away? Yeah, those clothes of yours. Pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? This is a bad time to arrive. Wait, but you're adventurers. Maybe it's the perfect time. Wait, what? A bad time? What do you mean by that? Come on, tell me! Oh, gee whiz. I don't know. It's a scary tale to hear. It's scary to tell, too. No, no! The bell rang again. Um, well, this is awful. Who could it be now? And there it is. <laughs> Whoa! That was the craziest thing I've ever seen. What's going on in this weirdo town? Oh, badness. Now poor Freddy got turned to a pig. Not good. Not good at all. Who are you, Gramps? I'm the mayor of this poor town. Some call me Dower. I'm not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe you're adventurers, right? This isn't the place for the telling of tales, sadly. Come, come to my home. <laughs> Twilight Town. More like, more like... Pig Light Town. <laughs> I know. It wasn't good. My traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. Well, well, I'd like to welcome you, but welcoming people is generally a good thing, and it's nothing but bad here. <laughs> As you may have guessed, our town has been cursed. Whoa, cursed? What do you mean by that? Tell me. Yes, cursed. That is the right word, yes. Of course it is. You see, beyond town is a forest, and in its heart is a ancient building, the creepy steeple. The dark creature who lives there, its curse ordains that when the steeple bell rings, one of the twilighters living here in the village becomes a pig. When my loved ones become swine, uh, will I, too, become a curly-tailed oinker? I'm so worried I can't sleep at night, of course. Night and day are pretty similar here. Uh, if this keeps up, well... The village will be one giant pig pen, which would be bad. Let me give you some advice. Leave us. Leave us before you get... Pigified. Not gonna happen, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. Maybe you've heard of it? It's a star-shaped rock called a crystal star. Um, I, I don't know anything about any crystal star thing. Uh, but in the creepy steeple, there's a glittery red stone. Shaped like a star. Whoa, you serious? That's gotta be the crystal star. It's gotta be. Uh, you people... You aren't thinking of going to the creepy steeple, are you? <sighs> unthinkable. Unthinkable. My... My family and friends have all been turned into pigs. It's not a good thing. This is the village where we are all born. After all, we can't just leave. And I don't plan on letting you leave. Nobody's going home now. Swine or otherwise. Hello, how have you been? Nice, uh, nice wall of, um, onions, I guess. It's pretty cool. Tasteful. 
living in this dark place. It's so depressing, you know. I don't really care if I turn into a pig or not. That's disappointing. Wow. How about you guys? Ah! 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 Alright. Cool. How do you like that there, apples? Anyways. What's in this? Um, whoa. They're tufts of grass. That's what they're called. There must be something. I need money. A man has requested me to purchase things on his behalf without compensation. Therefore, I have a problem on my hands. Hey, hey, hey nice. That tree's got no fruit on it. Tree? Tree? Ground tree? Bottom tree? Hey! Nope, that's it. That's all I got from it. How about y'all? Just had to make sure that they were awake. There's a whole journey ahead of us. Hey, dude. Y'all got continental breakfast? Refresh your body and soul at our lovely twilight inn. Our rate is ten coins. Will you stay the night? Ah, uh, nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Because at that point, it wouldn't even be worth it. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Just taking a piece of the bread. I ran down and grabbed some food, so. Lunch time. Hello, y'all. Mm hmm. Those are the toads. Hello, lovely family. Are y'all piggy yet? I haven't been able to buy food for my children since my husband turned into a pig. Now they're all so hungry. What should I do? Mommy, I want to come to food, please, me. Kind traveler, if you have some spare food, could you share it with us? Yeah, I got, I got. Pour this on your children. Oh, thank you so much. You've made my children very happy and me as well. It's not much, but please take this as thanks. Zoom, I got a shooting star. I love it. Oh, and kind traveler, where do you hail? No. Moink, 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 because it's a mama oink. Mommy, you're a piggy. Hey, fix my mommy. Do you have like some like cool philosophy to say? Is that why it's difficult to talk to? Dude, bro. bro. No, I don't want to talk to mommy pig. Hey, a pig's good eating. Child. I knew that's where your head was going to be at. It's time to disembell, disembell mom. Get him! In this village, the moon is really all we can rely on. Can't even grant wishes. It can, it can even grant wishes. Don't let me turn into a pig. Don't let me turn into a pig. I don't want to turn into a pig. I'll even give up bacon. That's what's necessary. Call, bitch! All right. And what do you have to say for yourself? Ah. Just more, <laughs> insert more bird sounds. There we go. All right, well, that was fun. Sniff, sniff. Ah, somebody sniffling in the general store. I wonder if I can purchase your happiness or what's left of it. Hey, what's up? Uh, that feels like a problem. Hey, what's up? Oh, a customer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not open right now. Oh, why, why am I crying? <laughs> you, shouldn't, you shouldn't pester a woman about her business like that, but... Uh, <laughs> My husband's been turned into a pig. A pig. <laughs> I'm crying and laughing. <laughs> My husband went to the woods yesterday to collect herbs. But no husband came home. Instead, it was just a pig. He got in a fight before he left and I had called him a chauvinist pig. And now he's really a pig. But he has a sweet side too, like cooking my favorite thing of a shop is giving me my husband this and that. And you know, it just gets so many wonderful things. You know, I wish he wouldn't go dipping into the things. I'll get the boys in trouble. You know, I don't know, I don't know how much I tell him. I don't think it'll be tough and I have my fights and whatnot. But really, really, when he turned into a pig and, and here we are. Uh, wait, are you even listening? Oh, so, uh, hey, C could you figure out some way to restore my husband to normal? I'll do whatever I can help. Uh, you can even take anything in the storeroom that might help, you know? What's that? It's, it's not. Uh, my husband must have taken the key with him and lost in the woods. <laughs> oh, bother! It's okay, ma'am. I will restore your husband to you. 
and completely ransack the storage room. That's my promise. My solemn promise. We're off to find a key, but first to meander with the other town folks. I've been thinking lately, if I'm gonna turn into a pig, I wanna be, be a big old fat one. Cause what's the point in being a skinny pig, huh? <laughs> I've gotta embrace the pigginess. I agree. I agree considerably. The entire town of Twilight Town is British now. Just, that's, that's my head cannon. It's just how it is. Hmm, well, not doing any good in there. Not until I get my rolly ability. Then I think I can roll into, um, fireplaces. A nasty monster lives in the woods past here. I'm serious, that's what somebody said. If you still want to go through even after hearing that, you need the mayor's permission. Oh man, the old monster beyond the town gate thing? Isn't that kind of cliched? Yeah, you gotta be kidding me. Fine, let's go ask. Where is the mayor? Tell me, take me to your leader. I have no leader. I'm a novelist and I read several books a day. Not all pop-up books either. Sometimes I even write books for the mayor. Parliament, you see. It's for uh, laws and whatnot. Uh, I wonder if pigs can read. I'm a bit concerned about it, to be honest. My, my, my reader base, you know, if there's nobody left to read, then just like, you know, poof, there goes my career. Be pretty unfortunate. Um, I'm rather detached from this town. Uh, where the mayor at? Oh! Whoa, the bell rang, Mario. Doesn't that mean someone's gonna... Boy, I'm psyched it wasn't my turn to get pigged. <laughs> you're a dinosaur, I guess, right? Would it be that? I guess you're closer to a chicken than you would be to a pig, so it would kind of be out there. Might as well save what we're around. We've had such good conversation with the townsfolk. We wouldn't want to go back on that. Mayor's house. The mayor's a pig. Mayor's a pig. Whoa! That ain't good. Don't you think this pig is the mayor? What are we gonna do now? We needed that dude's okay to get past the gates. Piggy time. Well, let's go talk to someone else. Onward and outwards, go talk to, I guess, the mighty gatekeeper. The gatekeeper of doom! Oh, who is it now? Who is it now? <laughs> I knew it would be the gatekeeper. Whoa! The gate guy's gone. Oops! Nope, not gone. That <laughs> stubborn dude's a pig! Well, hey, that's actually pretty sweet for us. No pig's gonna get in our way. <laughs> it's not like they can defend, uh, keep the gates closed. Here we go. <laughs> let us go Hey, look, it's the key. Nice. Maybe that is the key that I look for. Perhaps, perchance this is the key to the storeroom, to get anything that I might need. Storeroom key? Does I have the key? What's that? It's locked? Oh. But, 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 key, 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 key. Nope, uh, evidently not the right key. It's a black key. Maybe that means I'm gonna- Oh, I think that's an ability key, right? Everything does remember how that works? Yeah, words. I did- I said words there. That's good stuff. Hello? Blocky. Nice. Hello? Anything in the tree? If only. If I bounce around like a moron, will I find random good blocks? This is how it worked in Super Mario RPG. And I think I may have found one already, so that's just what I'm gonna do. We are all graced by the beautiful wahoos of the past. Oh, get dunked on, green Goomba. Gr a Groomba? Can I call you a Groomba? That seems kind of weird. Nice. Dunzo. I'm gonna swap. We'll see how much the gulpage can do. Oh, crap, Sickles. I forgot I had to let go. Uh, Super Hammer. I get so distracted by my own bits sometimes. There we go. Still not done? All right, well. Attack up by six. I better kill you before you have a chance to kill me. Oh, that seems like a lot of rocks. To oh, nice shot, dude. Go get him, Babuche. Excellent. Uh. Gulpage. Nice. And I'm gonna hit you with my hammer, Duda, Duda. You're not gonna survive now. That's it. That's the end of the story. Great. All right, moving on then. 
Great. Ooh, coins. Ooh, I'm not living paycheck to paycheck anymore. In a Mario kind of way. Hello. Random blocks all around. Random blocks. Hidden blocks. Hidden blocks anywhere. Hidden blocks. Anywhere. Uh, what about on top of this guy? If I jump on top and... Yeah, like that. I don't know. Nice. Ah, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Come down here. Come down here. I want to hit you with a hammer. Come here. Come hither. I command thee. I command thee to come down. Nope. Okay. That's fine. Yes. Excellent. If we speak in a British accent to all of them, maybe they'll feel more like home to me, you know? Maybe. Oh, this isn't going to help very much. Hmm. I'll swap the partners out. I'm going to get Flurry for this one. Get up! Oh, I am out of flower ports. Alright. It's okay. There we go. Nice. Body slam! Oh, you look powerful. Yeah, y'all look kind of powerful. Mystery bag. Oh. I don't much like that one. That I do not. Uh, can we... Can we bounce? Shall I bounce? That worked at least. Now they're on the ground. Cool. It's harder to hit, folks. Uh, dried mushroom? I, I guess I can use that. I suppose that works. Uh, can I body slam this guy out of the air? That'd be cool if I could. I don't know how to do that one stylishly. Oh, sweet. Nice, <laughs> you loser. Uh, this guy was a lot better, though. Nice job, nice job. Gotta say, that was good. Very good. Nicely done. Nicely done. Nicely done. Uh, let's get some sweet treats in here. I need to- I need some- I need some fat points. Wait, what just happened? Oh. Oh, did I just swap partners instead? I didn't mean to do that at all! Oh, well. I guess I'll tattle these guys. Why not? Makes sense. While I have the opportunity to. Hyper Goomba! Which means, um, it's hyperactive. Duh! And we don't make fun of them for that. It's got a bizarre attack. It's pretty good. Ooh, spicy mode, activate. Nice. Spicy mode, activate. Anyways, I was going to do that thing where I sweet treat on both of us. That was going, that was what I was trying to do there. And um, let's see if that does anything. Yeah, I won't go for that one. Go absolutely freaking, no! Oh well. I need flower points above all things. There we go. Ooh, that was good. Nice! Excellent. That was exactly what I wanted. Sweet! Sweet treat. Sweetest of treatits. Um, and now we have you here. Uh, I feel perhaps that you should swap with Koops. Koops can go through all of them. Nice. Nice dodge. Nice. Nice dodge. Nice tack up. Nice also going after the protagonist. Very nice. Uh, let's switch. Let me use Power Shell first. Nice. And then I can just whack on the other guy. Bounce ability. There we go. Easy. With a little bit of struggling, things can be okay. Ooh, coins. Yay. 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 Coin. Great. Things on- Yes, I knew there'd be something on top of it. I didn't actually, I guessed. Secret block, secret block, secret box. Secret block, secret box everywhere. Um, I need to prepare myself for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would be... There we go. That's probably good. Nice. Um, I can use, like, Quake Hammer for this, right? I don't have Quake Hammer anymore. Let's just sweet treat it up, right? Just give everybody a sweet treat. It'd be good. Good things. Good things come to those who sweet... Well, that was perilous. That was a lot of mushrooms. A lot of bad mushroom goo. Could this be it? Could this be a perfect round? Oh my god, I think that was a perfect round. I don't think I've ever done that before. That was awesome. Oh yeah, let's get him. Let's kill these guys. I mean, it doesn't really help very much, but at least we're stylish while we do it. Isn't there a block? There's a block move too. I remember finding that out one of these times. Yeah, and you can hyperize yourselves. Not a fan of that. 
Not a fan of that one. I could tremor it, but I don't really want to. It's just super hammer! Nice! There we go, that'll work. If I can make sure that you don't use that icy thing, or that you don't use that badge, or if I can get the badge, that'd be nice. There we go, that's alright. Wow, that was powerful. Oh my god, that's- wow! That is truly unfortunate. Wow, it's spooky. Alright, well, I can uh, most certainly take these guys down. I, I hope. <laughs> Alright, that was kind of spooky. Alright, good, they're both done. <laughs> oh no! That would have been very disappointing. I will admit, because you could use some heals right about now. Tree? Tree? Random hidden blocks anywhere? No? Alright, well, that's fine. Hello, Anki. Hurrank. Hurrank to you, too. And that's it. I don't know how to roll. I need to learn how to roll. Yep. So I am missing something. There's something else indeed to be found. But where might it be? That is the question. Do I have to hit any of these rocks? I feel inclined to hit rocks for some reason. Because I think, I feel like I vaguely recall being able to take like a, a pipe out into the woods. Because I most certainly can't get past that thing right now. Here, come back, Babuchi. I'm gonna ride on you for a little bit. It just makes walking around, it just makes walking around better. Because I don't have to walk around. Thanks, dude. Maybe he's out there. Is there like a pipe in here? I don't think so. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's a block. Hey, that's pretty cool. Oh, Block's empty. That's pretty- that's fun. Nope. Nothing about that. I feel like I had to hit something multiple times to be able to unlock the secret of something. We'll figure it out. But I guess first we'll go back to the town. I guess rest up a little bit. Because that's where the store key is. I gotta remember what was- what was the thing about this? Sniffity sniff sniff sniffles. Call, bitch! Indeed. It wasn't in the pumpkin patch. I feel like there was a a pipe somewhere. A secret thing. Because I know I can't roll under that. Well, I guess I didn't really try to roll under it. If I get, like, Goombella out or something, then maybe that'll be able to help me out. It feels like it might be, like, one of those, like, you have to interact with it for the trigger to know what to do afterwards type things, maybe. I don't know. The nuances are beyond me. But I'll take a rest first and see if they do continental breakfast. One room, please. I will absolutely refresh my body and soul. Enjoy your rest. May you never wake up. Welcome back to the land of the living. Did you sleep? I did. <gasps> it's a peach! I knew we'd get continental breakfast. I love continental breakfast. My favorite breakfasts provided at hotels have those little, like, little sausages. The morning sausages that you eat in the morning because they're provided for the continental breakfast. They're just lovely. I like morning sausages. They taste amazing. Unfortunately, they're not serving sausages here. Just peaches. Oh dear, no, 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 I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it. I just want to find out the secrets of the land. Not deal with you folk. Alright. Can I, like, interact with it at all? Could we, could we perchance flurry it away? Probably not. I know that we have to roll underneath it. Oh, wait, 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 I remember. Yep, I got it now. There we go. It's, it's this. That's the key. That is the key, and this is how to get the key. That's what it was. There we go. Puzzle solver. It's because I'm smart, right? No, 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 please. Okay. Oh, actually, if you want to drop that shroom, there's an old dude in another city who wants it. Super hammer. Nice. 
And then gulp on him. Wait, rock? No way. Whack him. All right, now get him with the gulp. Babuche! Oh no! I was gonna say use Vor Attack! That's unfortunate. Ah, what a waste. Please don't. Oh my god. Powering up! Alright, well, more rocks? Are you kidding me, guys? What a heinous crowd. I was gonna do this again. Oh my god! That's unfortunate. Are they frozen now? Excellent. That makes this section even more appealing. I'm just gonna use all my star points. I don't care. I'm heading back to town anyway. And then maybe I'll just regain the star points because, you know, I see the thingy up there right now. Absolutely incredible. I love it. It's bingo time. Bingo time is here again. Nice. I, I guess I'll throw eggs at enemies to shrink them in size. Does it actually do damage? This is this is the time to check that. Ah, that's interesting to watch. Nice. Now you're teeny tiny. And I'll use my hammer ability. Hammer power! Stylishly. Only only the most stylish of moves. Oh yay, what do we get? More experience? That's actually pretty good. Nice. The effect of the curse increased the star points. Excellent. Very cool. I like curses. No, I don't. I don't want it. I don't want it. I, I don't want to. I want to go home. I don't, I don't want it. Nope. No, don't. Don't touch. I just want to go. I just want to go learn how to roll, you know? I just want to know how to roll a good blunt, you know? And by that, I mean roll myself into a good... It's, it's a little confusing, I understand. That's what it's all about. Mario's, uh, Super Mario, uh, well, Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door is actually just about Mario gaining abilities to roll his blunts better, really. That's all it is. First he has to flatten himself, like you would. Then you gotta roll, as you do. Then you learn how to, like, jump and hit things with hammers and stuff. It just makes sense. It all tracks. Oh, yes. Live stream. I like that. I like that. I like that. I don't need this dried shroom anymore. A little chesty. Nice. Badge? Oh, speaking of which, I have badge points. Yeah, I forgot about that. Let's do that. I have three extra badge points. What don't I have equipped that I could equip for three? Pretty lucky. When Mario is attacked, causes enemies to sometimes miss. It's pretty good. Happy heart. Slowly and automatically restore HP. HP plus increases by five. I'll put this one on, because that seems good. I might as well add charge. Or just what is power rush? Increases my attack power by two when he's in danger. Oh, that's very good. That is very good. Because I seem to get myself in danger relatively often. Hold up. Hey, who's there? I just heard a voice. Hey, hey, there's, there, there's no way that people could be here. Seriously, that's just so unlikely. <laughs> huh? Well, what's that you say? You, you've seen a chest like this before? Yeah, get out of here. No, no, I'm not like those chests. I promise. Look at my eyes. Tell me I'm lying. I'm not. Seriously. Just just get me out of here, you see? D don't make me beg. Come on. What? Come on. You know how ridiculous this sound right now. I'm laughing in here. Ha! Ha! You honestly think I'm gonna curse you when I get out? Curse you? What even is a curse? I don't even spell curse. I don't know. Well, I did plan on doing something to you, but it, it's not so much a curse as it is uh, a favor, you know? Uh, you know, something you'd like? Like a really, really wonderful new ability that'll let you go to special places. Like, like, uh, the underworld, you know? Or like, a pleasure paradise. Doesn't it sound very nice? Doesn't it sound nice? Tell me it sounds nice. Oh, come on, pal. Please, just find that key. Open the chest. Okay? I know it's here somewhere. I just can't go look for it myself, because, you know. I'm here. So, pretty, pretty please. Heart emoji. Seems pretty thin. Seems pretty fun. Oh, thank goodness. So, you're going to let me out? Oh, happy day. Happy day indeed. Yeah, you're just going to put the key right in the keyhole. That's all you have to do. Key in the keyhole. Wee hee! Fools! 
Here we come. <laughs> what were you expecting? Did you think a lovely lady would pop out or something? <laughs> now I'm going to hit you with the king of curses. The cursiest curse ever. <laughs> Fear my terrible power. You will know the pain of having your body rolled up, coiled from the inside out. Be cursed. Cursed, I say. <laughs> And now you're cursed, loser! Savor your suffering! And when this curse strikes you, you won't even be able to walk! That's how awful it is, don't you hear? <laughs> your suffering abuses me, and so I laugh at you! <laughs> now show me your cursed plight so I can laugh all the more! Just press and hold the R button and rotate the joystick repeatedly! Just like that, you dummy! Idiot! <laughs> Your pathetic misery thrills me to the core! <laughs> you must roll around like a silly cardboard tube! Oh, how you'll be laughed at! <laughs> now, do you understand the depth of your own agony? I, I don't think I get it. You blistering nincompoop! Press it on the R button and rotate the joystick! You did it right the first time! Why would you have to do it again? You're pathetic! It thrills me! <laughs> you must roll around, it's great! I, I think I got it, really. He <laughs> pressed the B button to return to normal and do not forget, Mush Brain, you absolute buffoon. <laughs> I leave you to suffer, fools. <laughs> Do -la -la. Well, they seem kind of excited. Hmm. Yo, watch as I roll this blunt. <laughs> there he goes. Nice. All right. Oh! Hello. Oh, I actually <laughs> forget it doesn't actually automatically answer. <laughs> like some of the more story-driven ones do. That's funny. Uh, uh, uh. Hello. Actually, I guess I'm technically just looking at my email, so this is fine. Hmm. Report today. Hmm. This is a news thing. Excuse me. RDM issue 3, road port today, known today. The Re Access Express ran late for the first time in 10 years today as a suspicious incident deactivated station security measures. Area youth and huge train enthusiast Lackey, age 18, was found taking pictures in an employee-only area near the Express and was again gang-tackled by local Samaritans. I understand how much people are into trains, but we've got a safety and security measures to uphold, blustered the train engineer. The youth was released with just a warning this time. Shop reporter, go! This week we highlight Glitzville's sales stall. Though they've never attracted as many customers as the nearby hot dog stand, the proprietor is certain that any day now, people will fa in fact notice that his shop exists. Early on in our interview, the owner of the nearby hot dog stand courted our reporter and had this to say, who needs, who needs sell stall? My hot dog gives you all the things you want. Only 10 coins now. A minor scuffle broke out shortly thereafter, but we were happy to report that no one was seriously injured. Apparently everyone in Glitzville knows how to roll with a punch. Cooking for rookies. Hey there, rookies. Flex your bandy straws because today's recipe is for fresh juice. Blend honey syrup until you reach a nice frothy texture and enjoy. Try one in your morning to start your day off right. Editor's note. We're just getting started, people. Wait until you see the glorious next issue published by the Rogueport Restoration Committee. God, I love the lo local news. It really keeps my days bright and my twilights also kind of bright in its own special way, you know? Somebody's got to liven up the town out here. Oh, hi there. Oh, 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 style? Teehee. Now roll me. That was cool. Oh, wait, star piece. Nice. I'll take that. And, hmm. Little pig, little pig. Let me in. Not by the hair on my chitty chin chin. And then he huffed. And he puffed. And he blew the house down. I'm familiar with nursery rhymes. It's the only reason I know how to do that. Nice. Mario is not a shadow. Nice. Nice. I feel like that'd be weird. Maybe it wouldn't be. I don't really know. Into the forest. A gloomy doomy forest. Hi there. Hey there. Hey, what's up? No, I don't I don't want to hold on to you like that. No thanks. Where's the babuchi? Give me a babuchi. I wanna be what's my ability? That one. That's the one. Come here, you. I whack you in the face. Whacking it. Need to find one of the gold ones. Oh, it's the gold one. Nice. 
Oh, what is it? Oh, a courage shell. Hey, I was looking for some of those, but I gotta release an item then. Damn it. Ah. Uh... Drops and shoots enemies? Cruel. Cool. Cruel. Also cruel. All right, I wanna get sure I get this guy. The Amazy Daisy. Let's just try this. If I can defeat, I think if I can defeat it before it runs away, we'll be good. And I don't remember whether it has to be one hit or not. But that worked. You're gone. Oh, that was the only ability I- Oh, no! I don't think that worked very well. I forgot, it takes up the turn. Ah, no. Oh, you're still here! Oh my god. Wait, why would you heal you? Oh. Oh my god, I'm alive! Oh, dude! <laughs> Oh my god, I did not know that thing hit so hard! Holy crap! Wow! That was insane! <laughs> Attack by first stomp. I need to get this guy- I, I gotta get this guy out of here. Can I power smash you? I feel like that's the only thing that I'm capable of doing. Oh my god. Alright, I don't know if that's gonna work or not. That was a hefty hit. Oh, water. Cool. Uh... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I gotta kill you. Uh, I don't want to kill Mario. That would be the last thing I get, so. If that thing attacks again, I'm out of here. Unless it runs away. I guess then I survive, but like, really? Wow, that's incredible. All right, I guess I'll, I'll gulp you. I'll try to see if this is enough to kill you. No, it certainly was not. No, don't do it! No, it totally killed me in one shot! That's insane! Wow, that is incredible. Definitely was not expecting that to happen. I didn't realize those guys were so powerful. Wow. Awesome. I got showed up by a flower. Loading. All right, let's get back to it. I've definitely saved recently. Relatively. I might need to go get my... Do I still have my Rolly Curse? Do I still have my Rolly Curse? Oh, I don't have the Rolly Curse. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, well, I have the key. Do I have the shop key? Actually, do I have the shop key? I might need to go get that again. Oh, I need to go get the shop key again. All right, all right. Back to it. This time, a double time. And then save afterwards, because evidently those things lurk in the, in the forest. Wild. All right, come along now. Just waddling around. Actually, I need to... How much is... Oh, no. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't, I don't desire this. This is something I doth not desire. So I'll run. So I run. Get out of here. Let my codes behind me. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Run. <laughs> Just run, Mario. Run, you silly monster. I mean, you're not a monster. You're not a monster. You're a human. A plumber, even. There we go. Now we can head back. Do that thing. Go this way. Go that way. I guess there wasn't a save point in the forest. That's the... That was the problem there. No. Oh my god. Oh. Everybody just wants my attention. I have to be fully ready for the fight, you know? But I kill all these guys. Do I have multi-bounce? I do have multi-bounce. And I can knock them off the ground if I'm just, just right. Okay. Then I can do that. And then, if I swap out for... Is that just Fire Flower? Then? I'll just do it. Because I kind of want that badge if I can get it. Close enough. Nice. Good job. Powering up. All powering up. Nice. Nice job. I can just, like, multi-bounce, I guess, I guess, right? I can super hammer and then gulp. There we go. That's easy. And then just gulp him. It's interesting. I guess the, the gulp power deals a lot more damage. It's just Yoshi, Babuche, just, just hits him that much harder. That kid really knows how to regurgitate. Nice. All right. Get oh, I forgot there was another one. I was really hoping I didn't have to do that. And I don't have my Quake Hammer either. The only thing that I can do is... I could swap for Koops! Excuse me. And give him his power. Nope, get out of here. Nope, I don't want it. Out of here. Leave. Leave, why don't you? Get out of here. Power shell. 
Get him. All three. Excellent. Get that thing you do? I don't like that. Don't do it. Hyperactive Goomba Powers activates. I don't have enough star points for the other one. Oh, shoot. Wow. I held the wrong button. And I guess, like, eh, the hammer's good. Well, pow. Stylish, indeed. Stylish, my man. All right, you're doing that. And then here comes the paint. Nice. All right, well, that was painful. Oh, and you're down on the... Mm. Well, I can kill you first. Because you pack the heaviest hit. There we go. And then the other guy can just, like... That's fine. Coops is fine. He doesn't mind. This guy doesn't mind. He likes being stabbed in the most vulnerable part of his body. Oh! Ooh, what do we get? Are those, those coins better not disappear. No! Why are they disappearing? I can't believe you! The effect of the curse increased your coins. Oh, it was the other coins. Ah, oh, that stinks. Well, shucks, dude. That's all right. There will be more coins. There will absolutely always- There will always be more coins. This is a Mario game, after all. There's always more coins. All right. Back to the storeroom. Get my rolling paper ability. Rolling papers, you know. Hilarious. Jam and jelly, boost sheet, nice. Life stream, excellent. One of one of those. Useful for out in the field. This is the part where Cameron rearranged his badges and put on, what was it? It was um, Last Stand uh, and Happy Heart. Yeah, those are the two. Those are the ones. And then I open this chest, and then I give him the key, and then he gets all happy-dappy and stuff. And yeah, it's fun stuff. Yeah, go ahead. I don't want to listen to you again, my guy. Ridiculous, I say. Come on. Give me the key. Give me the key. Come on, I want a key. Pretty please. Heart emoji. You fool. Oh, you fool. You absolute fool. I can't believe you fell for it. You fool, he says ironically. Ha 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 ha. Oh, it's so evil I am. Super duper evil curse curse. Wee hee 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 hee. Now you will roll like the blunts I smoke for myself. Haha, ha. you know, it gets pretty dank in these black chests. Yes, it do. Now you can rolly 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 with indifference. That's fun. Get it? It's fun. Suffer, fool. Wow, what a nice person. What a nice face. What a nice, ominous face. Anyways, time to go back to the save point, and I am injured, so I guess, guess I'll stop at the, stop at the place where I can sleep it off and get a peach, right? Did I have the peach already? I don't know if I had the peach already. I definitely have the peach. I got the peach peach already. Yeah. Oh. Well, if I eat this mushroom, I'll have room for one more here on Babuche. Let's see, if I if I run into those guys again, who I want to have on me is somebody that can hit the whole area, like Coops can. So that I can get to that dude on the end. But I, maybe I want to have Goombella on me so I know. Actually, I can just look up how much help those things have. Amazy Daisies have Amazy Daisy Paper Mario has has hit points. Paper Mario 20. Only 20? Only 20? Really? No, oh, okay. I just gotta keep track of that a little bit better. I thought I had more than that. Oh, maybe I should have saved after I took a rest. Eh, that's probably a better idea. I want another peach, please. Yes. Spending all my money on the finest, juiciest peaches. Millions of peaches. Very good peaches. But I've got cherries, so I'm happy with that. Have a nice twilight. Thanks, dude. Peachy, peachy. Say you are peachy, peachy, peachy. I am still peachy, peachy, peachy. I've gotten a peachy, peachy, peachy. It's peach. 
It's peach time, dude. <laughs> Turn on my gaming lights. Oh, yeah, a little bit brighter. It got like dark and stuff outside. So, uh, it's gotten a little bit, and a little bit darker in here. There we go. Now I can see the bright world around us. All right, here we go. Oh, this is the email. We read that already. It's the town hollerer. Oink, oink. Oink, oinkums, oink, oink. Dude, what if Cusco is turned into a pig in the Emperor's New Groove? Like, what if? Not that that has anything to do with, like, uh, what was it? Kronk speaking the squirrel language? But, like, what if there was a pig language? Oink. Oink. Oink, oinkums, oinks, oinks. Flurry? Alas? Blow. Blow, 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 blow your house down. Yeah, that was, that was what it was. And now, I want to have Coops with me, because I can do enough damage across the field. That thing did a lot of damage. Actually, maybe it'd be better to have Babuche on me, because that mini egg attack can shrink enemies. Because I didn't realize that that Daisy could do that much damage. And it's I don't know if it's likely for it to pop up again, but if it does, I want to be prepared. Come here, you. There we go. Maybe? Ready for it? Nah, it's a completely different set of enemies. Alright. I'm still prepared for it, nonetheless. At least I'm gonna try to be. Let's see. If I jump on you, you'll be on the ground. There we go. Now you're on the ground. Gulp you. Because I can just like... There we go. And we'll do a little bit of damage. You're out of here. You do your thing where you get all powered up and stuff, which is fine. And you'll also do that thing where you think you're powering up. But it's, it's like, a little bit... It, it's also fine, but it's, like, less fine. Because I'm just going to hit you with a hammer. And then I'm going to hit you with my ground pound, because I'm allowed to. I can. Pressing the R button repeatedly. It's an epic ground pound, because he grounds the pounds multiple times. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, flat. Oh, I like that. That's convenient. A rock. But I'd have to sacrifice something. I have the life stream, which is good. Uh, I can just take out one of the super shrooms. I feel like I'd rather be more damage than healing, because I have heal abilities. The sweet tree comes in pretty handily. Coins, coins, coins. Nice. Such a subtle coin sound effect in this game. I like it. I'm interested to see in that, new, what is it, new Super Mario Bros. Wonder? Not new, specifically not new. But Super Mario Bros. Wonder, uh, what the significance of those, like, purple coins that I saw in the trailer were. Oh, no. That's okay. Nah, I don't have a daisy. Um... Jump on one minute me until you miss an action command. I don't want to do that. I wish I had coops out here. Well, if I just jump on this guy, then they're all on the ground. Then I get coops out. Because then... Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep coops out for these guys. Oh, you're scaring away. Oh, right, because if I kill you, I just get flower points. That's it. There's no benefit to you staying around. Ouch. Nice. I will... Allow Coops to take care of you first. Nice. And then we'll just take care of the other guy with hammer time. Or a piece of hammer time. Hammer moment. Not just like not like hammer time, like we're trying to dwell on this a little bit, but like hammer moment. It's a moment. It's a moment of hammerage. That's what's happening. Easy. And we do it stylistically too. It's very nice. Thank you for that. I'll take your flowers. Not in that way. Oh, I, I didn't... Uh, mm, babuche. I don't know. Do I want the babuche? I'm not... Uh, we'll see. If I need him, I can get him. Ah, no. You do have lightning, though. Because that's a lot of damage. 
I'd like to see a lot of damage. That's like a cle that's a that's a hyper cleft. That's not very cool. Well, just so you don't lightning bang me. Oh, I probably could have. I could have super hammered. I totally could have super hammered. I would have knocked him into the other one. Uh. I don't know. Does it even work? Nah, I didn't think it was gonna work. Nice. Oh, that's actually not that much damage. Ah, oh, Mario. Mario. Not about that life. I guess if we power shell it. Can I just... I can only toss to the one guy. Let's power shell it. And still doesn't do much. But at least we're stylish about... See, that's not a good thing. I don't like that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dearest, dearest me. Oh, goodness gracious. Ah! That's not good. Okay, we, we, we okay. It's not good. Oh, peril! Ah, uh, okay. Well, I could just use the... I mean, I have the life things, but, like, I really want to do that. Are you winning? I believe I'm winning in some way. It's all about what's on the inside. And on the inside, I'm still merely flesh and bone. Which I guess is winning. I don't know why I did that. I don't think that's good. Mario's gonna be asleep for four turns. Why did I even try that? I should escape. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh! No, no. Oh. I was not, in fact, winning. Oh, wait. I have the shrew. Does that wake me up, actually? I needed to give that to an old man. Darn. Um, well... You hit me pretty bad the first time. I don't assume you can do it again, because I can't go to sleep anymore, so I guess it's fine. See? Ooh, excuse me, microphone. It's fine. Now they're all just eviscerated corpses. Oh, a lightning bolt. I used my items, so that is necessary. Hello? Hello? Hammer throw, like the hammer bros. We are Mario, after all. Save point, maybe? No? That's fine, I'll just... Go into this tree. Oh, I bet I gotta roll into it. Roll it. Roll it. There we go. Uh, perhaps not. <laughs> maybe I just gotta hit the tree with my hammer. Or, or maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe, just maybe. I need my friend to help me. Of course! Blow away the trees! It's only logical. Can I jump on top? No, I cannot. Alright, well... That's chill. I'll take it. Down into the deeper parts of the world. Oh wait, there's enemies out here. Oh, it's not fun. I know what's coming. I'm gonna grab Babuche. I think we have a boss fight coming on. I think we got a boss fight. Let's see, how are we doing party-wise? Mario is... I could sweet treat it. You're just fine. Just because we can. Because we love each other. Super mushroom. There we go. Feels good. Feels good, man. Feels real good. Hello. Oh, okay. Are we playing this game again? Are we playing, are we playing Blow the Rock Down again? Is, is that the game we're playing? We are not, in fact, playing Blow the Rock Down. I'm shocked. Are we playing, are we playing Break the Rock in the Road game? Nope, not playing Break the Rock and the Load game. How about blowing away the... There we go. Yeah. yeah. That's the game we're playing. That's. I knew there was a game. There had to be a game. Oh! Isn't that lovely? From background to foreground. Oh, okay. Alrighty then. Rock in foreground. Move rock in background, and vice versa. This is what Einstein called spooky action at a distance. This is quantum entanglement! It's quantum entanglement. Have you heard me? Have you heard the word of science? It's quantum entanglement. That's what it is. I'm gonna whack you with my hammer. And I'm afraid. I'm afraid! I'm afraid! But, I'm not unwilling to act. Oh, not this one. I was specifically prepared for this. I... What's our strategy here? 
That thing can kill me in one shot. I think we need to shrink it. That's what we have to do. We have to shrink upon it. Make sure it gets real small. Or, or actually, actually, because these all, they, they all do enemy stuff. Pow block? Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, give me. Unless I don't have items. Babuche can throw mini eggs now, but I can't guarantee it's going to hit. Okay, well, if it doesn't hit it, I'll just hit it with Mario's dude thing. There we go. Get him. Get him. Ah! Okay, well, that's okay. There's still another chance, and I might miss it now. Ooh. Shrink bounce? Maybe, maybe? Oh, thank goodness. But it didn't work! No way. What are you gonna do? Something something wonderful? Something tasty? Something great? The effect of the curse decreased the damage. That's wonderful. That's really good. That's really, really good. That's not very good. This is... Oh, okay, you're gone. That's fine. Oh. The last time I fought one of those things, it attacked me twice. What the heck? That's okay. At least we got this now. It's all right. And now I can do gulp attack. Gulp attack's great. Gulp attack works so well. And if we still had this silly flower thing here... Oh, I missed him. Nice. You missed me too. I don't think I need to try for this one. All right? Ah, uh, maybe a little bit. You can... I feel like we might level up this round. So, I'm just gonna... Hunker down. That's what we'll do. There we go. That's fine. Back to full. Bop. Damn. Nice. Almost there. For some reason, that ending scene was not as quick as it usually is. I was spooked. Well, somebody's getting me flower point. Uh, mm. Ah. It's the creepest of steepists. Yes, they, they do kind of be creepy. Yeah, this is Creepy Steeple, that nasty monster's place. The place wigs me out. Look, Gonzalez, let's just get that crystal star and get out of here fast. All right. I'm about to level up. I don't need your charity. Even though you're taking money from me, it's not really charity, but you know, I get it. Into the hole. If there's anything I know about a game, always go in the hole. Always go in the hole. Always go in the... Hey, dude, dude. You're just gonna assault me right as soon as I get to the hole? Not very cool. We're all friends in the hole, right? This didn't do anything. But if I tickle you like this, then it hurts just a little bit more. Nice. <laughs> I love how this guy bounces so much. That's great. Level up. That's great. I told you you would level up. I had so much faith in ourselves. Um, well, things are getting harder out here. Evidently, if the Amazing Daisies can do 25 damage, that either may- Actually, you know what? I was gonna say, increase the HP, or we increase the BP and just equip the badge. Nice! It's a badge run! Who needs more special abilities? Although I could definitely use more special abilities. But now... Nope, that's not the one. Here over here. Now we can see... C plus. Now it's just fine. We got the help that we couldn't gotten other could have gotten otherwise. Can I break this? Rock? Nah, no rock. Can I can I blow it? Third verse, same as the second and third? Nope. Alrighty then. Come back out here, Babucha. What lies beneath? The steel Whoa, hi there! I, I remember. I remember. We, we get Vivian first. And then we do that because we can hide in the ground. Right? Maybe? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Bloop. Well, hello, creepy steeple. I hope you don't mind me rolling in here. <laughs> oh, dear. 
Hashtag cringe. Maybe. 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 Any hidden nines around here? Nope. I'm gonna enter the steeple. Open the door and see all the people. Wow, it's beautiful in here. Wow, is that God on the on the mirror? The window? Ah, beautiful. God looks terrifying. <laughs> Just as I imagined her! Oh wait, no, 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 I didn't want to do that. I want to, I want to rolly, rolly, rolly. Rolly, 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 rolly. All right. All right. All right. All right. And, and? Just one, one more, one more. All right. That's the cookbook. Yes. Awesome. That is, that is honestly the only reason I came here. Because I want to cook and keep track of what I cook. So I think that's an important thing now, and I can just look at it, right? Oh no, I have to give it back to... Alright, that's what I gotta do first. I can track the recipes and stuff. It's like my Recipe Keeper app. With the thousand-something recipes of cocktails in it. it. Makes it pretty easy to get around. To keep track of things. Hello in here! Um, my friends have all been taken away. It's so lonely. Aww. I'd feel the same way if my friends were gone. My friends are all gone! I'm so very lonely! You've made your point. Start time! Bap! Uh-oh! Uh, who could have seen that coming? Certainly not I. <gasps> Low powers activate! I could not have seen that coming. Oh my god. Is this, is this like the other area, right? Is that the... Oh, spooky! Luigi's Mansion vibes. What's behind the wall? Is it perhaps another... Complete another darkness! Nope, not just complete another darkness. Something even better. Yeah! Flower saver. More badges. This is why we need more badges. Because the badges give good things. Love that. Boom, 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 boom. Hello, interesting box. What's in here? Oh, there it goes. Nice. Okay, it's quiz time, Interloper. Just now, when the box opened, how many of us booze came out? There were at least a hundred of you. Too bad, foolish mortal. The correct answer was two hundred. Ah, but we'll send you home with this part of gift. You see a sucker? Okay. I am unenthused. It's locked from the inside. Well, alrighty then. Well, you guys certainly aren't lonely anymore. Right? There's at least 200 of your fellow cronies. Makes- I feel like it would make sense. This is the star in the back of Princess's Castle in, uh, Super Mario 64. El Israel! Hey, dude. Look at me ride this guy. Check him out. Isn't he cool? Check it out. <laughs> Check it me ride this guy? Ch Check it out when I ride it around you? You wanna like... Doesn't this make you feel better? How could this not make you feel better? I don't understand. <laughs> Are you going to be mean to me? <laughs> yes. Then go away, me! Are you gonna be mean to me? No. Do you promise? Come on out, guys! Why, hello, everyone. Well, that ain't working. Ooh. Can I go inside? I want to go inside the door. Here we go. Nice. Well, at least I can go through these doors now. Oh, hi. Hey, what's up? Get out of here. You dumb, dumb. Dumb, dumb, bat, bat. Don't you know your powers can't match the power pack taste of a hammer in your face? I unleash the... Power of the sun. I uh, can't do anybody else, so this is where you get. Nice. Killer. Uh, hmm. I can egg you from down here, but that doesn't really seem. Doesn't seem advantageous, so we'll just wait. Oh. I thought you were going to swoop in. Did not work that way. Oh! Oh, if I had hammer throw, I would be able to accomplish this. I would. If I had hammer throw. But I doth not have the hammer throw. 
All right, well, while we're here, might as well throw some eggs at you. Nice. Whack, 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 whack. Now you're tiny and on the ceiling. Well, not anymore, I guess. Only a piece of that is remains to be true. Yeah. Nice. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da. Well, that's good. That's fun. If I had hammer throw, but I don't really need hammer throw. I can just walk past you guys. What? I don't really want it. I don't really. Yeah, I just don't really want to do it. Nice. Vibration. What it could have possibly have done? Staircase. Now, come on. It's not polite to stare. Case. If in case that is your name. Oh, I understand. That's why I hit the button. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Hey, what's up? Oh, run. Run, 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 run. You got it. Oh, that's, that's okay. There is a lock on that door. Alrighty then. Not at all what I anticipated. Fall down. Fall down and uh, go over. We'll go over here. Oh, 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 I'm so scared. I'm not. Hello. I'm more scared of that guy than I am of anything else. Can I go out in the garden? I want to go in the garden. Must can I go in the garden? I want to play in the garden. I'm not allowed to play in the garden, unfortunately. Unless there's a way to get out there, I suppose, into the garden. But I don't feel like playing around like that. Mm. Indeed. What does this side have to offer? Oh, this is just this just falls out. Into, nah, I'm, I'm not falling for that. I'm not falling for that one because I know what needs to be done. Nice. There we go. Now we'll see what lies behind door number one. Yep, use my powers of flight. Powers of flight, powers of flight, powers of flight. No! Oh my goodness, that's unfortunate. That's okay, I could just use Koop, I guess. Oh, I can't go that way. Right, there we go. There we go. I gotta get, get, gotta get the key. Gotta get that. Gotta get that. <laughs> Running is fun. Then I get up there, I dash across with my buddy Babuche, and then we pull out Koop so he can get the key. If that is indeed how that's supposed to be working. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. 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 Babuche? Or Koops? Your time is now. Nice. And then, if I just take Babuche and I, and I go back yonder... Oh, no, 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 just kidding. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Get away from me! I'll just go into this door instead. I'll just go around the other ways. And then dash along this way. Oh, you're dead, so we're fine. Oh, hello. Goodbye. I just hit this twice. Nope. Yep. Almost. There we go. Hit that red switch twice and see what happens. There we go. Observe with your eyes. And now, we'll go up to the door. And hopefully unlock the door. Ho hopefully unlock it. We'll see. You'd think that ghosts in large amount like that would scare me, but no. Not unless it's a jump scare, in which case I might be quite terrified. <laughs> um, is this necessary? I don't know if this is quite necessary. Maybe? 17, 12, you're doing fine. Eh, why not? Why not? It's here, so we might as well use it. Hidden blocks? Hidden blocks anywhere? Hidden blocks? Anything? Anywhere? Hidden blocks? Maybe? I don't know. Just a thing that scars me from previous games. Hidden blocks, hidden blocks, hidden blocks, block blocks, hidden blocks, hidden blocks, hidden blocks, block blocks, hidden blocks, hidden blocks, hidden blocks, block blocks, hidden blocks, hidden blocks, maybe. Probably not. Seems that there is none right now. But maybe right here? No. Alright. Hello! Hey, hang on there, Slick. 
What are you doing interrupting my me time? Whoa, come on. This guy's the monster the mayor was freaking out about. Who are you calling a monster? What's your problem? Why do you need to pick a fight? I'm busy thinking of new pranks and stuff. That's not easy either. Now get lost. Of course, you guys won't. No way your ninnies go away. Quietly, am I right? <laughs> well, all right then, Slick. Fine, yes. I turned the villagers into pigs. Big deal. Big deal? You stink, mister. Why'd you want to turn them into pigs anyway? What, you got a fetish or something? <laughs> well... Answer the question! You know, they're all so depressing and boring and dim-witted at the same time, so instead of wallowing in them, I figured they might as well wallow in mud! <laughs> and now they're pigs, get it? Isn't that just so perfect? It's like I or something. <laughs> so, <laughs> what? You got a problem with that? I guess you do. So let's play, Slick! Let's play a game! This is my favorite boss. At least in the first two Super Mario. In this Mario game, this is my favorite boss of all time. I love Dupless. Uh, but we don't know his name yet, so I guess um, retrograded spoiler alert. It also, like, the music here is just awesome. It's great. Very fun. <laughs> I guess I'll get down and dirty if you're gonna play like that, slick. Ah ha ha! Yeah. <laughs> Great. It's time to regroup here, so you think you're a couple of heavies, hmm? Well then, my dearest friends, if you thought change it, changing folks into pigs was impressive, then you're gonna love this. <laughs> I've got something very special for you here. <laughs> ha! Ha! Yeah! Ha! Ha! Whack. Scanning. <laughs> How do you like them apples? Now that's magic, people. Now you're fighting yourself. <laughs> I'm a dang genius. Nice. Ain't nothing in, like Mario fighting his doppelganger. Dupless doppelganger. Double, duple. You know, it's, it's fun. Nice. Attack power dropped. I'm gonna ground pound you again. The only, the only special things I need here is that shrinky stomp just so you don't hurt me as much. Excellent move. Nice. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Hammer time? Hammer time. Feels very power smashing. Get him out of here. And then stylishly. So, uh, I guess I didn't do it very stylishly. <laughs> Hold on. What? what? Huh? <laughs> you beat me? Or did you? We didn't. We didn't, in fact... Beat Doopy Whoopy. Oh, bye. <laughs> and look at that. We won. It's done. But look at Mario's eyes. Isn't that spooky? <laughs> In this mode, may I <laughs> Mario's eyes are like. <sighs> it's terrifying in the best of ways. Mario defeated the scourge of Creepy Steeple and found the fourth crystal star. Or did he? The people of Twilight Town have surely recovered from their awful curse by now. At this rate, Mario's quest to collect all seven crystal stars will be done in absolutely no time. With his back to Creepy Steeple, Mario sets out towards his bright future. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. JK lulls Rafflecopter, I guess. That's it? That's all you get? Man, this guy was a whip. That wasn't even fair. Well, who cares, right? I got the crystal star, so let's get out of here. Whoo. Yahoo. Get up, you. It's me. It's Mario. 
in disguise. Still have all of my abilities and stuff. That's cool. I don't play too much around as Shadow Mario. Anything hidden behind tub number one? Wow, this is a solid brick in there. That's fun. <laughs> Can't even take a bath in this place? <laughs> Ridiculous. But the moon looked pretty good now, don't it? All right. Can I just like jump down? Nope, it's not gonna let me jump down the stairs. That's unfortunate. Does anybody care that I'm here anymore? I guess they do care that I am I'm here. They do. <laughs> Hello. Hello, goodbye. I'm gonna go to the forest. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go take a walk. I feel a little weird, you know, so. Aha, the triplets. I don't know if they're, they're definitely related. <laughs> yes, it's time we'll take that Mario and get his map. With this super bomb arm here, there's no way we can fail. No, not likely. <laughs> Vivian, hand me that glorious super bomb. Huh? Vivian, don't you dare. Does that, huh, mean what I think it is? Uh, I, I never had it. You were holding it just two seconds ago. You said it was too important to trust me with. Oh, you terrible liar! Stop making up stories to cover for yourself. If I don't have it, then obviously you must have it, and obviously you lost it. Or are you trying to imply that I lost it, you little lollygagging worm? I, uh, no, of course not, Baldum. Well, we can't do much without it now, can we? Oh, you're such an idiot! Very well. I'm sure you must have dropped it around here somewhere. So why don't you look for it while Marilyn and I go take a well-earned siesta? And if you don't find it, well, you know what'll happen, don't you? Uh, I get punished. That's right, you little twit, so get cracking! Come on, Marilyn, let's leave this useless little fool to her chiller. <laughs> Oh, there they go, into the ground. Oh, poor Vivian. Oh, look at that. Totally worked. Nice. Oh, woe is me to have to roll my way through the forest. Oh, well. We'll make it home eventually. We'll make it back soon. Don't you worry, Mario. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I'm not a big, yeah, I'm not a big fan of this, but uh, lucky for you, I've got the power of the stars on my hand. Ah. Oh shucks! Maybe I kill some of them. Was fair enough. I'll take it. You could run away. You could run away. Oh, sweet, nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually kind of glad that you didn't run away because we got the we got the hang around like this, like fun, fancy. You know, we're friends, right? Be gone. Oh, be gone, you silly flower. At the very least, at least we're still getting experience, and that's a good thing. And coins, and coins, and well, I, I for, no, I missed them all because I forgot. I'm still a, I'm still a piece of rolling paper. Oh, <laughs> I did totally did that. My mistake. How do I get out of this? That's the button I click. <laughs> Whoops. Alrighty then. Oh no, that's fine. Back in the hole with ye, and onward and outward toward the forest walls. Hello! Got you. Oop. That was convenient. Oh, not about that life. Nope. Definitely not about that life. I am, however, about that life. 
Mm -hmm. Nice. What lies beyond the forest walls? I know it's Vivian. I'm aware it's Vivian. Very sure it's Vivian. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, hello, everybody. Oh, they only have... I guess they have 7 HP. That's convenient. If I just power hammer them. That really doesn't do super, super well, to be honest. It's okay. Oh, that's not... No. Nope, that didn't work either. That's not fun. I'm asleep. Is this where it ends? This might be where it ends. Oh my god. Just, just run away. Just let me survive. Just run away. Yeah, just run away. It's easy. It's easy to run away. No, why are you doing this? I woke up at least. That's great. <laughs> okay then. Well, I guess I'll take what I can from the rest of this fight. Oh no. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Out of here you go. Get it out of here. Oh, all right. Well, well, at least I still have my dignity. Oh, hi there. Well, dignity's gone. That worked out rather well. That's all right. That's all right. Uh, nah, nah. That's fine. Oh, that's truly unfortunate. The most inopportune outcome there could possibly be. What are you doing? Mm, that's fine. That was also okay. Mm. Yeah, no, I'm still on the run. Not into it. There we go. Sorry, sorry. Don't have all of myself. I, I just like, I'm missing a piece of myself. I'm not all there. Know what I'm saying? So I can't fight you. Or rather, I just don't want to. I'm not up for fighting you. I don't want to fight today. I just want to be friends. That's all I want. Just to be friends. I just want to roll. All I want to do is go on a roll. That's all Mario really wants to do is just go on a roll. I don't want to do this fighting thing. I don't want to do the whole saving the world thing. It's going to go roll, dude. It's going to roll. That's all Mario wants. Just wants to do some rollies. Right? Get out of here. Let Mario roll. Now that he feels safe, it's rolly time. Go get him, rollies. Get him. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for ya! Boop! Popped right out of the background. Hey, you're Mario, right? What a great name! <laughs> and I really dig this body, too. Man, can I jump now? And hey, you're so popular around here. I got, I get mobbed. I just love being you! <laughs> it's so cool. I don't think I ever want to stop. <laughs> so you figured it out by now, right, Slick? Your body and name belong to me now. See, I've got the power to change my shape into anyone I want. It comes in handy. But to really be someone, I need to take their name and body too. Which means you turn into a shadow and can't use your name to freak slick. That's not enough either. I aim to erase you for good. I guess it'd be unsporting to ruin you without a challenge. I'll give you one chance. If you guess my real name, then I'll give you back your name and body. What do you say, Slick? This would be fun, right? Now guess! What's my name? Hit me with your best shot! I would. However... Oh, uh, hold up. Nope. Dupe. Liss. I know your name, but it's not gonna work. Is this name okay? Is it dupeless? I'm inclined to think it is. Wrong Mundo, little nobody. Who named their kid that? Prepare for doom, slick. <laughs> I don't even know you about running from the battle, you hear? No running. You can't escape. I think that I need to spell the name back. Now, I, you, you're missing the D. I know there's a piece of that that's missing. Like, you need to get a letter from the alphabet. Nah, don't do it. Don't do nothing. Nice, I guess. Rocks. No way, dude. 
beat me at my own game. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just let just let it end. Just let me jump on you. Nope. Don't don't work. Oh, what? <laughs> That's even funnier. Interesting. Does this just keep on going? I can't quite remember how long this fight goes on for. But we'll enjoy the performance nonetheless. Currently, all the sprayers in the uh, thing on the, on the stage are pointing at this guy. Rain down upon the audience. All the punies are gone, because I guess they hate water. Does this just keep happening? It's just a vibe check time. We can just play around and just hang. Oh, and I'm frozen. It's chill. It don't matter. This fight doesn't matter. It's just A button time until somebody gives up. I think this ends at some point. Maybe it doesn't? Perchance, perchance not? That must, must I just run? I use my star powers? I don't think this works either. Power lift. Increase my party's attack. That's not going to do anything. Let's do an Earth Tremor. Why the heck not? Close enough. And it does nothing! Hey, This fight is pointless! Everything is pointless! Actually, I can hang around here for a little bit and just, uh, just appeal. I'll just fill up my star points while I'm hanging around, you know? That's, that's all I need to do. Just, just fill up the star points, that's all. Oh, and then that shit happens. Why it always gots to be me? Flower point filling time. That's all we're doing. How's everyone's afternoon? I used to listen to this theme for like literally hours. Like I would be working on- I'm gonna turn the volume up for myself, honestly. Like this boss theme, what, like I specifically downloaded so I could just listen to it all the time. It's just- it's cool. There's something about like- I guess whatever synth that they're using for this part here, like the It's kind of trumpety. It's also kind of not kind of trumpety. It's very, it's very trumpety. I like the trumpet. Trumpet's fun. It also just feels super sinister. I'm like a fan of things that are just like sinister in nature. In, in a not so real way. You know. I'm not a fan of people who are actually sinister. However, like sinister things in like shows and media, like a minute stuff like that. It's like the whole like psychological horror. Somebody was, uh, I was talking to somebody about this the other day. It's like the psychological horror shows like humanize, they like humanize the enemy. They humanize the, the criminals. That was so close. So like that's one of the cool things that I like about like psychological horror shows, animes and whatnot. Nice. Yeah, get out of here. There we go. Bye bye. Run away. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, that's no fun. Bye-bye. I was just trying to get past you anyway. All I wanted to do was roll, dude. It didn't let me roll. Hi there. Now that Mario took care of that cursed monster, I don't have to guard the gate. But here I am doing it anyways. Just, you know, just to keep the weeders out, you know? Yeah, you look kind of weird. If I had to classify you, you'd be a bad guy. Thank you. But where my team at? Oh. Oh, okay. Scream. Scream. My husband's back! Isn't that wonderful? Right? And the store's back! Who too? Awesome. Oh. Wait. I was gone? Answer me. Oh, that's so funny! It was not- <laughs> I just got that! I don't think I've ever gotten this before! It wasn't her husband that was here in the shop, it was this dude! Oh, 
I, I, I don't know. I, I don't understand this is madness. No, 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 no. I just do not get it. I, I remember coming here by the pipe, uh, but it all gets fuzzy after that. And, and, and now I do not know where I am here. Uh, not that easy problem. This little uh, Phillies trace fetching. Huh? Elias trespassing. Huh? <laughs> it's not trespassing. She's my wife! I don't want her! I have to use a ninja punch to blast you out of here! Now speak! I do not lie. You can't! Oh, please. Oh, why were you... Say something. In a while, madam! How do you feel about this? Oh, this is awkward. I guess that pig wasn't my husband at all. This guy is younger and cuter than my husband, actually. <laughs> What a strapping fellow. Perhaps it's time I traded in for a new husband. Oh, I'm only fooling. Greetings. Welcome to this Twilight shop. What you, what you need? I, I'm, I'm alright. I'm alright. This dis this display here was was enough. Thank you. I, and I didn't even have to pay for it. It's top dollar. It's quality. Hello, y'all. Youngins. Young toadstoolin. Young toadstoolin. <laughs> What do I do? What do I do for me? I've got you, girl! I would like to save. Did I not save already? I just saved twice in a row. Incredible. Hello! Hello! It's a me! <laughs> I'm looking for something very important. If I don't find it, my sister is going to punish me again. But it's just not here. Okay. How about this? Or that? Hey! The Super Bubba Bomb! It's a freaking grenade! Here you go. Want the, want, want the thing? <laughs> what? You, you found it! Here's a grenade! <laughs> oh, thank you so much! Thank goodness! At least I won't get punished now. Hmm. Ah! Uh, oh no! It's... It's broken! It must have broken when my sister dropped it. What do I do? What do I do? I guess I was just meant to be punished for life. And let me fix it. You just pull the pin out like this and then... Ah! Oh, don't even bother trying. It's really busted. What I'll do now, huh? My sister should be back any minute now. I, I, but I do appreciate your offer. Thank you. And it disappeared. It's gone. Hey, wait, wait a second. W what's your name anyway? Won't you tell me? <laughs> What? I, I I can't hear you. Huh. Your name was stolen. I see. Well, uh, I guess that happens from time to time. I, uh, wait, no it doesn't. Your name was stolen? It's absolutely crazy. Hmm. What could possibly be the cause of this creepy caper that Mario's found himself in, a.k.a. no name? Gee whiz. You have way worse problems than I do, and you were worried about me the whole time. That's so kind. All right, that's it. I'm going to help you get back your name, and your body, and your friends. That's fine. D no, I, that, that's okay. Don't worry about my problems. I'm not sure I really want to stay with my sisters anymore anyways. And I feel like I need to repay your earlier kindness. It's the right thing to do. Mwah! So, <laughs> here we go. Hello, Vivian. Welcome. Vivian's abilities. A primer. Press Z to have Vivian pull Mario into the shadows where they can hide. Like this. Down. Over top of the things. Now they can't see us at all. Wander along. When hiding in the shadows, press Z to re-emerge. Nice. In battle, Vivian can set the enemies on fire with her Shade Fist. Or she and Mario can hide in the shadows to avoid damage with her Veil move. I love it. Let's get him, girl! I guess we need to find out that ghost's real name first. Hmm. That'll be a start. Now, how are we gonna get that kind of information? Oh, hey. I have sort of an idea. Birds pretend to be innocent with people around, but they're actually really well informed from my flying and eavesdropping. With my power, you can listen in on their conversations without them knowing. So, in addition to villagers, let's also try to get some info from the local birds. That's the least I can do for you with my powers. Thanks, Vivs. All right, let's get them. Birds? Ha! Oh, I see. So, 
was chatting with Rodbeak in Mushroom Town on the messenger the other day, and he said he'd just go uh, gone fiber optic at his house network. Can you believe that? Rad, I bet he's downloading 100 meg apps with no problems on those fat pipes. And he's probably surfing the weather feather club for crow's side at the speed of light now. Ah, it just blows me away all this information age hype you hear about. <laughs> and yet it's all games and feather loss sites that are driving the technology. Yeah, but think about the tech bus survivors can thrive. But th I think tech bus survivors can thrive if they get viable business models. <laughs> I love it. I love how the birds are just tech nerds. That's so funny. <laughs> I've been really depressed lately, thinking about the depletion of fossil fuels. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, we got to come up with a renewable energy source before that happens. Like wind or hydroelectric, I think solar energy probably has the greatest potential. They're all they're also environmentally conscious. 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 I've recently gotten into birds. Not necessarily bird watching in general, but I like to look at birds and listen to birds, so I'm a big fan of this. I'm a large hawk about this. I'm not a fan. Hello. Hello? Alas, this twilight world is too full of pain and contradiction, too full of broken dreams. Perhaps I was only given wings so that I could flee the terror of mundanity. 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 Mundane. Mundanity. How about you, lovely folks? Lovely flocks. <laughs> Get it? Hey, Mod, listen to this. Ronnie, my oldest, is taking his SATs this year. Oh, is little Ronnie that angel already? Well, bless my feathers, Flo. Incredible. Bless my feathers. Birds take the SATs. God. The flock grow up so fast. Oh, shit. Starpiece. Nice. Uh, what do you fine folks have to say? You fine feathers. So that Mario guy meeting with the mayor, he's actually the bad guy, right? And, and nobody even knows. Humans are so dumb, it makes me want to peck their noses. The only soul that knows the bad guy's name is Locke on this creepy steeple right here. Because, you know, if no one knows your name, you can, can, you, then you can use unstoppable magic. But if someone says your real name to you, then your magic will stop working. So, I wonder how all this is going to end up then. Aha! A piece of information. Did you hear that? If we search under a creepy steeple, maybe we can find out that guy's real name. Let's go to Creepy Steeple. Let's get him. Let's get him, Vivs. By the power of shadows and stuff. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. I would have done this back in town, but that wouldn't have looked very good. Now, would it? What bam Oh, yeah! So, this is the one who stole your name and body. Hmm, you look sort of familiar to me. All right, can, can the chatter, he's the deal. You get your chance, then I'll stomp you. If you guess my real name, then you get your body and name back. Fire away, no name. I would also like to guess, oh, right. It's a lowercase d. But there is no lowercase d. And on that day, the d's disappeared. I mean, the d's disappeared, no? You know what I'm saying? Wrong I'm a new little buddy. Name their kid that prepared for doom, Slick. <laughs> I don't even think about running from this battle. Just don't. Don't do it. I'm gonna run from the battle and nobody can stop me ever. Dun 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 dun. I'm getting out of here forever. Peace. Bye bye. Oh, that's no fun. No fun whatsoever. Must have been hiding there in ambush, waiting for you to show up. Well, forget him. Let's go get your name back. Let's get him! Wapow. Got you. <laughs> I got your nose! I mean, I didn't get your nose per se, but yeah, this is close enough, right? I don't really want to be here for this. I can multi-bounce. I, I can multi-bounce. Yeah, it's okay. I can shade fist. Press the buttons that appear on screen. 
Oh my god, that's not the Y button. I have an Xbox controller. That's confusing. All right. I'll just get him next time. Oh, I don't want this. I don't want it. Nope. Don't want it. Nice. Nice job, everyone. Very good. Onward. Nice. Oh, give me the coins. I will take I will take that currency happily. Nice. Eh, uh, you, mm, you uh, I guess you're kinda harder. That's fine. I can hit you with my hammer. Excuse me. What pow! Nice. Oh, this feels like it's gonna be a bother. I'll swap with you first. Because then we can shade fist, we can whack your thing in the face, and then great things happen. There we go, that's the Y button. Bye bye! And then I can just do this. Just normal hammer moves. Stylish, man. Stylish. Uh, hyper mode. Not, not a fan. Oh, hyper mode again. That's alright. You'll be out of here before you know it. Uh, the button's gonna be, uh, B. Nice. And I know this is not necessarily going to work super well, but we're going to take it anyway. Next turn, I'll use a sweet treat just to get myself a little, uh... Wow, it's powerful. Yeah, sweet treat sounds good right about now. I'll do a little treat. A little treat of the sweets. Sweets of the treats. Sweetest of treats. Oh, God, is. Of course. I get confused whether, like, what button you're supposed to click for these things, honestly. I could also have used some flower points, so that's kind of... Oh, goodness, right at the very end. It was interesting. I'm pretty sure I clicked on every single button on my controller for that, because I forgot, like, for a moment where the B button was, and it still worked. I like that. At some point in time, like, now that I'm going through this game, I also want to make sure... After I finish this game, at some point, I really want to play... There's a fan mod of it out there called Mario, Paper Mario Hero Mode. I think it's Paper Mario in the Thousand Year Door Hero Mode, made by a guy named Reed. It looks awesome, because this game is really cool, and it has a bunch of modifications to it and whatnot. That's really, really cool, you know? I've said really cool a lot. That's uh, because I, uh, I agree with it. I think it's very cool. Very cool indeed. Hello! Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I think it is the right time to bounce on our friends. Bounce, bounce. Nice. It's time to bounce on my friends and then hit them with my fist. Nice. Are you gonna run away? Be cool if you did. Peace. I'm glad you're out of here. Nice. And we'll head along through here. Fun stuff, fun things. Onward through the forest. Whoop pow! I ground pounded you. That's what it's all about. Oh, this makes me worried. This makes me worried. But actually, I can use Vivian to pull me into the ground. Which means I hopefully won't have to. Well, I mean, this thing, I don't know whether this thing is actually going to hit me or not, but let's, let's try this. What is the best thing to do? If I power bounce on this thing enough, could make it work. Oh my god. Well, it wasn't perfect. It was not perfect. But I'm gonna try to see if I can get this thing, like, fired up or whatever. Like, I might be able to survive. No, I did the wrong one. Ah. Alright, what are you gonna do? That's un not good. And you ran away. That's, that's fine then. So it's only, it's got 20 health, that thing. If I can find it again, all it takes is 20. All it takes is 20 hits. Not that it's going to stick around for 20 hits. Surely not. But they wanna, I think it just drops a bunch of coins. It might drop items too. I don't quite remember. Hmm. 
And it's hammer time! I'll just do power smash because it'll just get this thing out of here. As we continue on to the creepest of steeplists. Fun stuff indeed. Alright. Slowly but surely gaining more coin. This is this is good. This is, can pay back all of my game my uh the gambling addiction. Or the gambling mistake, rather. It wasn't really much of an addiction. Shouldn't joke about addiction like that. It was a mistake though. I accidentally buying all the Pianta coins. That was not what I had anticipated. Hello. Into the hole. In one hole and right out the other. That's just I didn't want to do that. Why did I do that? I don't know why I did that. Nope. Hmm. 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 It takes a wise individual to know when to step back. I'm not calling myself wise, I'm just calling myself an individual. Alright, let's see what's on the inside. I know it's at the bottom of the I know it's at the bottom of the well. I know that's where it is. Or at least I'm pretty sure it is. I have relative faith that that's exactly where it is. Uh, that was not the ability that I wanted to do. I mean, this still works. Maybe I get like a bunch of experience for it. It'll be, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Good. B is over there. Y is up on top. Great. Great. Nice. That actually wasn't too bad at all. I have to face all of them like this? Into the ground. Into the ground. That's unfortunate. Well... This is just where we are now, so that's just how it's gonna be. And whack. That was only one. Oof. I can still punch him though. Punching is good. Punching is not effective. Huh. Huh. What if I super hammer you into oblivion? Flick. Oh, it's still a only one. Alright, well. Maybe I can fire you up this time. Nope. Totally. That doesn't seem to work. The fire just don't work. That's alright. You're, you're fine. It's it's fine. I just hit you with my hammer a bunch. It's just like this. See, hammer. Hammer time. Hey, da, 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 da. That was pretty good. Definitely better than it was previously. Make progress. Every once in a while, we make progress. Down. Hello, everybody. Multi bounce. Nice. And there we go. Cool. Are you just in general immune to fire, or like, will this work? Oh, well, if we miss, I guess it doesn't really matter for anybody now, does it? Uh, hmm. All right. Well, apparently the jumps are gonna be what come in handy here. Ah, uh, but only when the jumps land. Only when the jumps land. Mm -hmm. Nice, very good. And somehow you're even harder now. Oh, because when I guard, there's a lot less damage. Alright. Is that death? Nope, not quite. Can I hit you with my fist now? That worked. That yeah, worked just fine that time. Health! Nope. Rip it in, ding, ding, ding. All right, what about now? That's the first time I've seen an X for that command. Cool. It knows that I'm learning. Please do the no. They're they're just all they're just all here. This is just the fight that we have now. This is just, this is just how it has to happen. Yeah, this is the only thing that helps. I'll take it. Oh, cool. Even better. Very nice. Uh, Eve, wow. You, you guys, the, the stage is so kind to us today. I cannot even believe it. Uh, I guess we'll bail. Bye-bye. You can't see me. You can't see me. Heels on the ground. Nice. Oh, I guess what's the- oh. 
I guess that doesn't, you know, it kind of kind of helps, but like also kind of doesn't help. I think I only need a regular hammer on this one. Because I only need one more damage. I guess they ha nope, I guess I was incorrect about that too. I could try shape fisting them. I don't think that works though. Nah. Not at all. Just mean little tinies. Garden my for garden for my life. Now, evidently, if I want to take care of something like this in the most efficient way possible, I'm going to have to use my star power. Because I think that'll at the very least flip it over and then showcase their weak spot. Or I could just, uh, I could probably equip different badges for these guys. If I can even make it to the menu. Which I don't think that was going to help. Nice. Yeah, I don't even think I have enough time to switch around my badges anyway, so it wouldn't really matter. <laughs> They're all gone now. Them buzzy beetles are... Whew! Out of here. And here's a... Here comes another one! Oh, goodness. There's even more of you. Wow. Pretty good. Well, evidently, the best way to take care of these guys is one bounce at a time. One turn at a time. That's, that's just, that works pretty well. Don't have to spend any flower points on it. Just have to avoid being beaten to a crisp. Maybe we'll level up by the time we're done with this. In the meantime, might as well enjoy it. Nice. I also just noticed they're making like the Koopa, like, boop sound effect. I like that. Fan of that. This is not boating very well. Oh, maybe. Oh, I see the shine sprite. Nah, that's all right. This is okay. We will get them next time. And one more. One more little beetle. One more little beetle to withstand up with the bigger beetles. The buzziest of beetles, right? You're a buzzy beetle? Yeah, that's what you're called. I hadn't been reading the screen the entire time. It's a buzzy beetle. Perhaps not the buzziest of beetles, but still a beetle that is buzzes nonetheless. All right, who's next? Oh my god, I clicked the wrong button. Oh my goodness gracious. That's okay, we'll take care of this just the same way that we took care of everything else, right? All right. There we go. Just like that. Then we shade fist it. Fist it with the shades. That's how it is. Then we'll do the same thing for the next guy, and then we'll whack the hammer on the guy afterwards. It's just how it works. Nice. Just don't use that shroomy thing. I mean, I guess you can use that shroomy thing if you really want to, but I'm not... I, like, I don't encourage you to do it. I actually encourage you to do quite the opposite. Also, I don't know why I was waiting to do the hammer on him. I don't have to wait for that. Hmm. Nice. Well, I guess we never get to see that mushroom. That's fine by me. I think, right? I think this is going to kill it. Maybe, maybe not. No, there needed more. Nice. And... Eh, it's fine. So that's not going to do anything, so I might as well just appeal. Appeal to the broader audience at large. And then you do that thing. Oh. Briefly recover. I got to do my... Power smash again. Because it does... What is it? Heals two every turn? That's... That's not fun. And you're not affected by the fire thing. Oh my god! I guess just... Appeal. Because then you're going to heal two HP, right? Uh, so I'm really only doing one damage at a time, right? <laughs> oh my god. You can't have that much health back left in you. Like, you can't be. Yeah, that's all there was. I don't have to worry too much about it. That could have been even more annoying than it actually was. Alright, well... Please don't walk out of the room. Not with all this stuff laying around. Tornado Jump executes superbly to damage all midair enemies. Nice. Now all we gotta do is do this, and then into the ground. 
as it moves on back. Sweet. It's the well, the bottom of the well. Hi, everybody. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. I love that. I don't know what video that's supposed to be. I don't know like where that sound is from, but I've seen so many videos of it. I just like the way that the animators have done it on the internet. Rolly, 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 rolly. Get out of there. And pound. And down. Pound and down? Down pound? Ah. Now I understand. There must be a D around here somewhere. Ah, uh, and this is the area that's locked in the inside. Right. Hey, -o. hey pal, how you doing? What do we got? Power plus, like that. And Mr. Softener, it's a worm. I like worms, worms are nice. Box, steeple key, excellent. And the letter D, the letter P, right. I needed P for Dupless. I don't know why I thought it was a D. It's a Freudian slip, I guess. Ah, what happened to those weirdos you were just here? Whatever. It was almost nice to have some company. I mean, no matter how important it is that no one knows his real name. Locking me up in here just because I don't know- just because I know it. Uh, and making me guard the name's stupid missing letter. No way to treat a parrot. No, huh? I really want a cracker. Dupless, you big meanie. When's feeding time, huh? Hello. Ah, 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 um, hey, uh, pr pretty bird, pretty bird, ah, pretty bird. Yeah, that's right. Steeple key, steeple key. Steeple key, 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 steeple key. It's it's the key to the steeple. Hmm. We heard that. We heard you, little birdie. <laughs> Dupless. Dupless, that's his name. I got it. Now let's get your name and body back from that meanie, and we'll teach him a lesson or two while we're at it. Uh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to rolly, rolly, rolly my way on out of here. I guess it just wasn't going to work that way. Onward. And upward. Really, 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 really. Nah, I'm not gonna roll. Just makes things difficult. You can't chase me. I mean, I guess you can. There's nothing really stopping you from chasing. It'd be cool if you could like, see the ghosts and stuff on the outside. Like, as they're chasing you out and they go back inside. I, I don't know. It'd just be cool. I'll go get that dupless yet. Uh, yeah, and I'll save twice while I'm at it, because why not? Ring, 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 ring. Hello! I don't know why I keep jumping at that opportunity. I just jump at the opportunity to put my foot on something spiky. Doesn't make much sense to me. Alright, in we go. And out we go here! Onwards along the woody plains as we find... Oh, hell. Alrighty then! It was not expecting to do that. That's alright. I really don't want to do this. I really, I really don't want to. Um, here, switchies. Switch Shade Fist so I can get that crazy daisy. Crazy daisy! Burned, I say. And now we'll just, uh, oh, I can only hit the guy in the front. Alright, well, I can do the jumpy jumps. Fine. Nice. And now you're out of here. You can't possibly use Thunder on me. See, that's awesome, but I'm completely filled up already. <laughs> nice that it finally happened. Now we just got a full crowd! Alright, bye. That's fine. It's, it's alright, it's alright. You know, you know what to do. You know, Mario! Whack him with your hammer! In the most stylish way possible? In the most stylish way possible. Nice. And we love- ooh, we level up too! Great! I feel like- let's see, I feel like... Honestly, we've been doing okay on, like, flower points and stuff. I kinda just wanna- I just wanna equip more badges. I just wanna equip more badges, that's really all I wanna do. Eventually, like, if I cha if I change my build to be less support-based ba badges and more ability-based badges, then this is going to bite me in the butt later. But I'm not- I'm not worried about that right now. Nice. Very good then. And uh, and to everyone else, you also staying as well? Um, 
Actually, if I don't take them out, then they're just gonna they're gonna do bad things to me. They're gonna put me to sleep. That's all they're gonna do. There's like the perfect amount of damage, so it's all right. You can. Oh, I guess I probably could have used my ability. Probably. Burned. Ah. Uh, nah, that happened. You can run away if you want. Oh, cool. Mario's awakened. <laughs> You've awakened Mario. I'll take care of this one over here. Don't know how to do that one stylishly either. All right, and there they go. All right. More coins for me, yeah. We need more need more coins to fund college or something. Oh. Almost got gotcha. you. Oh, see, that's that's nice. So we like that. So if I can if I can freeze you in place, right? That would be a way to stop you from moving. I don't have anything that freezes, but I think actually Vivian's next ability, I think, is a freeze punch. I think that is. I think it is. Let me try to see. I can do six damage with Earth Tremor. I actually actually do seven damage with my spin jump, unless that thing has extra defense. I'll try it. I'll try it. First, I want to string stomp it, because if it's going to attack, I don't want it to attack too badly. It didn't seem to work, but that is okay. Um let's just veil, right? We'll just we'll just veil. Because that way, if it attacks, then nothing happens. But if it runs away, we're also fine. Nice. And you're out of here anyways, so. And then we come back up, and they'll attack again, and most of them run away anyways. Except for this one. Yeah, but we're both asleep. And then what, are you gonna run away, or? <laughs> nice. Still okay. Oh, and you're just still going. Alrighty then. Oh, these funny little flowers. Such teases. Oh, I uh, got flower points. Excellent. I like that. Very nice. Um, I completely forgot that I had tea here. It's still really good. I might actually make myself some more in a little bit. We're nearing the end of this chapter. And I think I'll probably be finished after this. This is nice. This is the first, like, long stream I've had since, like, December and stuff. It's nice to just, like, sit down and just play games for a while, so. If there's anybody out there, I thank you very much. Well, there's definitely people out there. There's always people out there. Whether you're here or not matters not. Whether you're here now or not doesn't matter much to me. So long as we can put some good into the world. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you Again! Oh, yeah! And we've gone through this thing again. First, amuse, the joy, the name. Hit me one more time. I think your name is Dupalis. Du Alice. Oh yeah, is it Dupless? It sure as hell is. <gasps> Whoa! What? Uh, what? What did you say? It can't be! No, 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 why, 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 I'm feeling faint! Oh, whoo! Run. Bye-bye. Now it's our turn. Let's get your name and body back. Where would he go to hide? Could it potentially be the steeple? This is literally just running back and forth between the steeple a bunch of times. It is excellent. Only mildly infuriating. <laughs> Vivian is not doing so hot right now. <laughs> There's no shortcut back. It's just coming all the way back out here and then going all the way back there. It's just, you know, it's classic. Oh, I don't, I don't want, I don't want. My, my friend is in peril. My friend is in peril. And I don't want to hurt her. I do not want to put her into harm's way. However, I do want to roll her in within my... A viscera, I guess. However, that equivalates in, like, the paper universe. Mm, I see you're here. Uh, let's just not. Oh man. Oh man. I mean, I can deal with this. This is fine. I can deal with this. This is all right. It's fine. 
Unless they put me to sleep. Actually, if they put me to sleep, that's not very good. Oh, honey syrup. I'm cool with that. Oh, I missed it. Gotta use my items more. Gosh, I keep missing the good stuff. Nice. Run away. Nice. I Somehow, it's, I think that's the first time I've actually dodged that. I just don't know when, the, I don't know when the exact moment is to click the button. Nice. A little bit of heals, like that, and we're just gonna walk our way through the forest. Bye-bye. You wanna just, like, walk past? Uh... There we go. Just walk the other direction. Walk the other... Mm. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Just a couple... Just needed a couple little frames. Ah! <laughs> I guess that's the advantage of having Vivian with you for these particular scenes here, for these particular, like, areas, because you don't necessarily... I know it's annoying to go back and forth and fight the enemies and stuff, but you don't have to fight the enemies because you have Vivian here to, like, pull you into the ground. And uh, with these little narrow passageways, it works out. Kinda well. No, it works fine. It's alright. See, and then you walk. Oh my guy. Why why you gotta sit over top of my shadow? That completely defeats the purpose. No, why did I jump on him? Oh my gosh. What are all these items? Holy scrabs! Wow, just just pow it. Just just pow. Just absolute pow. Get him. Boop. Does this help? That didn't help it. I mean, I guess it kind of helped. I mean, a little bit. A little bit. Oh, I should have had Vivian use the item. Oh, goodness. Because then I could jump on all of them. Oh. What? Uh. Tease. Uh. Shadefish the flower, I suppose. I don't think it's going to kill it, though. Ouch. This... This could be bad. Oh, you're running. Oh, that's fine too. And then you guys have to actually get up. Stop that. Get get out of here. Get out of here. All right, we'll see. If Vivian's Shade Fist can actually hit these guys, great. If not, I'll have to use a multi-bounce. Oh, it does. Sweet. And then I think I can... I can just regular hammer them. In this position, they're vulnerable, right? Oh, yeah, that was easy. And we've got stars prepared for the next battle, and if our next battle is against Dupless, then I think we'll be all right. It might be that way. Oh, hello. Alrighty, heal ourselves up, give it a little save, and go fight Dupa. Dupa de Dupi. Hoopa de Dupa de Hippa Dupa Doo. That's the name. That's his actual name. It's not Dupless. Stupid name. Silly name. <gasps> Roll me! Well, actually, I want to go this way. Because I need... I need the staircase on this side. Alright, just like... Just like don't. That's fine. Nice. N nice job. Nope. Nice. Nice. And then we hit just... Just in case, at least two times. Nice. It moves back at least one, and then we click on the button, and then it moves back again, like slowly but surely. Nope, apparently it's as far over as it gets, so we're all good. Oh, hello. Up, up, up we go. Actually, is there a crack in the wall over here? I don't know if this is like a secret that I should come back here for next time. No, it looks all right. Interesting. Actually, I just noticed the way that they textured the shadows. I never noticed that before. They just add like a little like black dot dark background thing to it, like with a slight opacity. That's cool. I never even noticed that. Nice. The fun things that we learn about the games that we thought we were so familiar with. Hello, Doopy. I forget. I don't remember whether or not I can like break the wall or anything to like get, like break the mirror to go through the other side of the wall. A piece of me feels like I can do that, but I don't know. Alright, now we're ready. Oh, I could have just healed over here. Oh well. Up the spire. 
all the way up to the spire where all of my teammates are confused that we're at the top of the spire. Why are we still sticking around here? I don't know why. Why wouldn't you go to Rogueport and then, like, continue the story, you know? Hey, you again, hey, Slick. You're pretty stubborn to follow me all the way here. Fine. Fine. I see. I get it. Let's put it into this, shall we? All right, kids. Put on your fighting gloves. Um, woohoo! It's a me! <laughs> Sure thing, Mario. We're right here with you. This creep couldn't take us down, so he teamed up with a shadow siren. Well, we certainly won't be letting him down, letting him do anything to our little Mario. You gotta taste the pain, Gonzalez style, shadow guy. Hmm. Very good, my loyal ones. How dare this nameless nobody challenge the great Mario? <laughs> Mario? The guy who stole your name and uh, body is Mario. That means you're Mario. Uh, actually, uh... I can't believe it. All this time I was helping Mario. I feel like an idiot. What's going on here, huh? Fight with your girlfriend? <laughs> well, don't expect any sympathy from us, ghoulies. Meow. <laughs> See, your friends ditch you because you don't have the charisma of me, Super Mario! I cannot flee this one. Not that I'd want to. Alright, let's get him. Um, I feel like going after the partner doesn't much help too much. Oh wait, I don't have Vivian. Oh, forgot about that one. Can I shrink Mario? <laughs> I didn't know that would actually work. I love it. Nice. Oh, that's so easy. I could also sh shrink Goombella, I guess, too. But I guess what's the really point of that? Um, I got pretty good, pretty good hops. Pretty good hops. Yeah, that's like six damage with absolutely no uh, flower points. That's great. Nice. It doesn't even matter. Your magic doesn't matter anymore. Oh my goodness. Go get him, Goombella. I'm... I'm sorry, sis. This Mario is the only person who's ever been kind to me. Whoop! <laughs> Just kind of pops up from the ground. Mario, I'm fighting by your side from now on. Oh! -ho! I've... made my choice. And I'm not turning back. Let's get him! With the power of two... Um... That's just how- that's just how we do! Ha! There we go. Slightly stylish. And we just like, I don't know, set- set him on fire too. That makes sense. Nice. I wonder if this- I, I don't really know. I wonder how much this is gonna do. That would be two chapters in one day. It's nice. Mario, don't let your guard down, okay? Oh, I didn't know how to- Did not know when to dodge that. Nice. Excellent. Fire. And then you pop back up, and then I can shrink you again, because it's just easier that way. Sweet. Flower points would be nice. Oh, sweet! Alright! It's bingo time! Oh, but the crowd didn't fill up at all. Oh, what a shame. How dare you try to do this to the great Super Mario? How dare you? I did not dodge that, right? That's okay. Bounce. Nice. Jinthi, I think the other part of this song that I absolutely adore is just the organ in the background. It's so cool. It's the organ, it's the bass, it's the trumpet. The entire song I love so much. No. Why? How? Oh. Oof. Eek, Mario! Nice. 
There we go. Oh! Huh? And then we're back. It's a me! <laughs> Cardboard. Rats! Uh, you kill joys! Oh my god, Duplis, I can't believe you jumped! Oh shit! <laughs> what? He ran away? I mean... Wait! Wait, just what, what the heck happened here? That wasn't the real Mario? Did he get shell -winked? How could I even mistake my dear Mario for another? Oh, silly flurry. So, so, who's this girl, huh? Is, isn't she one of the shadow sirens you guys mentioned? Why would Gonzales pair up with one of those creeps? Well, I, um... Oh! Oh, yeah. Oh, Mario. Thanks for sticking up for me. Well, thanks to her, I guess. You came through this okay. No sweat, right? Uh, listen, Mario. Sorry about earlier. I'd be happy to travel with you. You'll have me. Oh, yeah. Vivian has really joined our party now. And here's the crystal star. This is for you. I don't actually have a star. But here's a cherry. I got the cherry star! Because it kind of looks like a cherry. Star power is off high! I learn art attack. Got a bit of cherry juice on my shirt. And I lost the cherry pit. Whoops! Mario defeated the rogue who had stolen his name and appearance. Now Mario has four crystal stars. That leaves a mere three more to find. And that means his quest to collect all of the crystal stars is more than halfway over. Now Mario heads off toward his next adventure with his new friend, Vivian. But what about Beldum and Marilyn? And what became of the doppelganger, Duplis? We'll save our progress and find out another time. Bump, bump. We'll settle this out. Get to the end. I guess we'll start the next chapter because I want to stop back and I want to stop back in a, a rogue port and do some cooking and stuff. Vivian is so very late. Where has that scatterbane been all this time? <laughs> oh. There he goes! Mario time! What was your voice? Are you sure about this? Speak up, x Not. Oh, uh, yes sir. Quite sir. Quite sure. I pulled over the research of the Thousand Year Door, and it appears the ceiling power has definitely been weakened, as Beldum said. Finally, the treasure of legend, the ancient power of darkness, will soon be ours. Listen, and listen well. Keep giving the crystal star. Search top priority. Of course, that also includes the elimination of Mario, that meddling scum. I've got it, sir. <laughs> soon. I will have the power that has slept for a millennium. So, very soon. And when that glorious day dawns, I'll draw, throw the world into the depths of terror. No one can stop me now. All will kneel before the ex naught regime. And then I, Grotus, will build a new world. A perfect, ideal world, yes. A world made by me, about me. And for me. <laughs> yeah, you get him, weird robot thing, dude, whatever. Tech, did you call me? What shall I do today? Will it be dancing, perhaps disguising, or will I sing a song or something? I... I am conflicted. Huh? What's wrong, Tech? You don't seem yourself. 
Which is more important? Carrying out an order or protecting a critical person? I exist for the purpose of a certain person. I wish to exist for the purpose of another. I do not know what to do, really. What do you mean? No. No. Never mind. Please forgive my musings. I do not know why, but it makes me feel unpleasant if I make you worried. Well, in any case, let's have a quiz. A quiz? <laughs> That's right, Princess Peach. Please answer the questions that I am about to ask you. If you can answer five questions, you may use the communicator as usual. <laughs> What's with you all of a sudden, huh? Now, the first question. What will happen if you collect seven crystal stars? Uh, the thousand door opens. Duh. Correct. Now, the second question. What is the goal of Grotus, leader of the x Knots? To conquer the world! Correct. Now, the third question. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand year door? Heck, is, is this? Princess, please answer. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand year door? A thousand year old demon soul! Correct. Now, the fourth question. What does Sir Grotus wish to do? With this ancient demon soul. I'm gonna hang out a little bit, you know, cherish it, you know, just like friends do. Bring it back to life! Correct. Now, the fifth question. What is required to seal the demon up again? Crystal stars. I mean, if the crystal stars is the thing that's breaking the seal, then surely the crystal stars can also seal it back again. Correct. You have ad correctly answered all five questions. Now you may use the communicator. Tech, you... Was it okay for you to tell me such things? Please input the message you wish to send. Um, okay. Done. Can you send it? Ba -da -da -da. Nice. The message has been sent. And that is all for now. Please, go back to the room. Bye-bye, computer. Thank you. You're still a weird computer, Tech. Still weird! Still weird, walking away. Good night, Princess Peach. Until next time. Robotic Sigh. Nice. Nice little robot. Robot heart to heart. Sort of, you know? It's good to have bad actors amidst the bad actors. Plot's cool. And there goes Bowser again. My lord, I've received reports of a great secret in the floating town of Glitzville. Let's ride the cheap blip there. <laughs> Come now. You there, two tickets, one great and evil king, and one sweet young thing. Good gravy! Uh, 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 Bowser, uh, the evil king, I, 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 I deluded hag, old hag, uh, 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 life's too short! Uh. Jumps the tracks and runs. What did he just say? Hey, come back here, you! Impudent little cheapskate! Oh, get it? Because cheap, cheap. I got it. Hey, I'm talking to myself! Where'd Lord Bowser go? What? I'll take my own ride. <clears throat> Forget that wimpy blimpy. <laughs> that felt weird to say. I'll be riding this baby. I snuck into I snuck into Glitzville once before, so I know the way. No problemo. You go easy on your limbs and take the slow ride on the blimp, Grandma. <laughs> and there it goes. Wait, Lord Bowser, please! Oh, now my sp 
special dirigible deluxe brown bag cami lunch will go to waste. Because it just like disappeared into thin air. Uh. Huh? That doesn't sound right. Ooh, what's that warning light? Oh no! Ah! Falls to the ground. Little flashy thing. <laughs> nice. Ready to roll! <laughs> I love this. Like a walk in that pipe, please, if I may. Uh. Oh, can I just like? Oh, I see. Ah, I, I get it. I get it. Oh, nice. I'm so puny because of that one little squid. That one little uh, blooper. What a nice reference to the original. We appreciate that. Yes, we do. At least I do. Ha <laughs> ha! Bowser's back, baby! <sighs> Man. Ooh, achoo. That was terrible. I gotta get in shape. Uh, who's. Uh, wha, it's Bowser the Evil Koopa King! Hey, lead us! Someone help! Ah! <laughs> Hangs in Glitzville. Gets all the balloons. Who knew that Kamek was actually a huge fan of the mixed martial arts? Mm, hey, dude. There you are, Lone Bowser. What are you doing here? I've been looking all over. If I may ask, where have you been your sogginess? Hmm. Swimming. Really? Neat as for me. Glitzville was fantastic. The flights were so, fights were so cool. I was overcome. Why, even at my age, I was shaken on what my mama gave me. And then, uh, the hot dogs. Oh, my gracious, Yammerly. You have fun, too, hmm? Uh. Ah! Lord Bowser, is that a no? It was terrible. You hear me? I swallowed a dank blooper. I wanted to have fun. Well, forget it. It's over. Go get me some solid info on Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars now! End scene. Bowser's such a butt. At least he can swim. Good to know that the big old Koopa can swim. I can't believe it was a fake Mario all the time. So we were all fooled. I'm so sorry, Mario. After all you've done for our town, did we hurt your feelings? I don't feel... You're a bigger man than I thought, Mario. Such fortitude. You are, you are a true hero. You brought a shining ray of light to our dim little town. Twilight Town thanks you. You're welcome. Hey, Mario, we need to get back to Rogueport, right? Let's go. Please come back to visit any time you like. Onward and backward. So. Might as well time. It's time to go put the crystal stars back on their pedestal. Anyways. My dear Mario, I finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It is the spirit of a demon. The Exnauts plan to revive the thousand-year-old monster and use its power to take over the world. They're collecting the crystal stars so they can open the thousand-year door. They'll find this demon's spirit. But the only thing they can, that can keep it locked away is the crystal stars themselves. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please, Mario, you must put a stop to their horrible plans. Peach. An ancient demon, spirits. Yeah. That's what I said. Is it? Is it not? 
All right, make our way back up to the top. Uh, actually, I can go this way, right? Yeah, I can just go. Oh, if I, if I go up from there, I go up and then back over. I should be able to pop in it into the uh, the area with my muddy babuche. We go back onto the <gasps> the gambling parlor. No, no, I must save myself. Saving myself for marriage. I don't know. <laughs> it's a respectable feat. I I think I can get to the. Can I get to the chambers from here or now? Thought maybe I could. Uh, no, I can't. I gotta do a different direction. Is like a special pipe or something over here? I thought there might have been. I'll come back here and I'll actually let's do a little exploring here. I feel like I got all this cash now. It doesn't open. Yeah, likely story. Oh. Hmm. 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 I know I need another ability to get around a little bit more. Hello, guys. Anything anything new over here? Hey, what's up? Want to want to chat? And chat about stuff? You like chatting about stuff? At least this is special refuge for all where we cultivate information. Herb tea, herb teas place. Sit back and enjoy yourself. I'll try my best. And what about you? I know stuff too, seriously. Like, uh, when the wind blows, the cradle will fall. I just don't know why it falls, because no one tells me. Angry. <laughs> Something you want to ask old old monkey, huh? Oh, if you pay me five coins, I can suppose I can tell you about the incident I saw. Sure did. <laughs> so I saw this really cute girl in a pink dress walking around town a while back. She was pretty enough to be a princess, I tell you. <laughs> and she hung around town for a little while after buying something from that old lady. Then she got nabbed in the back alley by a bunch of suspicious guys in white suits. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I'm the only person who saw that, though. <laughs> old monkey was scared. Well, I guess it's neither here nor there. People get kidnapped, whatever. Still, just knowing what's going on in the streets can be helpful sometimes. Uh, and that... That's that. If you need anything else, just ask old monkey. What else do you have? <laughs> Something you want to ask old monkey, huh? If you pay me five more coins, I can tell you about the mystic bag. Tell me of the mystic bag, wonky! You know about the pit of a hundred trials down there, right? <laughs> well, somewhere down there is an item called a strange sack. This thing is great, <laughs> so I've been told. If you've got it, you can hold up to 20 items. And you know what that means, my dear friend. Easy adventuring. And no adventurer should be without one. Take it from old wonky! And that's, that's, that's that. Uh, if you need anything else, just talk to me again. Tell me more, old man! I need to know more about Bugly Woods! Do you think Bugly Woods is a spot with a bunch of tree stumps all lined up? Uh, if you jump hard on the tent stump from the left, you'll get something good. Uh, now, I don't know what it is, but I hear it's really good. Mm. That's that. That's that. Uh, anything else, you can ask all wonky, as per usual. Tell me more, old man! The mysterious troops! I've got word of a strange group skulking around Rogueport recently. They wear masks and weird costumes with an X on the front. Talk about cookie. And they're always huddled together, mumbling about some treasure. X not this and X whatever there. X marks the spot. I even heard that they unearthed some shiny stone down here. <laughs> weird. <laughs> and uh, that's about it for this one. Wonky! There must be more. Spin panels! Tell me of the spin panels! Do you know about these spin paddles scattered across the world? Hmm. When you spin jump a spin pedal, it bumps the star piece right out of the ground. Score! <laughs> Problem is, they look just like regular flooring, so it's kind of hard to tell. But there's actually one right in front of me, so give it a shot, why don't you? Uh, and that? That is that. Just ask old monkey. Are you kidding me? What? What? Right, right here? No, 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 it's right here. Is it right here? No way, dude. Oh, no, I need spin. Is this not my spin jump? Wait, so if I just, like... I completely forgot those are the thing! Wonky, you genius! I gotta be bouncing around a lot more often. That's great. <laughs> Something you want to ask old Wonky again after that one, I'm not surprised. What's behind the sign? The sign? Oh, the sign in Rogueport. There's a billboard in front of the tower, something tower with all kinds of stuff written on it. Well, some folks like to write graffiti on the back of the message board, you know. Uh, there's all kinds of good stuff there, especially for an info guy like old Wonky. <laughs> we should give it a gander next time. Uh, that's it. That's all. That's all I have. 
Unless, unless you want me to tell you what's hidden about down below. Oh, you do, don't you? Well, oh, okay, just got this juicy bit of information recently, and, uh, you know, that small hole down there is only a little critter can get through. It really is. That, uh, well, you just head out that way from the wall there, and, uh, when you can't go any further, jump to get something good. What was that? If you see that hole, you should give it a try. And that is that. If you need anything else, just ask Wonky. Something about a hole in the wall. That was outside, though. I'll have to check that out. Oh, <laughs> more stuff for Wonky! Ma Lala's private life. Who the heck is Lala? Oh, you know, Lala, the cute receptionist at the Piata Parlor. Yes, uh, she never gets too personal for me on those iron bars because it's like business, you know. But if you get in there and talk with her, she's a totally different person. Uh, you should get in there and see how good your game is, Mr. Popular. Uh, and that's that. Is got any else? Want me to tell you more? Something more for wonky star pieces? I won't tell you about star pieces. You two horses there, just give me more cash. I'm an information broker after all. You've heard of star pieces, of course, yeah? They're no less than pieces of actual stars that have fallen down to earth. They're so pretty and shiny that anyone who stumbles upon one turns into a collector. If you want to find some, just check out all the nooks of the areas that you visit. They'll always seem to be slightly hidden, you know what I mean? Kind of behind things, or on top of things, or inside of things. It's a, it's a wonky world we live in. And that's it for that one. Do you have anything else you want to ask me? I have more cash. You have more cash, you say? More coins, I'll tell you about the Z button. Hey, well, Wonky just heard something kind of helpful. Don't know what it has to do with anything. I don't know what a Z button is, but if you press Zaw when you're talking to someone, you can go back to what they said last. Incredible. But I'm sure that could be handy in a pinch. <laughs> and that, that's that. Oh my gosh. Not trying to interrupt the show, but your voice has a 10 out of 10. Oh, thank you so very much. Uh, old Wonky. Welcome, by the way, GGR TV. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. My Saturday, at least the midway of the Saturday, is coming at least to an end. Soon, sooner rather than later, but apparently Old Wonky's got more things to say. <laughs> more? More. Yoshi colors. Oh, I, I knew about that one. I knew about that one. I like that. We'll do it anyway. Way, way down south is an island where lots of Yoshis live. And you know, she's are born from eggs, as everyone knows. But a Yoshi's color depends on its egg conditions right before hatching. So it's always a surprise to see what comes out. You know what I mean. We all know she has a rather nice color, by the way. I'm uh, sure so he'll grow up to be a fine Yoshi. Yup. Yes, he will. And that's that. Are you not going to tell me anything about it? Come on, Wonky. That was not worth the five coins. That's incredible. Great day. Just been watching from the shadows and enjoying the ride. Ooh, lovely. I'm glad to know that despite being in the shadows, that everything is still clear. That that speaks wildly good about Twitch's back corners and such. Or at least, like, the, the edges of chat and stuff. Like, um... That edge, <laughs> I guess. Wonka time, the big door! Go ahead, I've wasted- you know what? It's This is not a waste. It's not a waste. None of it's a waste. Well, you know, there's a really big door down here. Have you seen it? I bet you've seen it. You look like a man who's probably seen it. I've only seen it once myself, but, uh... If there really is some kind of legendary treasure down here, it's probably behind that door. Yeah, when I saw it, I got the feeling that there was bad stuff going on down there, and lo and behold, <laughs> I haven't seen anything yet. I don't really go out of this bar very much. In fact, I've just been too creepy jeebie to get near that door ever since. Anyway, if you need anything else, just ask old Wonky. Bro, you okay? A trouble center? Are you the one in trouble? I'll pay. Tell me about the trouble center. There's a place called the Trouble Center on the east side of Rogueport. I could just talk for hours now, couldn't I? Indeed. Offer your money. People who need help write little notes on the board down there. And if you help them out, they give you a reward of some sort. Oh, Wonka hears that some of those rewards are pretty tasty, my friend. Including a young mouse woman. But you didn't hear it from me. And that's that. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? I think it is. <laughs> How much more do you have? Oh my god. Wonky's the big W here. It's totally overpowered. Dude. <laughs> Tell me about the charmer. You know, there's a charmer down named Merle down here somewhere. And if you get her to charm you, you'll get good stuff in a battle. Not only that, but she's a total babe. <laughs> oh, Wonky would love to go on a date with her. But maybe you've got a better shot, Mr. Popular. I'm serious. You have to go check her out sometime. She is absolutely... How does, how, how does it go? Oh, <laughs> old Wonky knows. He calls him like he sees him. Something you want to talk to Wonky about? I do. How much more do you have? I actually know about the Wazy Day. Wazy. 
I was specifically saving up all of my coins to go like buy things so I can do things in the in the in the shop because I like to cook things and I cook things in the cook shop. Um, but alas, apparently I'm down here talking with the info broker, so I'll take it. Information's worth a lot of money to some people, you know. I've heard tales of an amazing daisy, a truly rare breed among daisies. They're worth oodles of star points, but they're timid and tend to run away first. And if they hit you, they do 20 freaking damage. Isn't that absolutely insane? Have you ever been killed by one before, Mario? You look like the kind of man who's been killed by one before. Absolutely eviscerated by one in at least one playthrough. But what do I know? Still, I bet if you keep visiting the same area, you could beat one again. And that's that. Unless you want to know more, which I do, always. Monster weaknesses, tell me about monster weaknesses. I'm talking to myself here because Wonky's a little wonky, don't you know? They are very weaknesses. Everybody knows that fire monsters are weak against ice and vice versa. But flying monsters are weak against wind and they tend to get dizzy very easily. And sometimes machine and cloud monsters can be easier to freeze than most. Other than heard that it's very easy to put piranha plants to sleep. I'd say try out some new things and see if they can find all the monsters' weaknesses. And that is that. I did not know that at all. I didn't realize that monsters actually had weaknesses. Wow, this word information is really good. Now, I don't know which is wonky and which is you. It adds a little bit of the extra magic. Honestly, I like to think that my headcanon is just wonky is talking to himself. The money is just like he's pulling it out of his own pocket and be like, oh, look, wonky found another five coins that he puts into his other pocket. And then he goes back into this pocket and he's like, oh, look, wonky found another five coins. I'm going to pocket that in my pocket and it puts it over here. <laughs> Something you want to ask old monkey, don't you? I do. How to save money. Oh, please. <laughs> it's certainly not putting it in my pocket, and then my other pocket, and then my other pocket, and my other pocket. Did you notice that you can only carry up to 999 coins? Well, if you ever want to collect more, you should buy gold bars at the shop near here. Invest in gold. It's the time is, a tale is over this time. And then store them at the shop where you can convert them back to coins at any time. They may sell for slightly less than you buy them for, but it's better than losing all the coins you wouldn't be able to pick up, right? Then that... That is that. If you need anything else, just ask Old Wonky. That's a really good idea. Oh, more information. Horse tails. I don't even know what a horse tail is. Oh, you've been to Petal Woods Meadows, haven't you? I have. Well, they have all those blue and gray striped poles called candy pops all over, right? I heard that one of those will give you a horse tail if you hit it ten times. Huh. You should go try that out sometime. And um, that's that. I need to be writing these things down. Hold up a second. He has a tool belt like Batman with, within each one coin holds. This man's going to be really heavy after this. So there's horsetails, horsetails, blue pillars, Petalberg. What was the other thing? I should be ground pounding more. There was another thing around here somewhere. And I don't remember what it was they'd be saying. Something about another secret. I was like, oh my god, I gotta go. Oh, it was somewhere outside. Outside wonkies. Something about jumping. Something jumpy. It was like somebody outside, if I hit the end and then I do a jump, I'll get a thing. Oh, old Wonky loves more information, bottle techniques. So yes, we do. I hear the best way to fill your battle crowd is to use succeed at auction commands. Especially when you succeed at several in a row. Whew, I hear that's pretty great. I'd love to see it myself. Also, beating enemies quickly and striking first can build your crowd too. That might be a good thing to remember. <laughs> That's it. How much money can I sink into the wonkster? The billboard, maybe, behind it, if I remember. Ooh, the billboard around here. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Swallowed my own spit. Pianta Parlor? I want to know how to get into Pianta Parlor, says Wonky to himself ironically. There's a game center on the west side of Rogueport run by Don Pianta. There's a hidden gem game there that few people know about. Only members are allowed to play this special game. That's all that all Wonky hears. If you want to try it, you'll have to find a member's card somewhere, which I was trying to find. I think I need to do it on the message board. Pretty sure you get that from one of the message board quests. Or I'll find it eventually. More wonky. The minstrel! Oh, please tell me about the minstrel. Somewhere here in Rogueport, there's a minstrel by the name of Grifty. He knows all the old legends of Rogueport and actually is a main hockey fan. No, that's Gritty. Mm. And he'll tell you interesting tales you've never heard before, I'm pretty sure. So if you find him, you should definitely listen to at least one. And that's it. I don't think he'll pay you. Maybe, or maybe, I don't know, maybe he charges, I don't really know. You should be paying me money instead, you know, old wonky, your friend. There is more. The Legend of Rogueport. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm just gonna blow all my coins here. I'm just gonna do it. 
I'm in it. I'm in it this far. It's for the bit. You've heard about the legendary treasure hidden beneath Rogueport, right? Apparently, it's the vast fortune of what ancient forgotten civilization. Most people think that's just a silly old myth now, of course, but not wonky! No, certainly not. According to my sources, it's the real deal. Uh, who are my sources? <laughs> I can't really say now, can I? That, my friend, is what I call a trade secret. A little old wonky bit of knowledge that you will not be able to know unless you pay me more gold coins. Ask Wonky if you need any more. He's full of wisdom, he is. Oh, I'm up. Oh, oh, actually, hold up a sec. Oh, my apologies, but I told you all the stuff that I know already. Of course, I might learn something new, new stuff soon, so go come back to check on with old Wonky. Oh my god, he didn't bankrupt me. What a kind soul. Absolutely incredible. Okay, so there was something about, I don't know, going over here, maybe in you Joey the Jumpies. What a nice old Wonky. What a nice guy. So if there was a billboard or something around here and I jump and do something. Was there a billboard out here? It said something to do with you walk all the way over and you jump. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's definitely, oh my god, it's definitely a hidden block. He's most definitely talking about a hidden block. The question is, where was the, <laughs> where was the hidden block? It was at the end of, like, one of the alleys or something. Maybe I walk up to one of the poles and I, like, nope. How about this one? Nope. How about this one? Nope. 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 <laughs> Wah, who, wah, who, 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 wah, who? Maybe I did a little... He said something about a hole in the wall. No, 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 he said something about the hole in the wall. I remember, he said something about if you find the hole in the wall. Alrighty then. What if it- oh, maybe it's over here. Huh? Oh, that looks like a hole- it's a hole in the wall, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh my god. Almost there. I see a hole in the wall! Oh, that looks like a hole in the wall. Oh my god. <laughs> maybe I just need to, like, get up on top of there? I- I know not. I non- I- I know not. I thought- I'm sorry, what's up here? Oh, you finished with your test, what's up? You going to use? Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Alrighty then. Good luck out there. Okay. Evidently, I cannot find this block. Love you, dear. See you later. I can't find this block. <laughs> the wonk block. Or maybe it's this thing. No. Absolutely not. R.I.P. That block. Let's chill. We'll get him. We'll get him next time. Oh my goodness! Alrighty then. You, 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 you. I. That's all I have to say. Just you, you. Spin attack. Get him. And a stylish one, nonetheless. And it's foggy now. The weather forecast going forward seems to be cloudy outside with a 30% chance of rain. When you go out there, make sure to put some sunscreen on because the UV index is through the roof. Just kidding. <laughs> and there go my coins. Actually, that's not where go my coins. Where go my coins was with Wonky. He was the guy who took them all. Grabbing sunscreen now. You better, GG. Or else it's GG for your skin. And or your complexion. You know. What are you talking about, little one? All right, billboard. Hello, billboard. Hanging behind billboard. Nice. I like billboards. Billboards are nice. All right, what, have, what else I got? I gotta go talk to, uh... No. I talked to the Zesty for the cookbook so I can make delicious, delicious meals that are virtual and non-tasteable. Uh, and then I can go talk to Frankly. Because, frankly, uh... No, 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 I need to go to the Crystal Star Door. And then afterwards. Then when the next chapter begins, that'll be it. Hey, Mr. Context Moosher, listen to this. I got the lowdown on a book that can turn anyone into a Master Chef. I went to the Trouble Center in the east part of town and recruited someone to find it. If you like helping folks out, you ought to swing by there and I'll reward you. So anyway, did you need me to cook something for you, or Dr. Bumblefoot? What ingredients would you like to cook with? I have, wait, but I have my, but I have, but, but, but I got the, but I got the cookbook. That's okay, I cook up the, I get the, cook up the peachy peen, peachy. 
It's a peach. That's that's what it is. It's a peach. And I guess I need to put the thing up on the board. So if I go talk to Zesty... Oh, but I already started a mission. I started the... It's the Courage. Um... I was gonna say I have money for Courage shells now, but I really don't. Nice! I should go sell some of my items. Sell some of my items. Store some of my items. Get enough money for... Uh, Courage shells so I can finally... I don't know. Give this guy the shells that he needs. Oh my god. I need it in my life. I need Super Luigi Volume 1 in my life. Yes, welcome back. Please find the current shells for us, okay? Well now, what, do you, what can I do for you? All right, sell, please. What do you want to sell? Everything. Honestly, I could use the... I, I, I can't even make use of jam and jelly right now, so I'm going to just get out of here. Bye-bye. I need the cash more than anything else. Wonky left me in shambles. Tasty tonic I can sell for one? Cures poison and other ailments? Eh. Eh. Booze sheet. Booze. It sounds like, like booze, like look, look, that kind of stuff. Yeah, you can have it. Uh, I don't want to sell anything anymore. However, I do want to store some things. Let's store some stuff. 20 more items. Let's just, let's just put it all in there, right? Yes, let's just put it all in there. I need, I need shells up the wazoo. Shells up the wazoo so I can complete your mission, so I can come back here and accept a different mission, so I can finally be the master chef that I always known myself to be. Anyway, I'm done with this guy. Walking along. Wait a minute, can I just buy Tasty Tonic here? Oh, what the hey hey? <laughs> Old Wonky will say that if you really want the tastiest tonic, you make it yourself. Wonky's echoing in my brain. Alright, let's head down to Petal Town. <laughs> Wonky knows all that he does. Wonky knows everything. Wonky is everywhere. Wonky is everything. Everything will be... All will be wonky. All will be wonky. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm already thinking of the possible nightmarish uh, <laughs> scenarios. It's just like when you think you're safe but you're, and you're alone in an alley, Wonky comes out of nowhere. Just like, it's wonky time and he bonks you on the head with a hammer. Out like a light, says Wonky. <laughs> all will be Wonky! In due time, in due time. <laughs> in due time, all will be Wonky. <laughs> all your Wonky all belong to Wonky. But because all will be Wonky, Wonky is everything. My lord. Alright, I'm gonna get one of these things, because I know I can. Turtley leaf. Nice, nice. Now I can go to the store and buy some curd shells, because I'm Pretty sure they sold here. Oh, and there was that blue thing that I get to whack. I'm gonna go whack it. I'm gonna get a horse tail. Courage, courage, courage. It takes courage to walk upstairs, especially jump down them. Chill. One. One, please. Actually, two, please. Uh, actually, three, please. Uh, now that I think about it, can I do four, please? Um, how about five? Was that all? Uh. That's a wonky amount of courage cells. Ten times. What about six? What about six shells? How do you feel about that, sir? Six shells? Five, five, get the six one free? Come on, man. <laughs> Cheapskate. Just to be expected. There's not much wonk about that individual, so why would I why would I think? Ooh! You! I see. Um, I'm gonna hit you five times, I think. Evidently, it's not this one. How about this one? Nope. See, the best part is, as soon as I figure out which one it is, I'll never have to worry about it again. Am I actually hitting you? Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Well, there must be more. There's something around here. Oh, maybe it's you. Hey, what's up? Die. Perish. Oh, wow, look, the whole gang's all here. That's incredible. Very good for y'all. I'm gonna bounce on your friend. Bounce on your friend. Bounce this. Yep. 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 Then my buddy over here is going to disembowel you. Just, just, for, just for a moment. It's not gonna hurt that much. No. 
I guess it wouldn't hurt that much if it doesn't succeed. Makes a lot of sense. Bap! Alright, well, I guess, um... Give him the wonk. Give him the wonk bonk. And then this thing. Classy. That'll take care of you while I go around here and hammer something else. It's not a metaphor. Not this time, at least. Not this time. Ooh. All right. Thank you. Uh, how about you use that? It ain't this one. GG. GG battle. GG RTV. GG life. Oh, 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 what about you? What about you guys? Hmm? Oh my god! Haha! <laughs> Hello there! Oh, I missed the cattail. I might still be out there by the time I get there. Excellent! Excellent! Got that cattail. Horse tail. Horse tail. Ladies and gentlemen, and those in between or beyond, we got him. We did it. Finally. The reagent of a lifetime. What can I use that for? I have no freaking clue. Maybe it's some like special, special like dish I can make with it. No! Oh my god, why did you go away? Oh no. Can I get another one? Wow. Wow. I can't even believe it. That's incredible. I cannot believe it's done this to me. I don't even know what that thing is called. I don't even know how to properly point at this thing and call it by its full name because of how disappointed I am in it. This, this stripey blue thing with two black eyes staring at me into my soul. That's your full name now. Blue striped thing. I forgot it already. Anyways. If you turn around, it'll respawn. Wait, what? Really? Oh my god, I have to go back for it. This is exciting. Wait, I have to go back for it. I need at least one horsetail. I need it. We needs it. We needs it. We wants it. The horsetail. Precious. Precious. Precious horsetail. Don't ask me what I'm doing with the horsetail. No, don't follow me. I got business to attend to. Okay, okay. Business. Business. N not on top of the Yoshi. <laughs> yes! Oh my goodness, I love it. What the, heck, what the heck does this thing does? Whoa. A plant found in Petal Meadows replenishes 3 HP. There's... There's something else to do with that. No, that's fine. I've dealt with you once enough already. Because I know... I didn't know about the horsetail. But I do know about the, um... The bump? The bump. The... Uh, thing's bump. I don't know what it's called. But on the island, you can whack the mole and get the bump. And the bump can be used to create a really delicious meal, I remember. What exactly that meal is and what the combination I have to use for it is kind of beyond my knowledge as of right now. But I know it's a thing, and I know you can hit the mole a bunch of times. But there is a fundamental limit to how many times you can hit it, I think. Because I'm pretty sure we beat the shit out of that thing when I was a kid. And eventually, it just stopped giving the bumps. You can only give an animal a concussion so many times. The end of my tea for now. Churcher. Torture. True and true. I thought you were saying torture there for a moment. Also true. True and utter torture. I'll take it. My, this is that big old door that Wonky was telling me about. Oh my god, I've become Wonky. By the power of the crystal stars. Paper Wonky in the thousand year door. <laughs> anyway. I think I think next is probably Keelhaul Key, right? I think it's Keelhaul next. Then we go to the snowy lands, and then we go to the moon. I think that's I think that's the order of things now. Right? I will I will admit, I hope it's Keelhaul Key because that's the area of this game that I remember the absolute least. And it is! Awesome! Maybe I'll dress up as a pirate the next time I play. I don't know if I have any pirate outfits in this place. Maybe I do. We'll see. Nice. 
Time to take it back to Frankly. Quick, let's cruise up to the professor's office. We have to tell that guy about the princess's email. And I guess the stars, too. But mostly the email. A hot girl messaged you. That's important, Mario. Ooh. You're not interested. Huh. All right. Wh what? Oh. That was written in Princess Peach's email. The legendary treasures of co actually the spirit of an ancient demon. And those fiends want us to use the power of the crystal stars to resurrect it. <laughs> How bone chilling. Sadly, it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. Well, come on, give it up, Professor. What'd you find out? Hmm, this is rather long. So you'd better ris listen well. Here we are for a story. This was Gigi's favorite game growing up. This was one of my favorites as well. Bryce says that he's never played it before, but it looks pretty dope. It was on the GameCube. And he had a GameCube. Luckily, with the power of Dolphin and all the other fish in the sea, I suppose, we have uh, emulation. And I think that's a wonderful thing. I was too busy double dashing and smashing. That's the way to go. I think, what was I playing mostly on the GameCube? I loved playing Pokemon Channel. I liked playing this game. I'm pretty sure I've beaten this game at least two times in the past. What else did I play? Oh, Kirby Air Ride. Kirby Air Ride was the shit. Oh my god. Hmm, it's rather long, so you'd best listen well. Are all of you ready? And you there, in front of the TV. Are you ready? You better listen up too. I'm gonna learn you something today. Did someone pile drive your head or what? I don't see any TV here. All I see is... The fourth wall. No, oh, never mind. Don't, don't worry much about trivial details. Just listen for a moment. The great cataclysm that I read about in that book may well refer to this demon. It says that a monster destroyed a large town that once stood on this very area. It also says that the seven crystal stars were actually created by this monster. And that this used to be the power of the crystal stars to try to control the world. According to this book, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes. But only the beast's physical form was destroyed. Its spirit could obviously not be eradicated. So the heroes used the crystal stars, which they had stolen from the demon. And they cast the evil beast into the depths of a vast maze and sealed the exit in a door. From this, I gather that the crystal stars cannot distinguish good from evil. So if they're all united, they could either seal away or resurrect the demon. It seems that who wields the crystal stars determines if their use is for evil or for good. Hey, then, isn't it possible that we shouldn't gather these crystal stars in the first place? Even if we do find them all, someone could just steal them. Oh, and revive that monster. Uh, maybe we ought to just stomp the heck out of them and throw the pieces away, right? That was my first thought, too, but further research suggests we can't do that. There's a slight possibility that the thousand-year door is weakening. It seems the crystal stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. So once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sealed will shut, will fail. And unfortunately, this year may be the thousands year. Isn't that bad luck, huh? <laughs> the fact that those goons want the stars now may be a coincidence, but maybe not. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return, even if the x knots fail. Whoa, let's roll then. We gotta get the rest of the crystal stars. Where's the next one at? Where, where is he? Give me the crystal star. I'll whomp him. Well, according to the map, it appears to be somewhere on Keelhaw Key. Keelhaw Key? I'm not too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumors. You know the usual stuff, vengeful spirits full of hatred, evil curses, shit like that, ghosts or whatever, a giant demon pirate named Cortez. But you didn't hear it from me. I'm sure the sea salt's down by the seashore and more. You should head there first. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Oh my god. I'm listening on the cruise. Hell yeah, on the cruise. Partying on the cruise. Oh, that was, um... Was that Mario Party 6? Or 7? It was one of the two. In any case, so... Oh, uh, wait a minute. I gotta... Oh, I gotta give the... I gotta get the shells back to... Gotta give the shells to the shopkeep. Complete the quest. Go back to the other place. Give them... I don't know. Get another thing for Zesty so I can become the cooking master of a lifetime. Welcome. Yeah. Yes. Got this courage shells. I did. Here you go. Aw, oh, thank you. 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 Uh 
Oh, sweet. I solved the trouble. I'm gonna put this in the bank. Uh, I'm not- I'm not ready to utilize this. This is an important mushroom, you see. A very important mushroom. Oh, I wanted to... Is this what's in my inventory? Wait. Oh, I'm claiming. Oh, I'm claiming a thing. Oh! Oh, I was so confused. Uh, hmm. Um, live streams are cool. Here you go! You want to retrieve anything else? Um, no. Oh, wait! That was in my storage! Oh, shit, dude. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, okay. I understand. Yeah. Yeah, I, that makes sense now. That didn't click for me. Horsetail. Put a little turdy leaf in there. All my fancy dancy reagents. Actually, that's fine. That's all right. Now, alas, I run myself to the door with my trusty steed. And then, forward! Back to the trouble zone! So I can finally get the job for that bitchy chef. It's okay. She's nice. In her own special way. She She's nice in a... In a not obvious kind of way. Kind of like how lychees are nice, but they're rough on the outside. Like that. Let's see. Plenty, Goonfather, Elusive Badge, Zesty, Seeking the Legendary Book. I want you to find the Legendary Cookbook. It's in a pretty scary place. Couldn't get it alone. Come by to my house. Want to take on... Yep, because I have the book already. And then the Elusive Badge is how you get... Um, That's how you get Miss Mouse as a partner, which I'm absolutely doing. <laughs> Gonna get the book now. Gonna give it to the bitchy chef. Give it to the bitchy chef. Oh, look, it's Mr. Klutz. Ages ago, there was this great legendary chef named Mater Delish. Get it? Like Mater D? Like Mater D? I get it. Rumor has it, you instantly become a better shell half by reading the book. Unfortunately, it's an old book that's hard to find, stores don't carry it, uh, but I've recently heard that someone who used to live in the Creepy Steeple had a copy. There are many secret rooms in the Creepy Steeple, so it's moldering there somewhere. I just have to get my hands on that book and read it. Help me out, stumble bum. So, then. Want me to cook something for you? Yes. Uh, actually not yet. Instead. Instead. I, I don't want you to cook. Oh, welcome back. That was quick. Yeah. They said they have someone coming in to check on the cafe. Oh, nice. I see. Very good. I got mail. I got mail? Is it for me? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Cool. Anna's back. Did you find the cookbook? Yeah, I did. Here's the cookbook. Ah! Let's see! That's the book by Made of Delish! Sorry for screaming. As soon as you got home. Why'd you get a random $5 in the mail on a check? I got a random $5 in the mail by check? Nice! That's the five coins that Wonky stole oh back from me! Oh the apple juice! Oh, will be Wonky! It's oh, that was because of the- shit. Oh my god, this is hilarious. Hand me that. I must share the story. Here you go. The check will stay on your desk. Yeah, yeah. So, evidently, once upon a time- Oh, here we go. Story time. So, a while ago, bought myself a container of pineapple juice. A really big container from this company called Libby's. And I as I was- No, no, no. I bought it for myself. So, do you want to hang with the story? That's okay, that's no problem. So anyways, get this thing of pineapple juice, and I uh, I think I was pre preparing for one of the bar streams. By the way, if you haven't heard, I make cocktails on Wednesday. That's the whole shit behind me. It's awesome, I'll see you there. That, um, let's see. I had the pineapple juice on the couch. It was sitting in a cooler for a little while, completely sealed. And I was doing laundry, I was watching TV, and I was taking care of some things. I was trying to clean up the apartment for the weekend. So as I pop it there, as I, as I open it up and I'm trying to clean out my cooler because the cooler was getting a little weird, I decide to pick up the pineapple juice and I realize that when you, when you, I was wanted to try it and see if it was still good. It says on the container, shake well, because there was a bunch of sediment at the bottom. So naturally doing as according to the bottle said, I decided to shake the thing a little bit and within a moment it popped out the bottom and quite literally sprayed pineapple juice all over my television, all over the white walls in my apartment, and all over the clothes which I had just folded and was just cleaned on the floor. So I was like, it took me like two and a half hours to clean the thing up. It was terrible. How did it pop out the bottom? Bad design of the containers that they put their own product in. Was it glass? No, it was plastic. It just popped. It was wild. There was a little thing on the end of it. It was very, very sharp, by the way. And it looked like it just kind of like, it looks as if somebody threw it on the ground and it like 
You know when you shake up a soda and you throw it on the ground and it pops upward? That's what it looks like it happened. And so, it was sitting for a while. However, it is the container that they provided it in. I also blame them. Mr. Cameron Calve, please accept our sincere apologies for the poor quality of the Libby's pineapple juice you recently purchased. The pineapple juice was great. It is Libby's objective to distribute high quality products that will satisfy all our customers. We very appreciate your informing us about the concerns with the product. Again, we apologize for your inconvenience and are providing you with a check to reimburse you for your purchase and to show our appreciation for bringing the problem to our attention. Sincerely, Deanne Minkowski, Cons Consumer Relations, Libby's NTC Marketing. Thank you, Libby's. The $5 that you provide me will surely patch over the wound that has formed forever in my heart because of the pineapple juice scandal. It was great. Anyway, give it here quick. Actually, a moment. Another interruption. My mother is calling me, and she's called me twice now, so this seems important to answer. Hello, my mother. You're live on stream. How are you? I'm live on the stream. Why you... are you streaming on Saturday? Why am I streaming on a Saturday? Honestly, uh, not even the lords above have an answer to that. Why do I not see a notification of this? I'm not sure. I think there's a problem with your Twitch app. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Oh, I saw something from Twitch much earlier today. <laughs> But okay. I, I, I just thought that was something older. I mean, so I've been streaming for about six and a half hours now, so... Oh, so I need that to makes um, sense. take care of this text message I sent you. Oh, oh, definitely shouldn't be sharing it now, but I will call you right after I'm finished. Is that all right? Oh, no. Can you just send me a text? I can certainly try, sure. If, if you wouldn't mind? Sure, I will do so. That would be lovely. So what are you shooting today? I'm playing a game called Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. By the way, MK hello. Bryce says hello. MK who? MK Bryce. Bryce, you know, Mario Kart Bryce, the Super Super Mario Kart streamer. Um, not familiar, but that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. And I'm GGRTV fine. also says hi. What they are known for is beyond me. However, I'm sure they are destined for great you, things. You know these folks personally. Oh no, I don't know anybody on stream personally. Oh, okay, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I never, I never usually see you streaming on Saturday. So when I saw the yeah, yeah, it's you a know, kind of new thing. I decided I wanted to spend more time playing the games that I love to play. So here we are, six and a half hours later on a Saturday because it's a Saturday. It's great. Okay, yeah. If you can um, just do that for me, so I can take care of this, that would be great. Absolutely, I will. I will get to that as soon as I possibly can. I will be ending in a few minutes, anyways. You caught me at the tail end. Thank you so much. Okie dokie. Love you too, Ma. Bye. Aw, oh, that was sweet. Evidently, there is something that urgently requires my attention. I hope that everything is well. For my sake and for everybody else's. Give it here, you measly... Cr I don't even know what this woman was calling him. Crumblebum? Crumblebump? Oh, mothers. Indeed. Goes back to game. I will be ending in a few minutes. Disney queen, I am a man of my word. Sort of. Aha, I see. Aha, yes. Aha, here we go. Doodly doodly doo doo da. And then a little bit of cutting up the carrots. And then set the thing on fire. And then. Now I can do it twice. I've got it now. Just glaze a mushroom with honey syrup for a yummy honey shrimp. Brilliant. Mixology. Never heard of it. Sounds cool. Now I can use recipes that require two ingredients. Two. God forbid the recipe calls for three. The mushroom glaze is urgent, too. Now that's some book. Talk about effective. I never thought to put one and one together to make two. Gosh. And I was the one calling you crumble bit bottom. I'm sorry for my words. Also, I just noticed Mario is like, back like this. He's like, whoa there. Well, thanks, Mr. Staggers. Take this as your reward. What did you do to that mushroom? Now I can use recipes that require two ingredients, so just ask me anytime. I'm really going to put my soul into it and cook with vengeance from this day on. I assure you, I will also cook with a vengeance. All right, I think that's about enough of that. Glad that we unlocked that. I like I like that very much. That was what we needed to unlock the two recipe thing, which honestly, I could, ex I could expand an entire... Maybe after I'm done with the whole story of this, I just spend a day where I just go back and I just do a bunch of cooking all day, because I used to do that when I was younger. Great. In any case... That is all I have planned on doing today. This is like the longest that I've streamed in a hot minute, so I'm really thankful that we were able to make it all the way here. So this is wonderful. This was very fun. Thank you all very much for joining me. This has been an absolute blast. 
I um, I think the last time I played this was like six months ago, and I think I started this over a year ago. So, hey, you know what? This is, it's bound, it's time for me to finally be clinching up the loose ends that are some of the video games that uh, I've been playing. So uh, that's what the that's what the Saturday, Sunday, the weekend streams are supposed to be. They're kind of sporadic because life is sporadic, and I can't guarantee that I will always be around the equipment on Saturday. So we all got lucky, including myself. But uh, for sure, we will always be back Wednesdays because I stream every, every weekend, or oh, every week. Wednesdays. It's all cocktails and stuff. If that's like not your thing or like you're potentially under the age of the majority in your area, well, you didn't hear it from me that there's a public broadcast happening on Wednesday and that's none of my business. In any case, to everybody out there, I hope you are doing well. If the sun is still shining where you are, may the rest of your day slash morning continue. And if the night is there and the moon is shining, well, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. Everybody rest up. Everybody peace out. It'll be great. Until next time. Loved it. Thank you for the show. GG. GG. GG to GG. And to MK. And to Disney. And everybody else who popped on. I greatly appreciate it. Until next time, y'all. I'll see ya. Till then. Bye.